feathers, then you've got those to work in with. Your gray is slightly more modern. It's all. Good morning, good morning. Now, I have to apologise. We've all woken up with the lurgy this morning. I have. Uh, floor manager, well, floor manager, floor person, Jay has. Um, everybody, everybody's coming going, oh, I feel a bit groggy today. Even Tomo, who's our broadcast manager, he's coming. So I'm going to have to apologise for that to start with. Anyway, welcome, welcome. Do you know what? Wouldn't miss today for the world. I've got the most fantastic day lined up today. Shall we have a look at the menu? Here's the menu. Uh, uh, it is called Stitch It, Cut It and Print It. Eight o'clock, Cut It, Mark It, Fix It. That's me. Nine o'clock, The Excellence of Elna. Oh, do you know what? Well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Ten o'clock, The Excellence of Elna. At Eleven o'clock, Introducing Threads. Now, let me, let me just take that all away because I'll explain what it is. At nine o'clock, we've got Gorgeous Jane, you know, Jane from Elna. We've got an overlocker. Oh, no. Whoop, 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 whoop. I know, we've all been waiting for it, we've all been talking about it, and it's a gorgeous, a gorgeous uh, overlocker. Uh, and then we're doing the really, really fabulous uh, Elna sewing machine, but in a bundle. So you get lots of free goodies with that one. And then last but not least, have you ever wanted to make your own fabric? Have you ever wanted to match your own fabric? Quilters, have you ever got halfway through a quilt and think, oh, I really need like a blue sequin fabric in there, but you don't want sequins. We've got the most incredible, it's called Threads in capital letters, right? And it's the most incredible, you take your picture, so it could be a picture. Well, I'll tell you what, Angie's coming on. You know, lovely Angie, she's coming on to it later with me. We've already done a selfie on it. And what you do is you go through the printer and it prints on fabric on either, poplin or on drill it is fantastic and we'll be able to show you all of that at 11 o'clock but you know what oh, it's just brilliant it's just brilliant if you've got your favorite photos you want to do writing you want to write something your poem and put it on a piece of fabric and frame it you can do that there's all sorts of things to do that. Um, now I think Hannah, producer Hannah's trying to talk to me, but I can't hear her, so I'll just carry on going. I can hear you now, don't worry. Um, so if you want to get in touch, this is the way to do it. There are two ways to do it. Now, if you've got a quick message that you just want to say hello, if you just want to quick say a quick hello, what you do is you go to the website there, uh, you click on Watch Today's Show, and then It'll, there you go. It comes up as a bigger, bigger screen there. And then you scroll down to a little bit and you'll see the box that says Message of Studio. Just write your message in there. Uh, hello, it normally says, but Hannah's a bit stressed this morning. Oh no, what she put in this morning? V. She's just put a V this morning. Uh, and uh, you just press and send that straight through, and it goes straight through to producer Hannah. Two other things on the uh, website. If you scroll down the page, you'll see the products from today's show. Now, there's nothing there, because I haven't shown you anything yet. But in a minute, as we start showing you the fabrics, the notions, everything like that, um, we, uh, we'll, they'll appear there. You can just pop them in your basket. Or if you're watching live, scroll up the screen, and you'll see just next to me there, there's a little box where it says, add to your basket. Well, the first item will go in there you just click on it pop it in your basket make sure you check out that if you want something now I know the last two days have been furiously busy and they've sold out within eight minutes of a show going you know like Joe Carter's kits selling out selling out in eight minutes and everything if you put something in your basket and you want it please check out straight away you'll only pay one post and packaging of £2.95 for the whole day so please 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 don't don't miss out on something for not checking out your basket um, now, the other thing I need to say to you is, if you've got a longer uh, message, right, because I know when Jane from Elna comes on, you write long, long questions, right? Don't do a web chat with long messages, because what happens is, is our web chat chops off halfway through. It's only so many characters you're allowed, you see. So if you've got a long message for Jane or a long message for Angie when she comes on later, then you need to email that one in. Also, the emails come through to us here, but they also go through to uh, the customer services team. So if they will reply. If we can't reply on the show, they will reply within two working days. And the, that is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. It's such a fabulous day. I should get on, really, shouldn't I? Have I told, have I told you everything? I've told you everything you need to know. No, one other thing. I've now got an I uh, oh no it's not called it's a tablet it's a tablet right I've now got a tablet so when you send messages there'll be none of this there'll be none of that right it'll be there I have to say it's Hannah in charge of it so um and producer Hannah that is anything could happen let's go let's go to, oh, let's get on with that day oh my word 
I'm in my own, like, um, haberdashery notion store here, aren't I? Has the aircon gone off, Joe? It feels suddenly gone very hot in here. Anyway, anyway, where am I starting? Where am I starting? They're not for sale. They're my glasses. This is my... Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? I've set up my pad. No, no, it's not a pad, it's a tablet. And it's already gone to sleep mode, so that was good, wasn't it? Uh, so I'll start, I'm going to start with a couple of fabric bundles, yes? Yes. I'll just move this to one side. Right. OK, then. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. So I've got two bundles today, really gorgeous pastel bundles, these. Oh, I'll tell you what else I've forgotten. Oh, and all that rush. I've got my little sunglasses. I'll get it later. Right. Here we go. Two gorgeous bundles. Really, really beautiful bundles. This one to start with. This one to start with. Aren't they, 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 they say ice creams to me. Oh, I'll put them in shot, shall I? They say ice creams to me. Lemon, mint, and, well, I think that one's called nude, isn't it? Yeah, nude. So I wouldn't have a... I, I, could, I could eat... I tell you what, I don't want to put anybody off their breakfast at five past eight on a Wednesday morning, but you could be eating your lemon and lime ice cream... Lemon and mint ice cream in the nude. I know, aren't they beautiful colours, though? You go, uh, look at this, a metre and a half for eight pounds and 95 pence. This is lemon, this is mint, and this is nude. Aren't they three... Beautiful, beautiful stash of colours, aren't they? Really, really lovely colours there. Um, just so you can... Uh, get, you could use them as blenders, couldn't you? You could use those as blenders. Lovely summer colours. I'll waft them for you in a minute. Oh, no, I'll waft them now, actually. I'm going to waft them now. Now this, you see this, they call it nude. This would make the most beautiful. It's like a blush, a very, very soft blush colour. Come on, John. It's that nice. That's a lovely colour. So you get half a metre of that. You get half a metre of your mint, which is fresh. Really, really lovely, fresh mint colour there. Wasn't the weather weird yesterday? One minute, I was in, I was in the so 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 supermarket, by my stuff and everything, in, in my shorts and my T-shirt, right? Came out and it was snowing. Came out the door and it was blooming well snowing. Anyway. Uh, Hannah, uh, producer Hannah's just done a joke. She said, were you in Iceland? No, I was in Waitrose. <laughs> but that, the other supermarkets are available. Other supermarkets are available. Look at these three gorgeous colours. Look at those beautiful colours. You've got the lemon there, you've got the mint. And you've got the nude. Aren't they lovely? Really, really beautiful. Eight pounds and 95 pence, half a metre of each. So I'll put, fold those ones away. I love those. What would you use those for? I think they're brilliant stash fabrics, aren't they? For, um, for when you do your quilting or your backing of cushions or anything like that. Really, really nice. I'll just fold those up nicely. Now, I guess, if you're working with some of the printing fabrics, these would be lovely as backings. OK. Yeah, I'm just ignoring producer Hannah at the moment. She's a bit stressed. Look at these. Baby, send a message in. Can somebody send me a message so I can get it on my, on my tablet, please? Uh, anyway, so we've got baby blue, baby pink, and cream. Aren't they lovely? Really gorgeous colours again. Now, these are more... Those ones over there are kind of summer colours. These are like your staple colours, aren't they? There's the baby blue. Always popular, the baby blue. Your baby pink. Oh, yes, that's nice. Oh, I've got a message from Marie in South Yorkshire. Yes, he says, oh, my goodness, my hubby has just bought me four packs as the colours are stunning, lucky girl. Where's that come from? I don't think that's a message for me, is it? I don't think that... I think I might have got another company's messages coming through now. <laughs> Tomo, did you put it on the wrong channel? I'll be with you in a second. I'm just going to... No, the message is gone. It was for another channel. Oh, no, it's back again. It's back again from Marie in South Yorkshire. Anyway, thank you, Marie. I know, I know that... I don't know what, what you bought four packs of, Marie, but they're lovely. Anyway, anyway, look, really, really beautiful, beautiful. Baby blue, baby pink, and the cream there. Aren't they gorgeous? Half a metre reach, £8.95. Right, OK. 
Right, so there's the cream. There's the pink, the baby pink. And there, oh sorry, there you go. And there's the blue. Uh, I've got Julie in Cheshire. Lovely to have you back, Julie. My name's not Julie, though. Oh, lovely to have you back. But it's got question marks. It goes, lovely to have you back, Julie. Like that. And that's good, isn't it? Thank you, Julie. You're my first real message, if that is a real person. Julie from Cheshire. Thank you very much. And there's another message coming through, apparently. This is good. I can read it without my glasses. Morning, John. Always brightens my day to see you and the crew on Sewing Quarter. That's from Tim. Oh, that's nice. Now, Tim's quite... Oh, he's one of our regulars, Tim. I shan't... I'm not going any further. Right. OK, so they're my bundles of fabric, right? We will go... We will go back with those. But next... Scissors. Okay, ready? Which scissors would you like to do first then? All right, okay. Um, all right, hang on. I know, I'm sorry, it's not. We've had a bit of a stressful morning this morning so far, so please bear with us. Right, so these are the first scissors we're going to be doing. These are the Fisker's general purpose scissors. Now, these are right-handed. Now, don't get... Um, if you're left-handed, don't get um, upset because we have left-handed ones coming up in a minute. These are 8.25 inches, 21 centimetres, 16 pounds and 45 pence. Now, they're called general purpose scissors, right? I could, you could use these as cutting shears if you wanted to. They're sharp. They're fiskers, you know. They're good quality. Is my water there, Jay? I forgot to bring my water in with me. Is it here? Uh, 16 pounds and 45 pence. Jay's got a shadow today, haven't you, Jay? The shadow's much smaller than Jay's, obviously, because if Jay's shadow was across the studio, we'd be in darkness, wouldn't we? £16.45. Get used to this. Uh, aren't they lovely? Right, do you want me to cut something with them? I'll cut something with them, shall I? I'll cut the selvage off this. There you go. Oh, that was nice and sharp, wasn't it? Look at that. Nice. This is just slicing off the selvage there. Yeah. Oh, they say general purpose, but you can use them. The thing is, what they're saying is they're not, they're not like shears. They're not big enough for shears. Hello, Karen in Devon. I've got to mention you. Marie was yesterday's show, John. Her husband bought four packs of material for her. Oh, that's funny that came through today. But thank you for letting me know, Karen in Devon. Thank you. Uh, so... What's she saying? So these very sharp, eight and a half, eight and a quarter inches there, 21 centimetres. Fiskers, general purpose, right-handed scissors. Now, the lady from Fiskers, she said um, that she's left-handed, but she's always used right-handed scissors. But you don't need to, because in a minute, in a momento, I have got left-handed scissors coming up for you left-handed people. 16 pounds and 45 pence. Right, just get rid of that. Left-handed scissors now. Oh, now, um, producer Hannah was making her kimono this weekend. You know the one we made with um, Jennifer Mills the other day? But she, first of all, she needed left-handed scissors, and secondly, her machine broke down. She got a 30-year-old sewing machine. These are Fisker's left-handed general purpose scissors, 21 centimetres, eight and a quarter inches, 16 pounds and 45 pence. That'd be brilliant as well, because look, if you've got them in the drawer, and one of you's right-handed and one of you's left-handed, you know which is which. Left-handed general purpose scissors, again, very sharp, very nice. I like the colour of these better, actually. You can have the, only have those, though, if you're left-handed. I won't be able to cut with those. Nice, aren't they? 16 pounds and 45 pence. Nice. Nice. Oh, now those bundles are very popular. Do you want to have a look at them again very quickly? Yes. OK. So this is the first bundle. This is lemon, mint and nude. Half a metre of each. So the Spectrum solid fabrics. It's a bit... Um, there you go. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Aren't they lovely? Good quality, starched, brilliant quality cotton. Half a metre of each. I love that. The nude is kind of... I would have called that blush myself. £8.95 you get for all half a metre of each of those fabrics. So that was that one. And then the one we didn't really look at properly was the baby blue, baby pink and the cream one. 
which again is really gorgeous colours. Fantastic price. Uh, you get half a metre of the baby blue, half a metre of the pink, and half a metre of the cream for £8.95. A metre and a half, you get in total there. I know. Give us a call, 0800 112 4433, or of course you go to sewingquarter.com, uh, pop them in your basket and make sure you check out. They're lovely. I just thought I'd show you those again because they're very, very popular this morning. So then my other pair of scissors are these. They're called embroidery scissors. Just a straightforward flat scissor. Fiscars. £13.95. So 12 and a half centimetres in length. Fiskars, embroidery and needlework scissors. You know what, you'd have these by your machine wouldn't you, just to snip off your threads and cut into your notches and cut your corners and things like that. Um, of course, don't let anybody else in the house cut that you string or paper or anything like that. You want to keep them nice and sharp. £13.95, you know Fiskars, you know it's good quality, you know they're long lasting. And you know you're buying into such a brilliant brand, aren't you? At £13.95. Yeah, you can, you can tell. You know when you open and close a pair of scissors, you can tell, can't you, the way they glide, but you can feel the fric slight friction between the blades. 13 95 they're absolutely brilliant. OK. So we've done fabric bundles and we've done scissors. I guess this would be next. Right, this is, this is brilliant. Let me show you how it arrives at your house before I do anything else. Oh. Right. This, th I've got loads of goodies to show you today. This is how it will arrive at your house, you see? It's the Fiskars Circle Fabric Cutter, £31.95. Uh, whenever we show this, people go crazy for it. Perfect circles made simple. And I'll show you how it works now. I will show you how it works. Oh, now, I saw on um, Facebook yesterday, somebody was asking about Derek the Dobber. Asking if we sell Derek the Dobber because he comes out so often. And somebody actually explained that it was Derek the Dobber and that um, it's not for sale. Oh, OK. Got a message from Maureen. Hello, Maureen. Is that Maureen? Love your shirt, John. Is that Maureen from the Wirral? Is that you from the Wirral, Maureen? Oh, this is much better, isn't it, the way it works like this? Uh, oh, sorry. Am I shouting? Oh, Maureen. Let me know, Maureen, if it's Maureen from the Wirral. If it is, you've had the most fantastic holiday, haven't you? She's had a midlife crisis. If it is that, Maureen, right? She had a midlife crisis, right? Now, Maureen... Uh, well, I'll wait to see if it is that, Maureen, before I start telling the stories. Right, this cutter. This cutter is brilliant. I'll show you the, what you get inside the package, first of all. This is what you get. This is the basis of it here. This, it's Fiskars again. It's Fiskars, you see. Now, it's, it's basically a template with um, little uh, nodules on the bottom. You know, like uh, Rachel the Ruler has on her rulers, like little resin things so it's not going to slip. And you see here, you've got all... You go from 2 inches to 12 inches. Now, all the circles include a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So that one will be a 12-inch circle with a quarter-inch seam allowance around it. Uh, you can cut... On the fold, well, well, there's, two, there's two circles you're going to want to cut, aren't there? There's a full perfect circle or there's a half circle, right? So let me just show you. I wonder if you can see this from the, from the overhead. Can you see here? I don't know if I'm directing from the floor. I mean, you know, it's not my... Timothy's in charge, not me. So on this cutter here... Oh, it would happen that I've got a pattern fabric. Oh, that's not... It doesn't help either, does it? Hang on from the bundle, there. What you've got there is you've got a line there. There you go, that's perfect. That's where you'd put your fold line. But if you didn't want a whole circle, you wanted half a circle, you're going to join them together, then you'd put the, the, that line there, the dotted line, because that includes your seam allowance on there as well. Now, while I'm here, I'll show you, I'll show you here. So there, there are the sizes, 2 inches to 12 inches. Now, you're most probably wondering, well, why does the circle come further than the, 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 the half, you know, the, the fold line or the, the, the edge of fabric line. That's because if you started there, you wouldn't start the cutting at the beginning. This way, you've got a good run-up to it, as it were. I'll show you in a minute when I, when I actually cut it. So that's the template that you get. I'll just put that one back there. And then this is the cutter. Now, your cutter will come with, a, like, a little plastic uh, cap on it. This comes with a little plastic cap on it, a safety cap on it, which you then take off before you take... Now, we've had a little bit of a fight between Amy and Jay Floor because they're both blaming each other for losing it, but ours is in the building somewhere. 
Anyway, the thing is, I'm not going to put my hand there, but as you can see, the blade is completely and utterly um, hidden inside this, and it's only when that the cutter is engaged that the blade will put. Now, obviously, you're not going to cut like that. I'm just showing you how it cuts. You see here, you've got two little nodules on here. Those nodules are the ones that fit into the ridges on the template. So let me show you, you get all of this. You get this and you get this, obviously. Um, let me show you how it works. Now, if you've already got the circle cutter, let me know, let me know, let me know. Right, so you place your um, fold, like the, the fabric Jay's giving me isn't quite wide enough. But. Oh, got another message, message from, good morning, good morning, everyone at Sand Quarter from East Yorkshire. I love the fabric, you can never have too much. H, is that H from Steps? You're very busy at the moment, aren't you? H from Steps. Right, okay, so you put that on the fold line there. So you've got the fold of the fabric going along the fold line there, right? Then what you do is you put the two nodules here that I've shown you into the ridge. Hang on, I've got to get this right now, concentrate on. Right, so it's into the ridge, right? Right, now what you do is you, you must be careful where you put your hands, obviously, because it's a rotary cutter. They don't feel like they're in the ridge. Hang on. There we go, there we go. Then you just press down. You go all the way around like that. Put that to one side. Ta-da! That's how it works. You've got a perfect... Now, that's where you'd put your safety top back on, but obviously ours isn't here, so I'll just put it to one side. You've got yourself a perfect circle. Nice. Isn't it perfect? So, I just did the, I think it was the six incher there, or the five incher. You can have up to 12 inches with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, or if you, if you didn't want a whole circle, if you just want a half circle, if you're joining half circles together, there's the little line there, the dotted line, where you can just put that on the edge of the fabric, and again, it'll cut a perfect half circle. You know it's got a quarter of an inch seam allowance on it. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. So, in the kit for £31.95, pence, you get this which is, the, I, I call it the template. I'm, I, I'm not quite sure what they call it, but you know what I mean. The actual um, ones with the circles in there. And you get this, which is the cutter itself, which yours will come with a plastic thing on the top. It's very, very popular. Now, like all rotary cutters, the blades will need to be changed after. If you do lots and lots and lots of cutting, the blades will need to be changed. And we sell a... Um, Replacement blade. A replacement blade. We actually sell them. Now, I'll have to show it you on the still because I've just used the real thing here. This is it on the still here. It's £5.95. And what it is, it's just that it's very easy. If Floor J can do it, you can definitely do it. Um, it's a fabric circle cut-up blade for £5.95. Now, you don't need to touch the blade at all because it just fits in. Uh, it's very, very easy to fit. It just fits in inside the, uh, inside the cutter thing there for £5.95. You know what? I would, I would just get one of those automatically. It's like when I buy a new um, mop for the kitchen. I always buy the new mop head. Uh, going on as well at the... Uh, you know, it's just so it's, I've already got it ready for when it goes uh, blunt at home sort of thing. OK, I've got a message from Iona in Derbyshire. Hello, Iona, my love. Morning, John, watching the show with my mum, Jessie. Hello, Jess. Jessie, uh, we are both enjoying the programme. Iona, thank you for your lovely message. Isn't this good? I like this. Uh, so, fab uh, circle cutter and then, of course... Now, the other thing I meant to tell you when I was showing you, and I'll just do it here quickly, is take the, when you press this down... Right, I twisted my hand round. You don't need to do that because it swivels, look. So you can actually keep your hand in exactly the same place. Oh, well followed. In exactly the same place. And go back all the way around. So you don't need to twist your hand, you see. So the Fiskars cutter, this and this, are £31.95. And, and then the replacement blade, which is inside there, is £5.95. Oh, now I've got an email. I don't think I can get emails on here. Oh, oh, she's... Right, um... Oh, OK, oh, that's a good idea. Uh, Judith, did you say? Judith's already got this, and she bought the replacement blade because she uses different kinds of fabric. She uses leather, or leatherette, or pleatherette, as they call it, don't they? Um, and uh, 
she uses the different blades for the different fabrics. So she keeps one of them for the for cottons and silks and things like that. She keeps the other one for the more sturdy fabrics. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea, that. Okay, so that's the circle cutter. I'll just put that to one side. Somebody would like to see the bundles again. Morning, John. Still, love, still loving the shows. That's good. Uh, who's that from? <laughs> June. Oh, it's June. It's June. Eva Manchu, the housework, thanks to YouTube. Love. Right, when I, was, uh, when I went to the NEC just recently with uh, Hayley, uh, we went to our sewing quarter stand, and the lady there said, oh, there's a lady called June. She's not happy with you. And I said, why? And she said, because she hasn't done a scrap of housework since the sewing quarter opened, because she ends up watching us all the time. Anyway, we were wandering around later on, and we got to, a, we got to another stall. Uh, we got to another stall, and this lady turned around and she said, oh, I've got to go to pick you. And I went, you're June, aren't you? And she went, oh, how did you, how did you know? Anyway, we had a good old gossip, didn't we, June? So she said, I'm glad to see you getting some of the housework done. Right. She was buying, oh, I can't tell you what she was buying, because I hope we're going to get them. I hope we're going to get them. This is bundle number one. Oh, June, how lovely of you. Thank you for messaging in. Oh, somebody's asked, when, the, when are the overlockers? Thought you had overlockers this morning. Yeah, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock overlockers. That was from, who was that from? Oh, that was from Hannah. Not our Hannah, not our Hannah, obviously. Because uh, she knows she's producing the show. Right, here's the bundle one. Lemon... Mint and nude. Lemon, obviously, mint and nude. Uh, eight pounds and 95 pence. Uh, Floor J was going to get me my water and he's disappeared off that song. Eight pounds and 95 pence. So, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Eight pounds and 95 pence, one and a half metre fabric. So that's the um, lemon, mint and nude. It, one and a half metres. That's at eight pounds and ninety-five pence, and then the other. One. Oh, here comes my water now. Thank you, Floor J. Well, you're not floor manager yet. You're not good enough to be a manager yet, and you haven't got any star fund yet. Oh, he's coming in, everyone. Here we go. Cream, baby pink, and baby blue. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Yes, yeah, so I think I've got some... Um, oh, there we go. My aerial was tucked into my trousers. £8.95. Have, keep looking at those fabrics. Keep looking at those fabrics. Oh! <laughs> now June, I don't know what... Oh! June needs an overlocker. June, you won't need a bank loan. The pro Do you know what? Overlockers used to frighten me, right? They used to frighten me. Jane was taking me through this one today. It's just, make sure you're watching at nine o'clock. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Fantastic price as well. Okay. What's next then? Okay, I've got a message about the circle cutter. Oh no, I've got this one from Helen first. Good morning, Mr. Scott. We're watching and still in bed. Still in bed. Oh, it's got baby. Baby Beatrix slept through the night for the first time and I'm making more mummy and me outfits. Oh, and then it cuts off. That's all you get. You see, that's the trouble with the web chats. It cuts off. We should tell you how many letters you've got. I'll count those up later. OK. And then I've also got a mystery about the circle cutter. OK, somebody's asking about the circle cutter. I've got loads of other things to show you. Don't worry, I've got half an hour. I've got half an hour to show you. What's my, what's, oh, Lorraine, yes, it's arrived, it's arrived. Lorraine, I bought the circle cutter last time it was aired. Was that from me, Lorraine? Uh, it's brilliant, perfect circle, oh, it's brilliant for perfect circles. Also, could you wish my sister Sue, happy birthday, lots of love from Lorraine. So, Sue, happy birthday with lots of love from Lorraine. And from everybody here at Sewing Quarter. And here's the Sewing Quarter, uh, no, not Sewing Quarter, the circle cutter. Sewing Quarter, circle cutter's face, similar, isn't it? £31.95. Oh, Sue, hope Lorraine's bought you a nice present. Maybe you should buy one of these. Lorraine. Right, OK, now, these were brand new in... When was that last in? Three days? Two, how long? It's two days ago. Two days ago. Which one would you like to do first? The one with three. OK. This is like a pencil. This is like a... Right, this is like a, a really, really posh pencil. I'm going to just get the... Right. 
This is what you're getting, right? Sewn line fabric mechanical pencil green. Oh, it's not green. It's definitely not green. It's pink, isn't it? But you get these, right? You get these. These. Are, do you remember you used to, the pencils, the retractable pencils? It works on the same principle as that. You get six refills in there and the one that's in the pen here. And what you do is you literally, now this is an eraser at the top, a rubber at the top there. You just click on that like you would like one of those pencils in the old days. And then look, you see, did you see the little uh, white lead come out? It's not lead though, is it? The white chalk come out the bottom there. And then what you do is if you've got a piece of fabric, you can, if you're drawing out a pattern or something like that, it's a lovely, fine line. Can you see that? Oh, hang on. Look. Now look if you're doing quilting on black. Obviously, you, you can only do this on a dark fabric with this because it's just the white chalk in here. But isn't that lovely? And could you what? You could write a love letter. What's your girlfriend called, Tim? Alice. And then P.S. There! Oh, you, can you read that? It says, marry me, marry me. From Alice, not from me, obviously. <laughs> and, 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 at the end here, you've got rubber. So if you go, oh, I don't want to ask him to marry me. So you just rub it out. Gone off that idea now, rub it out, you see. Isn't that brilliant? Nine pounds and 95 pence. Now, obviously, you're not going to write over fabric like that. You're going to draw around patterns or draw in darts or anything like that. And it's brilliant. And as you need a little bit more um, of the chalk, you don't get chalk on your hands. And you literally start onto the, you know, if you're drawing a sleeve pattern. There you go. So you're drawing around a sleeve pattern. Or if you're putting a dart in, it's very, very clear. That's a bit of a big dust bus dart, that one, but you can put your mark your darts in there. Or if you're doing notches, if you're doing your notches, like, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. No mess, no chalk on your hands. Brilliant. Very clear, very fine lines. And it, I think, it, I think, let me just double check before I, I make a, a sweeping statement now. I think this washes off once you've done it. Lines out your Oh, uh, wash, you can dab them with a damp cloth or wash and it goes away if you don't want to use the rubber on the end. I just think that's brilliant. And, oh, now, the other thing I need to tell you, now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, in the end there, you could store all your, you see your chalk in there. And sometimes they break, don't they? Whereas if you put all those in there, you can store them all in there. And then they're ready, you haven't got to go around your workroom looking for this then, have you? Isn't it brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. I think that's a must. Definitely, definitely a must. I'll put it away now. That one goes in there like that. I love it as well because it's, it's a really, really cute pen as well, isn't it? Oh, OK. Anne May from Scotland. Good morning, John. Great to have you back. I've only been gone two days, but thank you. Congratulations on being able to read your own messages. <laughs> Thank you, Anne May in Sterling. Oh, thank you. Right, now I've got another, I've got one. Hi, John, I'm a new viewer, I love it. That's from Lisa. Now, which Lisa's that? Now, Lisa, I need to, now, is it really a new viewer, Lisa, or is it Lisa from the buying department who's left and she's lying in bed, watching us in bed, do you think? Who knows, who knows? Anyway, thank you very much, uh, Lisa. Let me know more about you. Let me know, you know, nothing you don't want to tell me, obviously, but. Uh, right, yes. Now, the next one is this. The next one is this. Now, we love this. This is called a trio, a sew line trio pen. Now, what you do with this one, you're thinking, well, what on earth is going on here? Uh, what you do is you twist this round twice. And uh, wait, you can have three things, right? I need my glass on for this one. It does three things, right? That one there is the same as I've just shown you. You've got a white marker. Right? That's brilliant. You twist it round twice more. Oh, hang on, it went too often. Once more. And you have, oh, now, you have a, 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 a... 
don't know if it'll work on here. I don't know if you're able to see this. It's got a grey, black grey marker. Can you see that? Right? So you've got, so you've got the white marker. You've got the grey marker. Oh, yes, you can see it there, you see, if you need to mark up. But then, twist it again, and then you think, oh, that's got nothing on it. But that is because it becomes a marker, right? Oh, he's only given me one bit. Oh, Joe, I wanted to do all different colours. Right, so, you know, like, when you have a tracing wheel and you have your tracing carbon paper, so you put that in between there, like... Oh, I've still got last week's ones on there. Um... So you put the carbon paper between there and there. And then you need, if you need to mark anything up... So, you see, on the top of the fabric, you don't see anything, right? Because it's just a marker. But then you take that away... It's, oh, now that one... You see, this is why I wanted the different colours. No, it's not the best colour, this one, to show. And it was supposed to be a surprise. Is it in my trolley? Let me just check it's not my trolley. No, it's not my trolley. Oh, you, you see, it, you, can, you can't see it on your... No. It's Jay, come here, Jay. Give me those different colours. Floor manager, Jay. Thank you, Red. It's not a manager, it's just floor. It's not very well. I think he's getting stressed about the wedding day. So, what I'm saying is, you mark your top fabric. If this doesn't work, I'm stuffed now, aren't I? Oh, yeah, there it is. You won't be able to see that from up there, though, will you? It says Hannah. Can you see? So, uh, there's the white ones there now. So, so it does mark through. Um, maybe that's not the best, way to, the best way of showing it. Let me see if I can do it on this one. So you've got the three options. You've got the white chalk. You've got the um, black chalk or the grey chalk. There you go. Look at the red. Look at the red, how the red works. You can mark up your pattern there. Isn't it brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. £10.95. That's a pr that's, this is the kind of thing that you'd never buy for yourself. So I think you should buy it as a gift for somebody, don't you? Oh, well, Hannah would buy it for herself, but she's a bit... She's just, she, she's just got nobody to buy her presents, you see, so... Not yet, anyway. We're working on it, aren't we, Hannah? She tried really hard. She tried really hard to flirt with all the boys in her village. <laughs> Anyone wants to know, she's young, pretty, sporty and outdoorsy. <laughs> yes, and she hates sitting just watching the television. <laughs> The things you can get away with on online dating. Right, OK, they were, uh, they were uh, so line products. So let's move on to the glue stick now. Which is also so line. This is brilliant. You see, I would never, ever, ever... Yeah, I don't even know how to open the packet. This is one a lot of our designers use if they're doing English paper paste uh, EPP. Up, 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 up. Oh, hang on, let's have a look at what Lisa's got to say, then. Uh, hi, John. Honestly, I'm a new Lisa. Oh, beautiful Chesterfield. Oh, it's nice, Chesterfield. Loving your style and the gorgeous goodies. Thank you, Lisa. I hope you're with us for a long time. Welcome to the Sewing Quarter family. It's only new. It's only, like, 12, 12 weeks old. 12 weeks old. What's the matter? She's Hannah's mumbling. Right, this is glue. Oh, sorry, let me put it down there. This is a glue pen. This is a glue pen. Now, um, when you're doing English paper piecing or you just want to uh, put something and keep it in place, but blue, I saw this first time, I went, well, I don't want to put blue markings on white fabric. It dries clear. It dries clear. Let me show you. Put, put on your fabric like that. Put it on your fabric there. Any colour, right? Stuck. So if you're doing English paper piecing or anything like that, or you just want to uh, want to um, uh, glue a hem into place before you sew it, it's that doesn't clag, clag up your needle. That's not the word I was looking for. Doesn't need residue. That's the posh way of saying it, right? So for five pounds and ninety-five pence, you get the pen that's already got um, glue in it, and you will you will get a blue. I presume you'll get a blue refill as well. Even though we don't know why it's got pink on it, could be they do do it in different colours. They do it in blue, pink, and yellow. 
but you'll get a blue one, but it doesn't matter because it dries clear anyway. At five pounds and 95 pence. Doesn't even match those two, does it? At five pounds and 95 pence. Oh, I'll have words with Jay afterwards, yeah. Oh, he's snarling. Floor Jay's snarling now. Right, okay, moving on now, moving on. Right, somebody else wants to see the bundles, of course. I I'm here to, to, for those of you just tuned in, where have you been? I've been going at it for 40 minutes already. Right, the first one here is the uh, nude lime and lemon. No, not lime, mint. Mint, lemon and nude. Half a metre of this. Half a metre of this. People, now, I need to tell you, when you multi-buy, you don't, they don't join the fabrics together. So if you, buy, if you buy two of these, you get two half metres of the blush, you get two half metres of the mint, and you get two half metres of the lemon. You, they're not, because they're already cut, you see. They won't suddenly send you a metre each fabric. We are... <clears throat> looking into that, so if people do multiply it, but at the moment, they come in a box, they come in that beautiful box, Jay, and they, um, oh, there it is. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, okay, hello, Kay. Morning, lovely John, she says. Morning, lovely Kay. Uh, gorgeous, stashalicious bundles this morning, aren't they? And this is what they come in. This is what they come in. Cut fabric comes in these. Nice, and they come wrapped in tissue paper, like that. Isn't that nice? No extra charge, and we had a message the other day saying these are such sturdy boxes that um, they've used them as storage boxes once they've been opened. You don't have to rip them open. They've got one of those, whoosh, like a zip on it, just open it. It's not a zip, obviously. Now, beautiful, it is stashalicious, it's stashalicious this one, isn't it? Uh, mint, lemon, and nude. Mint, lemon, and nude you've got in there. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Oops. Those edges need overlocking, yes? In 15 minutes, we can overlock them for you. We can overlock them for you. Oh, no, no, we can't, we can't, we can't. You can overlock them. We're not, I'm not gonna sit here and overlock them all for you. I have got a bit of a life left. And here we go, baby blue, baby pink, and cream in this bundle, half a metre of each again at eight pounds and 95 pence. Half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. You get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. One and a half metres in total, eight pounds and 95 pence. Gorgeous colours, beautiful colours. Oh, here we go, I've got lots of messages saying hello, John, but just, go on then, send them through. Right, now what, what's next before you do that then? While I, uh, oh, somebody wants a uh, Pauline in Staffordshire. Hello, my love. Let me just do this first of all. Pauline says, hello, John, love your shows. You cheer me up. Love the sewing quarter. Pauline in Newcastle under Lyme. Oh, that's one near Stoke, isn't it? Uh, Kay said the bundles are great value, aren't they indeed? Aren't they indeed? Right, somebody wants to see the... the I'll get it out the one you actually... how you actually get it, because I love it. Looks very impressive. This is your Fiskars circle cutter. Perfect circles made simple. 11 circles, two inches to 12 inches. That's 5.1 centimeters to 30 and a half centimeters. 31 pounds and 95 pence. That's how it arrives. What you get in the parcel is you get the template. This is the template. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll tell you what's on it. I'll put a piece of my bundle behind it. There, that's better, isn't it? Two inches to 12 inches. Uh, this mark here is where you put the fold line, if you're gonna cut, oh, let's do it that side. The fold line. This one here is where, if you're gonna cut a half circle with a seam allowance, because all of these come with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Uh, now, you, if you're wondering why the circles go round further, the actual half circle starts there, but it gives you a good run up to when you're doing it, doesn't it, as you're going round. Cuts the perfect circle, 31 pounds, nice until you get the template, but you also get this, right? This is the, the rotary cutter, as it were. The blade is in there. Now, yours will come with a plastic, like, cap that goes over the top. We don't know what's happened to ours here. And then the blade doesn't appear until you engage the actual uh, rotary cutter. £31.95. 
Um, lovely, aren't they? Right, okay. So, uh, put that one back. I'm not going to chop the blue. I'm not going to chop the blue. That's new today. Uh, and that's the way you do it. That's the job to show you how to do it. Okay, you get your fabric. So you're cutting it out of this. Oh, oh, now hang on. I need to, <laughs> I need to just tidy this up a bit because I've been chopping bits out. Right, small circle. So you put that in there. You mark up your, uh, the fold on the fold line here. Well, actually, it's a waste if I just cut a small one out of the middle there, but let, let me move it across then like this. I'm doing the small one. So you've still got your fold line there. Still got your fold line there. Still got your fold line there. You engage. You see the nodules on the bottom of there? You just engage those into the ridge. There we go. You press down. Oh, oh, now I've made a mistake now. I was concentrating too hard on not moving my hand. Let's, I hope that's worked. Oh, nearly, nearly. That was my fault. That was my bad. But it's fantastic, isn't it? What you need to do is just do a few practices. Just do a few practices before you use it, that's all. To do the small one. What I was trying to do then was trying to demonstrate how you don't have to, you can just move your hand like that and not twist around like that. But I feel more comfortable twisting around. You can do whichever one you want, of course, but it's up to you. It's up to you. But everyone, everyone I know who's got one so far is absolutely loving it. Right, now, uh, you, now um, who was it messaging earlier about? But she bought two blades, one for her cottons and her, and her silks and one for her uh, leathers and leatherette and everything like that. Or if you use it lots, you are going to need a replacement blade. Just buy the replacement blade straight away. I haven't got one here. There it is. That's it in its packet there at £5.95. pence. just slide it inside um, the, the cutter. Just so, it's very safe and very easy to fit at £5.95. pence. Okay, moving on. Big wonder clips next. Big wonder clips next. You get 12 of these in a bag. You get 12 of these. Uh, this bag's already been opened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Someone's had one. But these are fantastic. If you're doing a big quilt, these are the jumbo clips, these. These are the jumbo clips. This is the bag they come in. Oh, sorry. That's the bag they come in. Obviously, this one's been sliced across the top. Jumbo Wonder Clicks, 12 for £12.95. pence. Now, what is fantastic about these, you say? Apart from the fact they hold lots and lots. Let me twist one over for you. The bottom is completely flat. See how the bottom is flat there? So you're not going to lift your fabrics. You're not going to have to... You know, if they were shaped like a peg and they were round on the bottom, your fabrics are going to be lifted. Also, um, I don't know how I can show you this. Inside... <clears throat> There are quarter inch measurements along there. So you've got quarter inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and an inch. Uh, so if you need to work out where your stitch line has got to go, at 12 pounds and 95 pence for 12 of these. Colova Jumbo Wonder Clips, 12 of them for 12 pounds and 95 pence. Oh, there you go, we have got a picture. There you go. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. And if you're an accountant, my accountant sends me my, um, my monthly or my three monthly uh, paperwork with these clipped on them. <coughs> I only realised that because I went into my kitchen drawer a few weeks ago and found a purple wonder clip. And I came in and went, oh, somehow this got home. They went, we don't sell purple ones, John. And I was like, oh, OK. And I couldn't figure out how it got into the drawer. Then my accountant happened to say, oh, can I have my wonder clip back that you, I sent the paper to you? So <laughs> obviously you're paying way more than enough. He can afford to <laughs> send me my paperwork in Wonder Clips. Anyway, they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. 12 of them for £12.95. <clears throat> the left handed scissors are going very, very, very well today. How many? Where's this hour gone? I mean, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Left handed scissors, first of all. There you go. Fisker's left handed general purpose scissors. £16.45. Now, these are the left-handed ones. We do sell right-handed ones as well, you see, and they're a different colour. So if, you, if there's two of you at home, you know whose who scissors are which, don't you? Because the darker red ones are the uh, left-handed ones, and the right-handed ones are the classic orange. £16.45. 
always popular with our left-handed viewers. Right, next. Quilting tape, right, this is brilliant. I'll show you it in its packet first. This is just a must-have, really. It's a double-sided transparent adhesive tape. Um, disappears after washing. So if you want to, because you can sew through it without fear of gumming up your needle, perfect for quilting, hemming, binding, holding trims and appliques in place while stitching. Right, let me show you. Right, that's how it comes, six pounds and 45 pence, right? But this is one I opened earlier. And what you do is if you pull it back, like, oh, somebody's pulled the um, end off, right? It's literally double-sided, it's literally double-sided tape, look. And what you do is you just put it on your fabric. It's just an easy way. Oh, I'll do it on that one there. Put it on your fabric. I don't know if you... Oh, there you go. If you needed to bend, hold that over. Stick it there. Stick it on the hand. And then fold it over. Stick it there. Then, if you're doing a hem, you can stitch, 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 stitch your hem. It's held in place or applique or anything like that. Right? You're not going to, as I said, you're not going to get gumming on your needle, no residue on your needle. And if you wash it, it disappears. So if it's a wall hanging or something like that, you don't need it to disappear, do you? Because it can just hang there. But if it's a dress that you're doing the hem on and you wanted to do a hem, a big hem, machine it and then put it in the washing machine and it washes away. And it holds, it holds really firmly, look. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've not seen that before. It's like double-sided tape that washes away. Did you have a really, really late night last night? <laughs> I've got a very poor league uh, cameraman, just so you know. Right. All right, bundles. Right, the repla just so you know, the replacement blade for the Fiskars Circle Cutter is going very, very, very quickly. It's £5.95. All it is, it's, uh, uh, that's what you get for your £5.95. But it just sits inside... You see, you can see it sitting in there. And it's very, very easy to replace because that floor Jay did it this morning. And if he can do it, so can you. Simple as that. They're only telling you because they're going really, 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 really quickly. OK, fabric bundles are also very, very popular. People multi-buying. People are multi -buying. I'm not surprised. They're fabulous colours, aren't they? You get the lemon, you get the mint, and you get the uh, nude. A metre and a half at eight pounds and ninety-five pence. You get half a metre of the lemon, half a metre of the mint, and half a metre of the nude. I would call the nude more of a blush. This is Carol in Bristol. Hello, Carol in Bristol. Hello, John and everyone at Sewing Quarter. I, too, am a big fan of Sewing Quarter, and, all, and you are always fun to watch. I like it when you're presenting... Oh, and love, and then I've lost the... Lost. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you how many letters you're allowed. So, Carol, your message goes, I like it when you're presenting in love. And then I've got nothing after that. That's for Carol in Bristol. Hello, Carol, my love. Um, they're beautiful, aren't they? £8.95 pence for half a metre of each. People multi-buying. This is very popular, this one. This is the most... Uh, well, the thing is, this is the most popular of the two. Only just, but I can tell. I can sort of tell, because this is like the fresh summer colours, isn't it? Whereas this bundle, more traditional colours, aren't they? The baby blue, the baby plink, 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 blue, pink, baby blue, baby pink and cream. Great value for money, half a metre of each. Now, it's funny, on the graphics there, it doesn't mention how much you get on that one, does it? But it's half a metre of each. £8.95. pence. I know. Aren't they brilliant? 8.95, so there's a metre and a half of fabric there. Half a metre of cream, half a metre of baby pink, and half a metre of the baby blue. People have put... Oh, now, some people have bought both. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, cos, look, what's... That's two... £18. £18 plus your P&P, isn't it, that? Look. Aren't they lovely? I mean, when I did the plain colours the other day, remember the bright plain colours? They were flying, flying, flying out. Well, how lovely to be able to have half a metre of each of those colours. So this one's 8 95 and this one's 8 95 Just so you know. But people are buying both bundles together. Right. I'm going now. I, I didn't get to tell you about the safety pins, and they're brilliant, but I'll tell you about those later. Um, thank you for that, Heather. Uh, don't go anywhere, because after the break... Now, the break will be a little bit longer than usual, because we've got to set the... Um, uh, 
Oh, it's, it's just brilliant. Overlocking. How, how many? How long have we been saying we need to know? Anyway, lovely Jane's here with the best, best, best. I just think it's brilliant, and she's going to tell you all about it. I won't say very much in the next hour because she's going to be teaching you all about it. But it's nothing to be frightened of. It's a fantastic price, and it looks nice on your top. And if you're like Helen, Joe's mum, she takes hers on holiday with her. I oh, know, outrageous, isn't it? So come back here in three minutes' time, and you'll see Jane with her new overlocker. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. The Sewing Quarter is a new inspirational sewing and quilting channel here to help educate our viewers with some of the best designers in the business. We hope to bring you some exciting demonstrations with some of the top industry experts. We're part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multi-platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our first TV shopping channel adventure with Jewelry Maker to several successful magazines such as Simply Sewing, Radio Times, BBC Good Food and many more. We've been working incredibly hard to set up and bring you our new exciting channel and we hope that we can help inspire you with new ideas and projects. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Here at the Sewing Quarter, we want to help you with your levels of sewing. Whether you're a novice or you've been sewing for years and years, we want this to be a fabulous learning curve for all of you. Whether it's making a little gift or making yourself a fabulous outfit, we will be working with some of the UK's biggest designers. You have to join us for that. Don't forget, our sister brands are some of the leading brands in the industry. With Love Patchwork and Quilting being rated top modern quilt title on the market, Today's quilter has achieved market leadership in the traditional quilt sector. And finally, Simply Sewing was launched in February 2015 after noticing a gap in the market for beginners. Combined, we reach over 150,000 readers every month. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8 a.m. till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry. There are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date then, using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. long have we been waiting for an overlocker and today's the day and it's such a fantastic overlocker like I was saying it before when I had an overlocker years ago when I worked in theatre uh, and in films I think they used to terrify me absolutely terrify me um, but this this is such a brilliant little machine. I'm not going to talk for too long. Just very quickly, I just want to say to you very quickly, if you've got a message that you want to ask Jane about it, if it's a short message, then send it on the web chat. But if it's a longer message, which they normally are when with Jane, because they get quite technical, then email it, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, um, 
we are now it does come in a little bundle. You get a free gift with this. You get a free Alice and Glass pattern, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But let's 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 just let's have a have we got a picture of the overlocker? I go, this is what you get in the bundle, right? That's what you get in the bundle. The Elna 664 Pro Overlocking Sewing Machine and the Knit Essentials Garment. £449. Now, if you bought the overlock on its own, it would be £449 because the pattern itself is £23.95. But I want to get going with this because this is just fantastic. Hello, you. Hello. Mm -hmm. you? Very good, very good. Now, I always love doing shows with you because oh, you're just so full of information <laughs> and knowledge. I won't talk very much today. Okay. All I'm going to do is ask questions that might come through from the viewers yep, and everything that's fine. because I think it's important. This is a dream, isn't it? This it's little a machine. fabulous overlocker. It's the top of the range Elner overlocker, and it's, it's got so many features on it that are exclusive to this. So it's. Yeah, because in the old yeah. days, an overlocker was a blade and the stitching and like four, six, or eight yeah. threads. Yeah. And if a thread came out, you were like, oh, that's I it, know. we have to get the man in to fix it now. I used to have to, I've been in, working on industrial overlockers, and they can be a bit of a nightmare. Yes, thread. exactly. But this has got a nice easy thread lower looper on it. It's got a lovely needle bar that tilts forward, but easy threading. Yes, yep. So it's very, very straightforward to use. It's got a nice screen on the front to show us what all our settings should be, so we can go through that as we... There's the front, let's have a look at the seal. There's the front of it. Yeah. It's a lovely, really, really lovely little... And what I love about it is overlockers in the old days used to be... You'd have a big man... Not a big man. You'd have a big delivery <laughs> yeah, with two men cables. carrying it in. Yeah, and very, very this, heavy. Yeah. It's very portable, yeah. it's isn't very, it? And it's very quiet as well. Oh, is it? Some overlockers you get can be a little bit yes. noisy, but this is a lovely, quiet one. So. OK. It just sits on there. So oh, so you mean like those, like, um, I have got industrial, some, have you got here one? Here we go, I've got one here. So it's like an industrial oh, coat. Yes, yes, so yes. it will just sit on and give it some support to stop it wobbling around everywhere. So okay. they're quite readily okay. available, those. So you so get, get those. You get four of those, obviously, so there's one for each one. There yeah. you go, pop that back on. Pop yeah, you don't, get the, you don't get the threads, the James Shane, you get, you get those. So then... You've got the little accessory box here, which is, okay. again, it's an Elna feature, that one. So you've got your little box, it's got a little Elna on it at the front, and it can keep all your bits and pieces in there. Just show you the camera yeah. too, there. So it just opens up. Just opens up, that's right, OK. Yeah. Then... You've got your little... I'll actually open it, I'll put all the things in it while we're talking you about can. them. You can put some of them in, but we have a secret compartment oh, on okay, here, then. as Elna as always does. It always oh, amazes okay. me, the extra things that you get with the Elna. Exactly. But so. the thread cones. You've also got a large screwdriver. Right. Some oil. It shows you in the book the oiling points on the machine. Okay, so good. Don't want to ruin anything. That's a spanner, which is works. You get a spare blade as well with the overlock. With oh, this one. wow, that's quite good. Quite often you don't, and they can be quite expensive to buy. Yes. And again, you've got instructions on how to change it. Okay, there's your spare blade there. The little brush we little know brush that, that we we'll always get. You've yes. also got some thread nets. So if you've got spools of thread on, and sometimes the thread falls down, you can pop these on. They just sit on around it. Like, like a hair net? Like a it's sort of, yeah. It's just a little stretch. Oh, so it wow. stretches. So you've got four of those. Oops. It will stretch out and it just sit over your thread. So do you want here we go? Do you want to pop it on? Oh now no, you're asking. Go me. on then go for it. So it just means that your threads aren't going to get all tangled. So the thread will be out the top and it stops it slipping down and tangling around the base of the machine. One of those for everything. Right. What's that, what else have I got? You've also got I'll look at those in a second. Oh, okay. You've also got the small screwdriver for the needles. Right. Some spare needles. Right, be keeping these on that side because you've got a secret. Oh, I've got a thing. secret compartment What's that here. There? This is a needle threader. Okay. And it's also got a little point in the end here, so you can actually hold your needles in it. So it's really nice, give that little bit of stability. So what, what's this thing here for? You could pop your needle into there, and it holds it. So oh. it's like an extra hand almost. Oh wow! Okay, so you can give just you that pop your needles in there. And eyebrow and the, hookers. And the tweezers. Yeah. You've also got. A which hooks onto the machine. OK. okay. And we're going to talk about those later. Yep. This is incredible. On the front of your machine... Mm -hmm. There, it's there, yeah. isn't it? Am I you pointing to the right yeah, place? Yeah, it is the right place there, yeah. Now I need to point on the point right yeah. there. You see, it's got instructions, right? Now, the instructions are in English yes. on there. But should you be of any other language persuasion, you've got a panel that you can just stick on there. So, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Slovenian, Polish, Czech, Danish... Uh, Dutch, Norwegian, Swedish, Finnish, and Russian all can be mm. read. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Right, now, now that I've gone through what you get, oh, what's that? Yeah. What's this paper? This is just a little cover. It's right. a little cover that goes on. I made my little overlocker a coverall on the overlocker just to have a play. Oh, okay. Very <laughs> easy to make. It's just a little 
goes on it. Brilliant. So I took a pattern off mine. And right. Just... We're going to get all excited about mm -hmm. um, an overlocker. Yeah. But some people might not know what an overlocker actually does. So could, could you just explain why you'd need an overlocker and what the it would do? The overlocker is primarily used in dressmaking, but I quilt and I do use it quite a lot in quilting and soft furnishings. Right. It gives you a beautiful, neat finish on the edge of your garment because as it's sewing, it's also trimming all those little fluffy bits off for you. So you get a lovely, nice professional finish on it. Um, again, if I'm doing soft furnishings, cushions, and I've got a loose weave fabric, I'll overlock them before I start sewing so they don't fray out while you're working with them. So it's a really... I've got a couple kit. of pieces here. We've got a couple here. of bits there that I found that <laughs> have been made. And you can see here where the seams have been over. This is your overlocking. So you get that lovely shop-bought professional finish. We'll just have a look at on that them. on the camera. Um, all the seams here. It saves you having to either do French seams yes. or line a garment because it's all cleverly disguised. And again, if you're doing knit stretch fabrics, you can do both seams together and you can do the whole garment on the overlocker. Oh, wow. So this not only makes it look neater, mm -hmm. makes it look professional, saves time, yep. has a, gives it a gorgeous a beautiful neat edge. finish, yeah. Also, it won't add any bulk, will it? Because if no. you had to bind those seams, even yeah. though I love Hong Kong yes. seams, I love bound seams, yeah. but if you did it on every garment, it's going to add to the weight of the garment. Especially if it's a fairly lightweight fabric exactly. as well, it will exactly. look quite bulky. And again, that's another little top out there and you can see it's been overlocked all around here around the seams so it just gives you that beautiful finish on all your items that you're making louise said hooray we've seen an overlocker at last <laughs> right okay so that's what it can do so, so those, those, are, those it's, that's its main function say now, I... you said earlier you said something earlier about um different stuff the one i had yeah just did one stitch that was yes. it but these do lots and lots these of different, have got stitches. different stitches on them we do have here we go Where's my little manual? You get a really nice, as usual with Elna, a beautiful comprehensive manual. Right. Which if I can flip it round. Yeah. And it shows you, you've got 12 different stitch settings on here. And does it tell you what to use the different st uh, stitches for? You've got, you do have a guide, yes. It's got your common uses here. Oh, yeah, brilliant. So, you know, stitch number 12 is flat lock three. Common use, construction method for bulky knitwear and decorative stitches. Oh, so, so it's used for decorative fair, stitches as you well. You can use decorative. You can use decorative threads in the overlocker. Oh, wow. Um, and people use woolly nylon, which is quite bulky, which covers the seams quite well. You would use that in the lower loopers. So it's, so it's, it's just... I, I think it's a marvel. I think it's a marvel. And like I said at the beginning, a lot of people are frightened. They are scared of overlockers, of overlockers. aren't they? This, and there's no need to be, is there? There's no need whatsoever, no. This one as well, because you see you've got the little diagrams here. Yes. The little screen on the front, you can just turn it... Oh, hang on, let's have a look can at that Can we see then. if we can get in there? Looks like I can just see if Yeah, we can... we're just going to that one. Can we wait? Oh, it's coming in. Let's go in there. Oh, you right, can. there we go. If I turn... Ooh, oh, oh, I'm going to make myself right up there. Machine. It'll be fine. No, wrong Other way. way. If I go that way, there we go. You can see now that I've got stitch number one here, which is a standard four thread yeah. flat lock. OK. Um, and it's telling me on the top here, I'll use my tweezers as pointers, right. you've got... All, they all correspond, all the little tension dials here, the blue, the red, the yellow and the green, they all correspond. And it's telling me underneath what I should have the tension set at. Yes. The standard is three. It's also telling me what the stitch length should be and what the differential feed should be. Right. Which we'll look at the differential feed later. Yeah. And then what are the other two uh, rows for then? Underneath you've got here, it's telling me if I need both needles in. Because right. you can sew without... Yes. One or the other needles in. This is telling me there's a little guide underneath which you can alter. If you're doing two thread, it alters the lower loop tensions automatically okay. for you. Um, that's a rolled hem or standard on rolled there. Hem. Rolled, rolled hem? Rolled hem. Oh, yes, certainly. They're fabulous for rolled oh, hems. My it's, word. Uh, if you're doing tableware, Lenny and I have got a scarf somewhere yes. I brought in to show you that I made with a beautiful Liberty fab fabric remnant that was so cheap. Five minutes, beautiful Liberty scarf. Oh. So, no question. Okay. Um, you've also got, it just comes in with the other bits of piece where the blades up and things like that. So we can look at those again later, but it's really nice that it shows you the tension. How brilliant. Again, with different fabrics, you may need to alter But we'll go through all that slowly we in, will the, look in at this it. hour, won't I think we? think it's going to take us a whole hour. To yes, get exactly. Just There's basics. so much to talk about, There's isn't there? loads of it, yeah. So, so, right, let's move, do you want to move that back to where it was? We'll right, move okay. back to where we were. So. Uh, what, when it arrives, it comes in a great big box, right? It you comes in a great it. big box. You unpack it, it's got the four threads, which are all, it's already threaded, but you've got four threads cut off and they're tied together here. What I've done is I've put 
a coloured thread on that corresponds with the tension. I would recommend that you do it when you first get your overlocker so you can see which part of the stitch each thread forms. Oh, okay. So, so if just you to need to alter the tension, you know which thread you need to look at to do oh, it. Oh, of course. Yes, yeah. yes, that would be brilliant so idea. It's really... I'd like to say it was my original idea, but it's not. I'm going to pop these off. They're just little spool caps. Just more to show you. They come on. There we go. Um, and that, when you come in in the box, that will be right down like okay, that for course. storage. Yes. Okay. So it's nice, compact, in a lovely box. You've got a little handhold there to pick it up. It's not heavy, is it? <laughs> no. Oh not no. At all, not at all. But they do have like little rubber feet. Oh, it's okay. not going to move when you're using it. That's always a thing. Some people say it's disappearing across the table. Yeah. Because you always think about an overlocker like being mm. a really heavy. Yeah. And also the fact it's got the rubber feet, it's not going to move just, anyway. Yeah, it just it's sticks on sturdy, there. Yeah. Sometimes you have to sort of pry yeah. stuff. I've had to do it before now. <laughs> yeah. So you literally just pull that, make sure it's fully up, right. and make sure it's level across right. the threads, so that it's not sort of going like oh, this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. the tensions. I've just popped these on. It's like the same as you'd use on your sewing machine. And do they come with it? They all come with it. Yeah. Everything we've got today comes with it. So Brilliant. They all come with it on here. I'll just pop these back on. There we go. So they're on. What a lot of people do is you tie your threads in when you're threading. Right. Um, and if you tie it in, run the machine through fairly slowly. The loopers will normally run straight through. The needles you'll have to trim off. Right. When you get to, to the end. But okay. I think I'm going to switch this on. Okay. Mm. We've got the sewing light, the scary bit. I just think I've caught that underneath there. I don't want to do that. Right. I'm just going to do something just so we can get the better, can you do if that's all right with you. Remove that. Is that all right? Right, just, we just, just want the perfect... It's a difficult I, I, one to see, this. No, exactly, bit. exactly, but I want everyone at home yeah, because see. it's so... It's such a brilliant machine. Yeah. I want everyone to see that it, to its full advantage, yeah. I think. It's very difficult. Right. These think four threads, standard four thread. You've got a little thread catcher here, which saves it disappearing off all over your floor. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. So, all the bits. Um, you don't need, necessarily, to lift the presser foot up to push it right underneath because it's got two feeds, which, again, I said we'll look at in a minute. Yeah. Um, it will pick it up quite easily. So, w what stitch have you got on here? I've just got it normal... on a standard four thread, just a standard four okay, thread brilliant. flat lock. It's programme number one. All the tensions are all on three. Stitch length is on three. She's telling me to do it there. Differential feeds on one, which means it's neutral. Which, which means will tell us about in a minute. Both moving at the same time. And then it is literally just so. Oh, it's very quiet for an overlock. Very quiet for an overlock, yeah. And it is as simple. Now, the first question people are going to ask is, where's the blade and are their fingers safe? Because obviously you've always yes, got to be aware that there are blades. There are blades. There, there, there are blades is a blade. The blade is here. I'm going to, I'm going to pop, take, your foot, take, your hand, take your foot off the foot. I'm going to switch it off, actually, yeah, good, good, before good. I do that. Yeah. Um, and be careful, because it is a very sharp blade. Yes. So that just slides open. The front of the machine, you just slide across to one side and take it down. Right. And that's the blade here. I don't know if the guys can get in to yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Where is it? One of my tweezers. There's the blade there. I'm going to pop the presser foot. We are down on it, yeah. yeah. It's here. You can move the blade. You press... Okay. You can probably see it better there with yeah. the blade. So I've just taken that in yeah. oh. and out. There you go, there it is. You can see it where it comes out. That is the blade. To disengage it, you literally turn that knob. Oh, okay, okay. And make sure that it's clicked right yes. down out of the way. That's just to disengage it. So you've you disengaged like your blade. Um, is there only one blade then? There's just the top blade on here, yeah. Because you think of it as when it's cutting, you think yeah. there'd be two blades. So it's a blade and a, obviously a piece of metal that it's. Yeah, it Great just runs against. along and it just takes the side off. Um, they fine. They last for such a long time. The blades. Please don't sew over pins. Oh no, no, um, exactly. You can pin, but make sure your pins are well away. Yes. And take them out before you get there, because if you hit a pin, you're going to put a nick in the blade. Oh yes, exactly. So, and the last thing, because if you go, as soon as you get a nick in the in the blade, that's it. It's, it's going to catch like everything. It's like the scissors. It's like yes, anything. Exactly. You but you do get a spare blade. Yes. But that has literally just. Run that side down. So for this me. is the basic. But now the reason you've got your four threads is because, as Jane explained, she's going to show us why, where each one goes to, and everything. But that's your finished. That would be your simple finished overlocked edge there. And as you can see, you've got the different colours there. You can see the yellow, the blue, and the red there. And then the green is like it was the equivalent of the bobbin, isn't it? The yes, green one. Yes. Yeah. If you think of your sewing yeah. machine, the, the one that's underneath. But so three of the threads are on the top. 
and that one is on the box, but it's the cut that edge beautifully, hasn't it? It just gets rid of all those loose bits yes. on the fabrics. And again, if sometimes if it's the, t the green should be sitting right on the edge. Yes. If it's not, you can just tweak the tension. Various fabrics, you will have to play with the tension. Yeah, of course, of course, but it tells you all of that. It in tells you in here to do. I'm so, put the, I'm going to put the put blade, the blade in and back up. Make sure it's engaged right. again. So, so when it arrives, you've got your bits of thread there that are tied together. Yep. So you've lifted this up and, you, and you're and you advising to do a blue, red, green and yellow yep. to begin with, it just so you know where everything goes. It just gives you goes. an idea. Right. And again, like your sewing machine, when you're threading it, make sure that you lift the presser foot. I don't know if the guys can get in close and see, but you can actually see the tension discs opening on the top here. It's on this side here. It's on here. It's right. I don't know if you'll be able to get in. But when you lift the presser foot, you can physically see the tension discs open on the machine. I'll be able to right. so, get oh. in there. Oh, can we see it that yeah, way? Yeah, there you go. Yep. I don't know if you can catch it on there. So what are you, you doing? You, you're lifting you the foot. Really you lift for? the foot. You can't really see it on the camera, <laughs> unfortunately. That. After all that, no, you can't. Okay. Um, but you will see the little tension discs. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. You, John? So you, you can, I can see You'll it, vouch yes. for me. Yeah, can you yeah. see them moving across to one side? Yeah. You need to do that to thread it. So it's the same as the sewing machines. So the thread is correctly in the tension. Okay. You don't. It's not going to sew properly for you. So. Right. So you get it, and how do you thread it? That's going to be the first question. Is that the first thing you do? The first thing you do, and I mean, most people now will just tie in yes. and run it through slowly. But if you like, we can cut all the threads out and thread it. Are you sure you want to do that, yes. Jane, on live television? Yes, we'll be okay, fine. Then. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Well, I would cut them all out, but I don't think I've what got do you a, pair of, a pair of scissors. Oh, a pair of scissors, Jane. <laughs> got some scissors, please, Oh, uh, Right, now, just while we get the scissors, I'll yes. just explain. You would normally get, this, this would normally sell for £449. What we're doing is adding in a, uh, Alison, an Alison Glass a pattern, which is a jersey pattern, a, a stretch pattern, so the overlock is brilliant for sewing this together. Uh, but you get that for free. You basically get the, the Alison Glass Essential for free. Really, really, really popular patterns, the Alison Glass. I'm not going to go through the whole pattern, but it's a beautiful booklet uh, with six different patterns in there. Is Joe bringing the scissors? Yes, I'll just find you. Yeah. Oh, hey, we can get we get one out of the um, our uh, sewing kit. Okay. Anyway, four hundred and forty nine pounds. You get that thrown in as well. Okay. There we go. There's a seal. Oh, we've got one now. We've got loads got of scissors now. now. Yep. Too late. Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay. There's there's the bundle. You save it. Twenty three ninety five is how much that um, pattern normally costs. You see, that's the, that's. Uh, Okay. Okay, so, we are limited on this bundle and available today. Till midnight today, available to today. Okay. To so right, okay, back I've to... I've done what most people's nightmare is and got all my overlocker threads on. Yes. Okay. So I'm... When you're sewing, so just thread guide here. Right, hang on, we'll just catch up with you. So it's... Yes. Oops. That pops through. Because that's got green on it as well. Towards you. Brilliant. That one. I'm left-handed, so I think it's designed. Made on but all everything that Joan because obviously it's all very well when you watch Jane, you go, Oh, yes, I understand that, and then Jane's yeah. not there, is she later? And you, you, you've got your overlock, and we'll anyway, take it right through for you. It, it does become second nature in the end, but to begin with, it obviously is very, very, but this is threading of all the different colors, isn't it? Okay, oh, I'm on, I've got my little gadget, I spent. I'm going to see if I can. There's a still of all where your different threads go there. That's actually inside your machine. That's actually on the machine as well. Yeah. Oh, hang on right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've got a little... I think it's got bent, actually. Oh. Let me just... Yeah, it has got bent. Jane. I know. I spent ages playing with this last night. Oh, you obviously broke it last night. Probably did. There's a little triangle on the top, and you put the thread through on the side, and you slide it down. There you go. It pops it through the needle for you. That's if you just want to be lazy and not yep. thread it yourself. And um, there's even a little hook here. So you can pop it on the little hook. I'll put it a little bit more to show you. It's always easier at home, isn't it? And there's a little hook there so you can pull it through. The little tool comes with the machine, remember? It's a very handy little gadget. This. Right, how did you know to put the red through the that needle? Because we're going across in order. Oh, OK. OK, so, oh, the so the next one will be the blue on the right one. hand, yeah. so the next one is the blue one. But yeah. equally, I'm going to do this one with the tweezers. You can just thread it. Like you would a normal needle. Okay. So it is. Little gadget is very handy, but that one, and I can't see. Nope. At the moment, it's not very. There we go. And it's through. Brilliant. So they're through. Okay. 
I'm going to pop that, press it across, press the red button. And it's brilliant for changing your needles as well because yes. you've got a really good clear view on it. Of course. That's underneath. So all Through of the threads the are then underneath the... Pull them out to the back so you've got four or five inches of thread at the back yeah, and pull them. left the red one behind. I've forgotten the red one there. There we go. There we are. That's it. And that's it. So, and then we can just see if I've done it correctly, can't we? Oh, no. Fingers crossed. Let's press the foot down. And again, I'll just keep my fingers on those to start with. You've done this before. Just once or twice. And again, what you do, when you come off your work, keep going. It's what they call chaining off. Yes. So you've got that nice long piece to chop oh, off now, there. Oh, now, I'll tell you what we used to do, and I presume this is completely... You keep chaining off and then you just put it through you there. You can if you want, but quite often on some of oh. these, if you're not enclosing it in a seam... Don't do that. Don't do that. You can if you want. Bit. If you're not enclosing it in a seam, you can sort of undo the threads. I tend to cut them and put a little bit of fabric glue or something on oh, okay. just to secure them. Or you can thread them through a large eyed needle and put them back through. Yeah, because you don't reverse, do you, on an no. on a, on no, overlocker? No, do that. So it's just so quite straightforward to do. So there's the top. Yeah. And then the green at the bottom. It's so neat, isn't it? It's brilliant. Four, £449 for such a brilliant machine. Right. All right. Question. Oh, right. Um, this is Han producer Hannah. She thought overlockers would be more expensive than £449, which I agree with, because when I yeah. used to buy them, they were. They were. This is a fun... Say it's the top of the range Elner overlocker, and it's got so many features on it and value for money. You exactly. Can't, you can't beat Elner for value so, for money. Oh, I've got a message... I've got a question from Susan now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just uh, that's exactly what the uh, James just said. She said, "Would you tie the threads in, threads in at the end?" Yes. Yeah. So you either cut them off and put a little bit of fabric glue, or you tie them back through and stitch them back through. Yeah. Or equally, if they're going in another seam that you're going to stitch over, you'll secure it. Oh there. yes, of course. So if it's yeah. the bottom of a that side of a garment or something, then it will secure yes. it on there for you. Brilliant. It just saves them coming on. Okay, on. so we've got it threaded up. Yep. We should practice before we do our first garment, I'm presuming. Uh, now, how do you know which stitch to do on which seam? You know, how do you choose your it stitches? It will tell you in the book, and again, with your, with your fabrics, the three thread overlock. I'll just say that now, Pip. It, yep. it goes through. Where's that? We've got a little, dis little diagrams here. And all these, you've got 12 different settings. And on here, Oh, so you literally you, look up what you're have a working look, with. If you're not comfortable doing this straight, have a little look on it and see. And just like anything else, play with it, experiment with it. But a lot of the time, if you're just finishing a seam, would you just... Well, it depends, depends on the fabric. Depends on the you, fabric. Whichever one so you want to finish. three or a four thread. Um, the four thread will still give you quite a nice elastic on it, elastic stretch yes. on it as well, so it's not going to snap. But you can... They're doing a garment. If you're doing a stretchy fabric garment, you can just sew both seams together on T-shirts. Well, I was going like to say, with, with T-shirts and uh, jersey dresses yep. and things, rather than get a ballpoint needle out, do a line of mm. stitching and then overlock it off, you could just, just overlock the whole thing the off side. together, can't yeah. you? Yeah, straight down Brilliant. the side. OK, then. Again, I've got a question. Uh, it's from... Oh, just from a customer. Is it just for edges or can you join seams? That's just what we were just saying. You saying, can join seams. Yes. So, I'm, I'm so would get... you like to show us then? I about, will. Would that be the next I'm going to literally get two pieces of fabric here in the loop and it's just exactly the same way and again keep going i can't believe how quiet this is yes exactly it's brilliant, and that's the same done so that's so if you're doing so now what all you'd have to be careful of is, is where you your seam allowed this is your finished seam mm. so it's a proper finished seam but then inside You've got the overlocking. Now, that one is not finished. That, you see, there's other dressmakers, like on the items we show you, would sew the seam, then you'd open it, and then you'd finish each side of With the side straight seam stitch, off. Yeah. Uh, if you don't need to do that, if you just mm -hmm. need to make a tube, just need to sew two things together and you know that's the size you want, just do it all straight away with the overlocker. Um, and especially if you're doing jersey, or t so imagine your seam on your T-shirt comes undone. You can literally just stitch straight down and it will stitch the seam of the, jer of the jersey fabric, mm -hmm. the T-shirt together, and finish it off. Yeah, and a pair of leggings, anything like that. Just straight down with the overlocker. OK, just, that's absolutely yeah, brilliant. So what would be the next thing, then? What would the, be the next thing I would probably like to show everybody is how to do a rolled hem. Oh, yes, 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 let's I do that. I have got somewhere. Because you don't think of overlockers as doing rolled you hems, do you? They're beautiful. I mean, this is... I've even ironed it in your honour. Oh, thank you. This is just a little tiny... It's a fabric remnant, a nice Liberty fabric remnant. I bought yep. very cheaply. Yeah. And I just thought, make a beautiful scarf, five minutes, rolled hem. OK. Finished. 
So have you got some more of that fabric to show? No, this is mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've so got some fabric. We can, I will show tail. you on a different fabric, yeah. So, so let me just show the edge of that one. To you can really, it's beautiful. If you look at some napkins and table linen and tablecloths, that's a really nice edge finish on it's things It's coming like right that. close on and this one. And sheer fabrics. It just rolls a tiny little hem for you. You see, now on the Elna's own machine, mm -hmm. the Elna's own machine does, a, you've got a you've rolled got hem little, foot yeah. on that one as well, yeah. haven't you? But this one, that one, as you're stitching, you could still have frayed edges, whereas this one is, is neatening as I it took goes an along. evening dress up in about 20 minutes a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. with chiffon and satin, which if I'd have done it on the machine would take me forever. Of course, yeah. But I literally just thought, right, I need to take two inches off it, straight mm. round on this, yeah. done. So OK, so show us, uh, show us how we do that one then. So to do that, you've got to, again, it tells you in the book, you've got no, to change it. the settings on the machine. Right. So I'm going to switch the machine off. I'm going to raise the needles. So first we need to disengage the knife. Right. Again, I'll watch you on it. Let's that. press it in and turn it forward till it clips down. OK, then we need to press this in. And if you see, there's a little red knob. Here. Yeah. It's got S on there and R. S is for your standard. Roll it forward to R. Oh. Let it go. Put that back up. Okay, and then on the end, it's literally, once you've done it once or twice, it's like driving it second yes. nature. There's a little slider here. Right. The guys oh, yeah, got, on we the can end. see that. Yeah. We need to take that up to RH. Right. As we roll him. Yeah. Close the front again. And I'm going to take one of the needles out and I put my scissors down there. I'm going to take the left hand needle out. So you actually have to physically take you the needle out? You physically take the needle out. Quite, a lot, quite often um, you will do an overlock with a three thread as well. Yes. You've got your little tiny screwdriver and because that needle clamp comes forward... Okay. Oh, that just makes it so that much easier, so doesn't much it? Easier. What I will say is I've got a daylight lamp at home that I have when I'm doing this because I'm going to switch the light back on because the lighting's not... No, no the lighting's not very good in here, is it? The lighting's not great here. I'm just trying to find the hemming, hemming in the um, three hem. threads. It could be three thread. There we go. Is that going to come out for me now? Lucy's messaging saying she's always been terrified of her overlocker. You're making it... Oh. It isn't. I'm just... Are you all right? I can't. Can you manage I've got my very focals aren't quite... There we go. I there think you we've go. got it now. The tiny little screw. But no, it still doesn't want to come out. I've obviously over tightened it last night. Remember, this is a limited offer today. Lots and lots and lots of you coming in on the phone lines. Very limited offer. There we go. We go in now. I can feel the screw. Take there that needle we go. out. The needle come out now. I'm just going to pop that over there so I don't lose it. Again, I'm going to pop that back down now. I've just got the one needle. So I'm yeah. going to pull these threads through. Could you. You can't leave the other needle in no. with no thread in it. No. No, John, do you could not. No, you couldn't. That's very naughty. Yeah, I've got a message from Becky here. <laughs> Hello, Becky in Cambridge. I'm new to sewing and I'm confused. What's the difference between an overlocking machine and a sewing machine? The overlocker, if we can grab one of those garments again, the overlocker finishes the edges for you. It cuts as it sews and it will do the... Give you so, that so nice edge finish. On this one, Becky, this line here, the straight stitch in the middle there, Oops. We can fold the seam, it over there, there you go. That seam has been done it. by the sewing. Oh, hang on, I have to lift it. Oops. That seam in there has been done by the sewing machine, the straight line, and then the edges, Jennifer made this, the edges have been finished off with an overlocker. If you use the overlocker to do the whole thing, it would stitch the seams together, finish the edges off, and stitch it all in the same time. That's basic. So and also, a sewing machine doesn't have a neat, uh, doesn't have a blade doesn't have the on trim it, on it. Cut the front so you, you, most sewing machines have got an overhead stitch on. Yes. They all have. But you don't get that beautiful, neat finish no. on the end. You can do overlocking. Yeah, that's what, what Jane's saying, is you can do overlocking on your machine, because a lot of them do the overlocking edge. It's like a posh zigzag, isn't it, an overlocking thread? Yes, similar to that. Um, yeah. But it doesn't cut anything, doesn't chop anything. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to go... Take this number eight, which tells me on here it's a rolled hem. All right, now, this is, this, is, uh, this is important to see this, because we're now changing... The Remember, little... we were on the number one stitch here, the, the basic stitch on here. So we're now changing to a different stitch. And how are you doing that? Oh, it's the little dial here, and you literally just turn it. And I want stitch number eight. OK. okay. I've got nothing. It's showing me here how I should have it set for my rolled hem. Right. So it's telling me that there's... The left needle's not there. Oh, I've got yes. the right needle, and there's no thread underneath. I need to alter the tension to four. Right. On that. Of the blue. Of the blue one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the red one, you're confusing oh, me. Oh, sorry, the red one, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the red one. Um, the yellow and the green both stay at three. 
and the little slider on the end should be on R, which we've done. Yeah. And the differential feed should be on one. Right, we need to ask about the differential feed in a we minute, do, don't we? Yes. Yeah. So let me just get a little bit of it's just a white. And you can see how fluffy the edge is on it. Yes, this exactly. Now. So I'm gonna pop that under and take that down. So now if you were roll hemming this with a machine, all those little threads would still be there. Yeah, I need to, yeah. So we've got. And I'll just show you that finish. And that's a little tiny rolled hem on there. So it's, just so it's a, a tiny, tiny, tiny rolled hem on there. Obviously, you're seeing the colours now. If you were making a scarf out of it, you'd use the colours, you'd use all the threads in the same colour as your scarf or whatever. OK, uh, so that makes a little rolled edge. And what it does is the blade slices the edge. So we started we off with all those... Oh, yes, there you, go. there you go. That's what it sliced off when you were finishing the edges off. So that sliced all of that off and it's done a little rolled mm. hem. I've got, a mess. I've got a question from Naomi. Is the thread you're using standard sew-all threads? Thank you, Naomi. Yes, it is. You can get specific overlocking threads, which tend to be quite fine. They're right. finer than standard sewn threads. These are ones I've just picked up for the colours. Um, the big cones, if you look, you can see they are quite... Finer yes. Thread, finer so you can buy, if you're going to be using overlocking a lot, you can buy overlocker can thread buy, cones. What I tend to do with my overlocker is either in black, yes. white or neutral, yes. one of the three. If I'm doing a specific item that's say like taking up the dress um, and I know it's going to be a one-off, I'll buy a couple of reels of normal thread. Right. Wind some two bobbins for the needles because you don't use as much for the needle. Of course. Or even one with a rolled hem. Just pop it on there and just thread it through and use that. So you're not having to buy four great big cones. At the That's a fantastic idea, once, yeah. yeah. But but really, I mean, when I worked at Theatre, we had black, black or white or beige yeah. on them and that was And that's it, what really. you do. Or grey is very good. Yes, grey is a very good blend yeah. of colour. And very seldom change the colours on it. No, you're exactly. not changing it like your sewing machine threads. No, all no, the no, time, no. Um, OK, it. so now that you mentioned something there about... What was the last thing you mentioned on that um, thing there? Uh, DF, what was the DF? The differential feed. Yes. Do you want to go somewhere else first, or am I jumping ahead again? <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, differential feed. A normal sewing machine has got one feed, and you see the feed dogs working. Overlockers have got two. Oh, OK. And you can alter them. So, at the moment, when it's on one, the front and the back feed are both moving at the same speed. OK, did you see that there? It's down underneath the, uh, underneath the foot there, Tim. Yeah. It's just, it's like, it looks very much like a standard sewing machine. Yeah, yeah. So there's two. So with a differential feed, you can alter it. And you will do this on, um, on your different fabrics that you're going to. So I'll take that one yeah. again. And it may, we probably should. Oh, do, well, they didn't see where you changed it. Just Sorry, on the, it's on, on here. If you look on these, the two little dials, one's got DS. Yeah. And the other one's got SL. Yeah. That's a stitch length and that's a differential feed. OK, perfect. Two sep totally separate things for you. I'm going to have another go with this, because I've altered this. Sometimes you'll find that your fabric really, this is gathering quite a lot now, if you can see. And it is a nice way you can put gathers in if you want to. Right, Pamela's saying, could this replace a sewing machine? She hasn't got a sewing machine yet. Should she buy a sewing machine, or should she buy an overlocker, or should she get both? Both. Because it is a separate machine, it's quite an individual machine, and it does, it's got a very different use to yeah. it. Yeah, so you can't just do a straight stitch or a, a simple straight stitch. It on. overlocks and it cuts. Yes. You can see where I've tightened the differential feed up, it started gathering the fabric for you. So you can get some really nice effects yes. doing that. But equally, you can alter that. So if I'm sewing this, I'm thinking that's gathering now, I can take it the other way and it'll lay flat. Do you stretch your fabric? Sometimes they can be a little bit difficult. So that's with it, with, it, uh, yeah. with it altered, it's giving it that little gathered effect on the edge there. Just see you can see if I that can very show you better. You might see it better on this. Let me take that. It's just, racing through there. This is, it just means that the front feed is moving faster than the back feed, so it's pushing the fabric through. If you go the other way, it's putting a little bit of tension on it, so it's going to make it straighter. Brilliant. Right, I've got a warning. If you've got one in your basket, please, 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 please be careful. We're very limited with numbers. Very, very limited numbers. Lots of you got it in your basket. So, and I always explain this, and I'm, it's not undue pressure, adding, adding any undue pressure. All I want, if you've got one in your basket and you definitely want it, please, please, please check out. I know Jane will be finishing her demonstration in a few minutes' time, or in ten minutes' time, but, 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 it's a very limited offer, and if... So, say I've got 10 left, <coughs> and 11 of you got in your basket, when the 11th person comes to check out, it's going to say out of stock. Just putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee that you've definitely got it. Only checking out guarantees that you've got it. 
How many? How long have we got left? Oh no, no, you're right. I was you've going got to say. Minutes, oh, that's got fine. Oh, moment of right. panic. Babe. You can also alter the top foot pressure on here as well. So if you've got oh, okay. a, a heavy fabric, it's in neutral at the moment. So if you just, it's on the top. On the top here. So that's pressure of the foot going down. The foot down. coming down. So if you've got a really heavy fabric, yeah. just it, the line. I'm going to, there we go. So you can move it that way. The line goes thinner. So it's sort of, as it goes thinner, it's taking the pressure off. Okay. But again, and if it goes heavier, it's putting some pressure, foot pressure on for Brilliant. you. Brilliant. Again, that's so explained in the... It. It's all explained in the book. I've lost my little Okay, I've got there a question go. here. Um, is a, do you need a different foot, a feed D for stretch feed. fabric? Differential feed. Do you need... Oh, yeah, is differential <laughs> feed for stretch fabric? Yes. You can use it on all fabrics because some of your lighter cottons and things, you can see this is gathering slightly. Yes. So you may need to alter differential feed, have a look at the tensions on some things at times. Again, it's the same as when you're doing some sewing. Sample it first. And yes. if you get more used to your machine, you'll have more of an idea of, of what the settings need to be. Okay. It's just so handy having this little window to tell you what you need to do. Um, you have also can alter the... Cutting blade. On a lot of machines, it's a little That's knob on the front inside here. that you're twiddling. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. There, go. there, there go. we go. Right, what's that for? That's for moving. If you want to cut it a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, you can just turn that and you can see the but knife's it's, moving but it's, up. It's, it's minimal, isn't it? It's not like it is, an inch, not, you're not going to... Oh, gosh, no. no. And the thing to remember is once you've chopped it off on here, you can't you've put chopped it, back. it off. Yes. So just be a little bit cautious at first. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, because if you're stitching a... T-shirt, yeah, and you have to cut. Obviously, you need to stitch on the pattern line, yeah. so, you, so you need to know where you're cutting and where it's going to cut, is, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. So, so. No, no, just, uh, just. Uh, I know it's obvious, but it, but it if you go like that, yeah, like you say, once gone, you've cut, and you've cut an inch off it, you're thinking, oh gosh, yes, too small, exactly. Um, but you don't need to. But so you can you can alter that slightly on here, which is a really nice feature. Most machines, you have to open this up, and there's a tiny little knob that you turn there. Uh, Diana sent a message. Hello, Diana. She said, I've only just joined. Have you shown how to sew a circular seam where you have to finish the line? No, I haven't, but we can do that in a little while. Short. And where she's asking where, yeah, where you have to finish the line. So as you're coming off, you would just slowly go to one side. You'd overlap. I'll show you in a yes, minute. Okay. We'll pop it back onto here. Right. The other nice thing here, which again is a little Elna secret storage compartment. Oh, we, yes. We do like those. If you pop that up, got a little storage compartment there where these go. A little screwdriver will go. So they're to hand whenever you want them. Tweezers, essential little piece of kit. Yeah. Go into it there. And there's a little bit on the end for the points to go in. Yeah. And the little needle threader sits in here as well. Now, I, I know it's a very, very limited bundle today. That's the bundle. Will we be getting more of these if these sell out? We may let you have some more. Oh, yes, there you go. We may let, <laughs> they may with, let us with have the bundle, some more. With the pattern, it's a brilliant pattern to start with because it's using the overlocker. Yes, of so course. It gives you course, a good starting yeah. point on yeah. it. And again, like myself, get some fabric, make yourself a scarf. I've got a little, um, a little drawstring laundry bag there where I just overlock. It's just calico. Overlock the edges. You haven't got to either line it or French seam it. It gives you that lovely professional finish brilliant. instantly. Okay. And stops everything fraying. So now we've got 11 minutes left. What yep. would be the next thing to show? Oh, that, what, are, we, are we going to do Diana about the um, circular, circular seam? Circular seam. Let me just have a little look on here. So I'm going to put this back now to a three thread on here. So that's back to number six. So it's telling me here. Oh, so we don't need to re-thread that other needle and put the other needle back no, because we're still going to on number three six because I'm going to do it on a three thread. But what we do need to do is alter these settings back. Oh, OK, yes. Okay. So I'm just going to pop the slider down on the end. Yeah. Switch it off before we go near the blade. Turn the blade down. This just presses in. Back. Now, if, first of all, if you get all of this, if you think you're buying one of these, all of this is covered in the pamphlet. Also... This show will be repeated over and over again until tomorrow morning, but you can also go to YouTube and watch it at any time. The, the shows mm. stay there and you can fast forward and you can uh, pause and everything like that. Um, if you're missing any of these instructions, and mm. it's always easier to, when you see somebody do it, isn't it, rather than just read it. Also, there is a, an Elna helpline, so yes. if you get it, you can always yes, ring so. the Elna helpline and they'll help you on yeah. there as well. I think as well, the book is so comprehensive as well. Gives you everything you need to know. We're asking about circular seams, so I'm just going to pop that under to start sewing. What won't be around after midnight tonight is the offer with the pattern. Yeah. Pop that down. So we're literally right, okay, so. just going to go. I'm going to put my differential feed back to one. There we go. Stitch length is about three. And it, it is just 
There we go. It's just going well. Oh, I it? see what you mean. So how do you finish the line at I'm the end of the I'm assuming this is what the lady means. I hope so. If it's not, if she gives me a shout, and I will. So you're just coming around. And again, then, this one I need to alter the... OK, so let's just watch when we get to the end of this. So when I'm coming to the end, I am literally just going to do a little bit of an overlap. And then just... And then just grade it out. Take it off the side like that. And again, with the threads, you can cut them, thread them, and pop them back. So it's just, just coming over on there. That's for Diana I'm there. Put that back again. So it's just go around. Keep it fairly slowly. Tend, people tend to rush on an overlocker, but you know, take your time. Mm, yeah, it. definitely. And just have a little practice, and that's a really nice. Okay. Finish. Now, what I'm being told from our buying department is, yes, we will get overlockers in again in the future. They won't be in this pass. You won't be in this bundle, but they're not. They're not um, in the near future. We will be getting some in the future, but not, not, not immediately. So if, when, if these all sell out today, we won't be getting more in next week. It'll be later on when the deal is done with Elna and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the bundle we're offering today. £449 for the overlocker plus the Alison glass uh, pattern there. Yeah. Right. So. Oh, very limited. Oh, now, 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 now. Warning, warning, warning. If you've got it in your basket, you do need to start thinking about checking out. You really need to start thinking about checking out. Because, like I said, if, if 11 of you got it in your basket, there's only 10 left. When the 11, as the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 get there, they'll get theirs, right? But number 11 won't. But I need to warn you, we're down to single figures already. We're down to single figures on this already. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. We've got seven minutes left to impress you with this uh, Elna uh, right. Overlocker. It also, with your packet of needles, I forgot to say, there's a little space for those. They, oh, just, okay. they just pop into the bottom here. It's really nice to have all those handy because there's nothing worse. You're sewing, I do it, and you think, where have I put my exactly, tweezers? Exactly, exactly. And they're under a pile of something somewhere also, in the corner. Also, we haven't got to talk about those no, two things. No, we haven't that. That is actually, you can use decorative threads on these, so you can use metallics, variegated oh, okay. threads. If we do another show, I'll cover those on that. Um, and woolly nylon people use... In the lower loopers. You wouldn't think that you'd better put de decorative threads in you an can, overlock, would yeah, you? You can, yeah. This is a special little guide that just clips on here. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes they tend to, because they can get a bit tangled. So it's just to run them through. So as well as running them through the one at the top you'd here, you run them through You pop it through there, just well. with your decorative threads. And these tiny, tiny little black pieces here. Uh, Diana says, thank you for that, Jane. Uh, if I'm trimming at the same time, do you do the same? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just run it round slowly and then just take it slowly okay, off lovely. the edge. So that, that, that gadget That's is for again. putting and decorative again, threads through. And again, these little black tea pieces. Have you seen those? They're tiny, tiny little black tea pieces. They come in there. Yeah. They are for the tension. Again, if you're using decorative threads, they just pop under there. It just makes them run through the tension easier. So you can only use two decorative threads at the same time. You would time. not use a decorative thread realistically in the top. They tend to go in the bottom. Oh, OK. So it's a case of having a look. And like your sewing machine, play with some different threads. Have a look at it. So just have a look there where they, they go. Just go in. Oops, I'll get that one in there. It's a bit tiny. Just pop that one in there. It just goes underneath, popped in. They're just sitting there, and it just takes that tension a bit for the thicker threads. Okay. Uh, people are asking, are there any tips for looking after an overlocker? Now, I know at the beginning we said this was oil. There's oil, there's some oil in there. If you look in the back of your book here, oiling the machine, it shows you exactly where the oiling points are because it's mechanical inside. It will show you which bits on the side you need to actually oil. OK, so there's the oiling so of the machine. Quite and what about other little tips? Because it must get quite fluffy. It gets fluffy. very fluffy, so it's just... Because it's quite open, again, switch it off. You've got your little brush. I use the pastry brush sometimes or a small paint brush. OK. And just defluff it on yes. the regular. It's surprising if you're using fluffy fabric how much fluff actually Oh, no, well, any... any could you look in here at the end of a day in here? There's only oh, four hours imagine. of demonstration. There's fluff <laughs> everywhere. I know. And I, the worst ones I've seen, I've actually seen them totally wedged with fluff. No, that's something just not even... Yeah, and that's quite not good. But, uh, but it's, it's just such a nice, straightforward machine to use with the, so many features on it that you're not going to get anywhere else. And the uh, owner quality. So yeah, now, exactly. This, exactly. Is, this is an absolute godsend because... I, I say I'm a quilter, I'm not particularly a dressmaker, and this is perfect for me because if I'm doing something, I'm not going to think, what should that tension be on there? I don't have to get the book out. I can just turn my little programme around and it tells me. How do you turn a corner, says Pat in East Sussex. Right, oh, I haven't done these for a while. Let me, and we're on the three threads, so we'll have a go. Let me just 
Good questions. Thank you for all your I'm questions. Where is it? She's going to get me. Um, got four minutes, Jane. Don't want to rush you, but got four minutes. So there's a couple of different ways. I would literally, I would probably come off, just like you were saying. Yeah. Then lift the presser foot and pop it back under. Pop the chain to the side. There's a couple of different ways of doing these. Am I going to come off? I'm not going to go all the way down there see how tidy it is that's not particularly tidy because i'm rushing but i would take it off and if you wanted to i would snip that then and put a bit of fabric yes. on. but normally you will snip that off on the way around and it takes it does it always finish with the needle up or oh no obviously not because it's down now um it's down. Is, are there any rules about because you know when you pivot when you're doing sewing you have to keep your needle down all the time uh, yeah. Melon, please. yeah with these um I wouldn't keep the needle, so you can if you want. I'm going to try and have another go at a different way of doing corners. Yeah. So I've got the needle in, yeah. I'm going to lift, I'm going to pivot and take it round. You may want to just give it a little bit of a tweak. A lot of that is, is practice as yes. well. So Pat, there's a corner for you. It's just so you stop really, you stop, take out and turn round. I kept the needle in that one right on the edge of my corner yeah. and stopped and turned. So you. It's just practice with it. Again, if you're doing a bias edge, like a neckline and adding ribbing, ribbing to it. That's the corner for uh, Pat there. Diane wants to know about the rolled hem. We've done the rolled hem, Diane. Can, can I, can I borrow here your we go. Do you want there my scarf again? For your scarf. There's the scarf again. There's the rolled hem. It's literally, it it's all in the book. Literally. And there it is on a piece of uh, gorgeous chiffon. Neatens it off so beautifully, doesn't it? And it's just such... I've left the salve edges because it's just a nice finish. Yes, And exactly. it's a really quick exactly. scarf. Right, OK, so we've got two minutes left. How would we round this up? Oh, we're down to single figures. We're down to single figures, by the way, on this. Why, why, why should somebody buy this Elna Overlocker today? It's a fabulous machine. It's got so many built-in features which will really help you. It's really easy. It will guide you through. It gives you such a professional finish to your work as well. It really does give you a beautiful finish. And it is the easiest overlocker I've ever seen See, to the use. Thread. It's the threading. I don't know why people are scared of overlockers. I do a lot of exhibitions and the number of ladies come up, can you show me how to thread my yes. I'm frightened of it. So get it. You can just tie the threads in if you want and run them through. 99% of the time they'll go through as long as it's fairly slow. Yeah. Um, but I would be inclined to just pull them out and just sit there and have a little practice two or three times. Well, the thing is, doing it that way, you're learning, aren't you? So you're you're just pulling them through, because yeah. I used to just pull them through. Then if, I still what, if do. it did snap, yeah, yeah, but if it does then snap, you think, you panic. I've never put it in, I yeah. don't know where this goes. You think, what, what am I going to do now? Whereas if you spent even 20 minutes, half an hour, and threaded it two or three times, you're quite comfortable, then you know it's not scary. And that easy thread looper is brilliant. This is the top of the range, top of the range Elna Overlocker for £449. Today, and only today, we're throwing in this gorgeous Alison Glass uh, pattern. It's more than a pattern, it's like a little booklet. It's got uh, about six different things you can make in there. The reason we put it on with the Overlocker is because of the jersey, thread, uh, the jersey fabrics and things like that. So you're getting that for free today, the £23.95 at this cost. There it is, that's the bundle you're getting today. So you're paying £449. On another day, you could still pay £449 for the overlocker but you won't get the uh, the free uh, uh pattern in with it and that might not be for a while remember if you if you, my advice or our advice is mm. without any undue pressure if you want this i'd come in now if you've got it in your basket i would definitely 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 uh, check out check out your basket because um, an awful lot of you have got this in your basket and several of you could be disappointed when you come yeah. to check out if you do want it, it's still only £2.95, remember, post packet. Right, now, Jane is here for the next hour talking about a sewing machine. We're going to keep the overlocker out, so if there are any questions you need to ask about the overlocker, won't we'll be demoing it, because yeah. you'll be over there not near a plug. Um, but we, if they've got any questions for that, if you want to now sit down for an hour and think, do I want it, don't do I want it, mm -hmm. should I check my basket out, should I not check... Now is the time to ask a question. Jane's here for the next hour. We've got a fabulous bundle with our next sewing machine as well. So go nowhere, get yourself a cup of tea. Jane and I will be back here in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. The Sewing Quarter is a new, inspirational sewing and quilting channel here to help educate our viewers with some of the best designers in the business. We hope to bring you some exciting demonstrations with some of the top industry experts.
We're part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multi-platform company who operate some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our first TV shopping channel adventure with Jewelry Maker to several successful magazines such as Simply Sewing, Radio Times, BBC Good Food and many more. We've been working incredibly hard to set up and bring you our new exciting channel and we hope that we can help inspire you with new ideas and projects. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Here at the Sewing Quarter, we want to help you with your levels of sewing. Whether you're a novice or you've been sewing for years and years, we want this to be a fabulous learning curve for all of you. Whether it's making a little gift or making yourself a fabulous outfit, we will be working with some of the UK's biggest designers. You have to join us for that. Don't forget, our sister brands are some of the leading brands in the industry. With Love Patchwork and Quilting being rated top modern quilt title on the market, today's quilter has achieved market leadership in the traditional quilt sector. And finally, Simply Sewing was launched in February 2015 after noticing a gap in the market for beginners. Combined, we reach over 150,000 readers every month. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8am till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry. There are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter, where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date, then using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Lucy's hair, that's all I'm saying. Did you see that advert? How different is her hair now to how it was? Anyway, 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 that's another thing, another story. Isn't this cute? Isn't this lovely? Do you, would you like to be able to make your own fabric, print your own fabric? Whether, like this one, it's from a really, really gorgeous photograph. Have a look at this, it's lovely. See, look, with writing, but look, but look at this round here. You see, uh, 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 later on, we've got this fab, uh, uh, it's not this hour, it's next hour. But look, even if you just wanted to write, you know, um, Congratulations, 10 years of love and laughter. Do you know what I mean? It's just kind of, do you know what? Wedding invitations, Jay. This would be good for wedding invitations, wouldn't it? It's fabric that you've printed up to however, however you want to. That's not this ad, that's threads in the next ad. It's fascinating, Angie's here to show us that. But with Jane, poor old Jane, we're working hard today. We're doing Elna and before, we've, we've already done the overlockers. So if you've got any questions about the overlockers, we're down to single figures on the overlocker, just so you know, down to single figures. There's an awful lot of you with them in your basket. Please, please, please check out because I can't, the bundle is only for today, though the pattern, right? We don't know when we're going to get them in again. If they sell out today, that could be it for a long time. And I'm not trying to add any undue pressure, I promise you. All I want, I know what it's like to be disappointed, and I don't want you to be disappointed. So if you want it, then please, 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 please do. Right, okay, let's go back with Jake. Right, now this sewing machine we're dealing with is the 680 EX, which all of our designers adore. Mm -hmm. And all of the, in fact, Lucy yes. even bought one, right? Yes. But before we start, even start talking, this is the overlocker from earlier. If you've got any questions, please do. Um, 
Elna, let's have a little background of Elna, because we just presume that everybody knows who Elna, Elna is, don't we? Elna is a very well-established company. I think it's been over 75 years now they've been established. It's a Swiss company. It is part of the Genomi Group in the UK now, um, but it's still sort of based right. in Right, so we, we often get questions about that. So Genomi and Elna are two different makes, but they come under the Genomi... We've got the same umbrella, yeah, it's the same. Umbrella. Yeah, yeah. We work together, so I work with both the machines. Because I was going to say, when you go to when you go to a, uh, a trade fair mm -hmm. or, a, or one of those sewing fairs mm -hmm. and everything, there's a Genomi over there, mm -hmm. both impressive, I may yes. say. But there's a Genomi <laughs> stand there and an Elna stand there, mm -hmm. as though they're in competition, but they actually are owned it's, by it's, the same. It's people. under the same group of companies. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. Perfect. Together. And so, so they've yeah. been around for 75 years. They're known for their excellence. They're aren't excellent, they? and their little innovative techniques, like we saw on the Overlock, the, the little storage mm. bits and pieces like that. They have the little Elna Lotus. The little tiny fold-up machine. Oh yes, it's a yes. dinky little thing. It's in the New York Museum of Modern Art. As it's so, and there's still an all. I still see a lot of ladies who've got those oh. and have still and been using them for forty years. So they're but great. But also, Elna must have a team of innovators because they have things on their machines that other people they're yes, exclusive. They're Elna exclusives. They are quite, which is lovely to see. Yes. I think with the Elnas, they've got some really nice little add-on details. And, and also, they're not resting on their laurels, are they? They're no. not going, we're Elna, we're fabulous. No, no they're still they're constantly still... evolving, yes. Yeah. So, so each, each year there's something new yeah, appearing, new, new, new machine. or new tweaks yeah. and new bits and pieces. So it and also, really... I think they listen to their viewers and mm. to their customers yeah. because they will add things that you wouldn't mm. normally expect no. them to add to, 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 to a sewing machine like this, which we'll talk more about in they're a minute. They're very user-friendly, they're very intuitive, the little bits like the storage on this big machine. It's just so handy and nice. They've got the pivot pin, which Hannah has requested. Oh, yes, I do yes. Again, she that's loves producer that. Hannah, yes, And that's exactly. an Elna exclusive. They were the first company to put a stretch stitch on a domestic sewing machine. So it's things like that. They've been at the forefront of innovation and technology for a very long time. Exactly, exactly. And also, their customer care is, is yes, second to none, isn't yep. it? It's exemplary. They're good, yep. there, are, there are phone numbers you can ring yes, for help get, and things like that. Yes, you get the help line, yeah. Perfect. Right. Let's get going. Right now, this is a bundle. I need to tell you about this. We, okay. we sell this sewing machine all the time, but for today and today only, we have this bundle where you can, for the same price that you would normally buy this sewing machine for, which is 999, you've got all of this. Look at as well. So still for 999. So you get the sewing machine, <coughs> excuse me, you get the clippers, the snippers, you get that thread pack with the bumblebee bottom, which I'll tell you about in a minute, and then a brand new book called How to Machine Sew. Never been on air before that one. Never ever been on. So you get all of that for nine nine nine. Now that's for today only, because normally if you come in and buy that machine normally, it's nine hundred and ninety nine mm -hmm. pounds. You're saving thirty two pounds and eighty five pence. I'm being told. Right, that looks worth more than I that. I haven't anyway. seen that book. No. I mean, that's brand I, new. Brand I'll have new. A look at that later. Yes, exactly. Right, you can't have it unless you buy the whole thing. <laughs> I'm all right then, John. <laughs> Right, again, just to warn you, we are limited. We are limited. It's a little bundle we've done just for today. So if you're watching on, on repeat, obviously, until midnight tonight on, what day is it, Wednesday, uh, it's, it's a deal that's open till then. Right, let, let's start. So right. the overlock is there. That's the overlock, uh, uh, overlocking bundle that we had in the last hour. This is this machine here, the bundle here. So, okay. once again, nice comprehensive manual. I do like the manuals because yes. they've got the line drawing it and it takes you through everything you need to know. Again, when you get the machine out of the box, it shows you how to thread it in the manual, how to put the bobbin in. That's a good sturdy Everything manual, like isn't it? It's not just it's, a flimsy paperback, it's a is book. it? I, I'm a great bit. I do like a book. I think it might be my age, but I do like a physical book. I can make notes in it if I need yes. to. Yes. I'm saying it. And it does take you through absolutely everything, setting it up and using it and goes through all the stitches. And what comes with it, this could take us the whole hour. No, it will, it will, I'm sure it will. I mean, You've got the... the lovely extension table. Right. Which does have legs with it. Which right, but Jay's lost ours. Has it? Yes, so we'll blame Jay. So they do. So that will slide off and the table will just then, it just sits on, it just clips on here. It just right, sits and on. then it, yours, yours will have legs we'll to We'll have hold legs, it there. honestly. We won't let Jay near them. No. <laughs> and, and it's brilliant, not just for quilting, but if you're doing, you know, making a coat or a large dress or anything like that, soft finishes, it just takes away to the but fabric. Or something that's so intricate that you want to yeah. keep it flat the whole yeah. time. So you can really got a lot of space. There yes, exactly. exactly. Knee lift. I love this. Now, I know what this is because my... I shouldn't really say my sewing, my industrial sewing yes, machine has one of these, yeah. and I think they're the most fantastic things. We can't show it on here because of the it angle. It pops into the front of the but, machine. There's a hole at the front of the machine down there. Yeah, which it just slides into. Right. And then when you actually, you just press your knee against right. it, and it lifts the presser foot for you, so you've got both hands free. 
Oh, it will just literally lift that presser foot up. So if you have got, for example, a big quilt big or something quilt. you don't want to move. So this end here goes into your machine. That bit goes into the machine. And then this bit here, down here, I'll lift it up. That bit there is obviously hanging down from your machine, but this is resting against your knee. So when you need to lift your foot up, you just push your knee out like that. It lifts the foot up, let your knee down, the foot goes back mm -hmm. down again. Lift your knee up. No, push your knee out. Basically, you're working the foot by your knee. Yeah. It's, I was, I was. I, no, no, I was I, <laughs> exactly. But anyway, it's a brilliant, 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 yeah, brilliant so that's uh, great. device. Yeah. It's a really nice add-on. You also get, again, which is Elna, they, they, I like the little extras the Elna do. You've got your little easy bobbing case. All of this so comes with... They all come with... So you've got your bobbing case. You've got a little leaf up there. Um, and these have got a little blue piece on here. Why? Please, somebody's had one. You can pull your thread on there. You can just, as you're winding it around, how many times you go to get your bobbins out and they're everywhere? They're yes. all tangled. This, you can just slip the thread in between there and the bobbin. Oh, how fantastic. And it just holds it nicely yeah. for in you. In the old days, there used to be a, a, like a little um, notch in there. Oh, you've got a little round hole on yours. That's but just be a for notch. threading through. Yeah, some people use it to wind the bobbins. Yes. Um, but that just tiny little piece on there. So you can just pop your thread underneath and it's not going to be like um, a huge... Mess no, when you go exactly. In there. Oh, and there's nothing worse. Is that I'm presuming that other one's already in the machine. I don't know one. where it's gone. Yeah. We haven't seen that one. Anyway, you get ten, you get uh, ten in yours. Yeah. Yes, ten in yours. You do. Right. And that's a foot test now. For yeah. Oh no. Here we go again. You get on these. I'm going to pop that one off. Look at the table. Lots and lots coming on here. Oops. Oops. I know. Crazy time. You get so much with this, don't you? Right, OK. So, you get in this machine. All this comes with it, right? Walking foot, right? With the quilt path. Now, is this the only Elna one that comes with a walking foot, or have the others got walking feet? The other ones don't. There's right, some okay. higher range ones that do, but okay. this, is, this is a start with okay. walking foot. OK, you have then... This is a buttonhole foot, isn't it? It is. Um, has that just come off the bottom of it? Is it's that part got of a, it? It's a really nice one. It's, it's got a stabiliser plate with it. Like say blades on your bike when you first time. If you so wish, yeah. and it just sits in there, so that when you're sewing, if you've got slippy fabric, yeah. fine fabric, some tweed, it sandwiches it. Oh, so fabric goes in between it the two. Beautifully evenly, Brilliant. and again, it's a one step, so you can pop your button in there. Oh, I was just about to say that. And you can also alter. Sometimes if you've got a domed button, you might do your sample and think it needs to be a tiny it's bit little, longer yeah. than you guess. But you can just use that little screw to alter it, longer or shorter. So you literally put your button in there. And then you set it off, and it does. It's not wet like my machine. I have to sew down here, stop, of then course. do the satin stitch across the bottom, stop, go back up the side. This does it all automatically. All in one. We'll all pop in one, one on later and have a go. Yeah, we'll it. do so that, that afterwards. Comes with it. Right, okay. And I need my gloves. This is your this test. Now. Uh, you get a quick unpick. You get the thing that goes on top of the um, spool cap. Yeah. Spool caps there. You get a screwdriver. You get your brush. Yeah, oh, two screwdrivers. I think that one's come from somewhere else. Yeah, I think that one. You get one screwdriver. <laughs> you also get another little spool cap here. You know, you get sometimes now you get the longer thread yes. spools, whatever, um, and they don't fit. So that one just slides on inside oh, yes, of the other. Oh, so yeah, it doesn't And they're wobble. really, really handy, and it holds it quite nicely for you. Okay, so it we've got up. a zipper foot. Yes. We've got a quarter inch foot. Is that that one? No. No, that's that one. No, where's the quarter inch foot? Oh, that's a rolled hem foot. Yeah. That's like we were doing on the overlock earlier. That's the rolled hem mm -hmm. foot there. You get all of these. Yep. Yes, exactly. So that's your over edge foot. That's your over edge foot there. That one, if you look underneath, it's got some tiny little lines. Yeah. That's your blind hem foot. That's it. That's the one I always get confused blind with, isn't foot. it? That's your button sewing on foot, which is fabulous. That's not the button hole. That's, that's for sewing, sewing a button on. on. And they are really secure when you've sewn them on, on the I machine know. as well. That's brilliant, so, yeah. that's brilliant. And these are your satin stitch feet. One's open toe and one's closed toe. Right. The underneath of these, it will tell you on the machine what foot you need. If you look at your standard presser foot... We've got buttons here, we've got buttons. I've got buttons today. Last time <laughs> Jane was on with me, we didn't have any buttons to show, so she cut the button off her trousers. <laughs> we did survive that. Yes. Way. It's really flat on the bottom, so it's really going to press. So when you're doing your heavy decorative stitches, this has got a little indent, so it allows it to move through without distorting the stitch okay. on it. Um, is there one missing? I where's, think... Where's I'll the quarter inch? I thought it had a quarter inch. Anyway, because if, if you bought these feet separately, you just have to look on online. They can, they can cost up to, like, £70, yeah. pounds, can't they? Run away with a quarter they inch They all foot. come in. They're all in there. So, yeah, there's a, there should be a quarter inch. Yes, I thought it. so. I thought so, Jay. Wait. 
not hiding uh, in there. So. Oh, now this is this is now 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 you've given me this. I can look them up. So you can now. I can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> that's your free motion. Free motion, and that's open toe free motion. That's. This is a different oh, form. Um, put that confused again, now. Again, this is what most people use for your free motion, um, embroidery yes, or quilting. Yeah. And a lot of people call it hopper foot because it hops that's up right, and down. That's right. Oh, that's the around. one, yes. yes. That's the one. And this is a converted that one there. quilting foot, which is fabulous. Right. It comes with a closed toe. And an echo. Open toe and an echo quilting foot. You just undo the little screw on the back. Yeah. Oh, to fit those two to in. To fit the others on. But the brilliant thing with this is there's a screw on the side here. And as you alter it, you can alter the foot height from your work. So you can oh, take it up or down. Wow. And it doesn't hop, it glides. So it's really nice. Brilliant. Machining. Beautiful. Excellent. And they all come in. And that's quite expensive to buy on its own. I was going to say, like, yeah. Hannah, our producer Hannah was just saying, how much would these all cost on their own if they didn't Well, that was nearly £50 on its own. Oh, there you go. The one so, that we just showed you. And these you. are all £17 each. That's £45. For, there you go, £45. Yeah, so one. they are quite expensive. What I will say to a lot of ladies, and I do get these at the shows, with the bark, they snap the back of the foot off. Oh, yes, yes, we had this last time, yeah. didn't we? Clip it in like so. Yes. And it's just for doing cross hatching or parallel lines. But when you come to take it out, don't try and force it out. Slide, Slide it out. Slide it out. But, but you put it in on the top till it clicks. In on the top till it clicks down. Okay, can see that. There you go, brilliant. Click but then slide then out. Slide it out. Otherwise, you will eventually weaken snap this because it's arced yeah. and it will snap off. Yeah. Quite a lot of ladies at shows. Uh, and then up there, I think the you've, other got, one, I think you've one, got to cut a foot, another foot that's just oh, been look, delivered there. They're the wrong ones, they're off oh, the other machines. They're, Jay, quarter, they're, not they're quarter fun. inch, well, Jay, but they're off the normal machines. Okay. So it will look like that, but bigger. Because this is a nine millimeter stitch with machine. Of course, machine, yeah, you need the. Most machines are a seven. Um, so it is a much wider foot. You yes, can just see the difference. Exactly. But the quarter inch foot will have a little guide yes. on the side. Yeah, all of, our, all of our quilting um, experts like, to, like the yeah, quarter inch foot. Are, um, and yeah. then. Uh, what's this one for? Is That's that one actually pops in the back of the machine. I'm going to put this one on here right. for now. And again, it's a separate little guide that goes in. Let me go on that way. There we go. And it will just slide in here. So again, you can do parallel lines with your normal sewing. So it's really handy. A lot of people have those with their machines. Yes, yeah, what, no, no, exactly. They don't know what to do with no. them. No, so <laughs> well, it's I great, wouldn't have done it if you told me. You know, even as an edge guide sometimes, I suppose, if you want to keep... So it's really handy little gadget to have. Yes, exactly. And that just pulls out. Um, what's this? Straight stitch plate. Can't you do straight stitches on that one, then? You can. Yes, yeah, you can. But I'm just going to show you how easy it is to take it off. The nice thing with this machine is I can lock it out here with a little key. Right. So now it's quite safe to do anything around here because nothing's going to work. Oh, wow. There's a real nice safety yeah. feature on it. That's good if you've got children. Children, pets. I've laid said all the dog keeps sitting on it. Yes, no, no, exactly. Like, if you've got to go and answer the phone, just put the lock on. Put the on, lock on. And then so no. little fingers can't. And if they, if they tread on the pedal, oh, just be Leaping out, it, nothing. Okay, it won't perfect. do anything. It's a really nice feature. Yeah. And get used to using it when you're doing the bobbin, the foot, the needle, anything. Yes, of course. To change the needle plate, there's a little... Press so hang on, what, what do you... What? I'm going to take it off and show you. So I'm going to take this off and show oh, you. Oh, OK, I'll be quiet then. Do. Right, so where did you just press, sorry? There's a little, Underneath. Uh, there's an extra high foot lift, so I'm going to press that. Oh, OK, little, oh. And it clips out. No screws to undo, which is fabulous. Right. And if you look now, if you can see, if I can turn those around, you can see that's got a big slot in it there. Oh, And that's yes. got smaller holes. So if, you're, if I was doing soft furnishings, a lot of piecing, I would use that... You can right, move to the quarter inch. The move my fingers out of the way. No, there we go. No, perfect. Yeah, so so what? So mine have got mine's got three dot holes yeah. in it there, and yours has got a big. So which would you use which for? Sorry, what do you want? This it's for decorative stitches, everything like oh, that. Oh, because you, if you're going to be on wide, the width. Yes. This will not let you do. What it knows if you put that on. Oh, so if you've got it's that on, you try and do a wide it stitch. It won't let you do it. That's fantastic. It will block out everything except the stitches that you can okay. use, which are shown inside. The and loop. why would you not just leave that one on all the time? If you're using a fine fabric, sometimes you have it where it eats your fabric. Oh, yes. Where you yes. start, because it's a much wider space for it to take down. And sometimes, if you start a little bit close to the end, it'll take it down. Uh... It stops and it gives you a really good... Because it's not... Yes. Taking the fabric through as much. But apart from that, they're the same, aren't they? The they're bobbin exactly the same, the bobbin... And if you lose a bobbin cover, you've got spare ones. Yeah, of course. Which is always handy. So that is what that's for. But okay. the machine knows if we put it on. That's fantastic, yeah. isn't it, really? It that is. a machine could be aware of that. And to pop it back on again. Yeah, pop it back on soon. I'm just going to lift this. It slides underneath. It slides in here. And you do need to give it quite a firm push yes. in the middle. Because some people are quite frightened. They think they're going to break. Exactly. Exactly. 
Uh, uh, this, I love this, the bobbin, how you feel the bobbin on this one. Out. Not feel the bobbin, but I'm going to take it this on. out as well, so right. we can just start threading. So when you come get your machine out of the box at home, you'll have an empty bobbin in here. Yeah. And you think you get another four in the pack with it. Right. So to thread it up, it's very easy. It's thread by numbers. OK, then. That's what, so, we're going to the top of the machine, Tim. Top of the machine on there, yep. That just slides on. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Again, match your, match your spool cap to the size of your thread reel. That's the smaller one on there. Right, yep. And if you're using wider ones, put the bigger one on, and the really long one's a little tiny one. Okay. It's in the middle. And it literally will tell you numbers. So it goes under one. Can we see that? Probably. One, two, three. Most machines thread. Pretty much yeah, exactly. <coughs> There's numbers there, aren't there? You're following the actual I'm numbers. I'm following the, the numbers. So oh, we've got yes. one, two. So this is the solid line, yeah. or the thing, or the solid line is always threading on any machine, yeah. and dotted line is the bobbin. Okay, perfect. Okay, so three. Again, make sure when you're threading up here, press the foot up. Yeah. Open the tension discs. Of course. Once I've got down here, I'll pop it down. Make sure it goes through the take-up lever. I can actually take that yeah. open, so you can see it's it's sat right down. Quite often, people start sewing, and it's, they haven't put it through there properly, yeah. and it will knot up on the back. Oh, okay. Of the work. It's always opposite. It's on the back. So through the thread guide there. Through that one. Down. If you're not sure, I'm going to unlock it now. I've got a needle threader. Right. If you're not sure the needle's in the right place, do a needle down and a needle up, and it will sit it for you. I'm hoping. I didn't test this this morning when I arrived, so I'm hoping. I always tend to keep my finger on it. It's underneath that one. Yeah. I can see through there. And if you just pull it back towards yourself, it's almost like a little, little groove there for it to sit in. Yeah. You need to put a little bit of tension on this so it doesn't pop out, but not so much that you're stopping it going through the needle. So I'm taking it up, just let go of oh, the end. Oh, brilliant. And it takes it through. It's worth spending five minutes getting really yes. familiar with that because it will save you so much time. Exactly. Um, Elaine has asked... Oh, hang on, it's, uh, we've got a different question now. The, I haven't seen the last one. What happens is when uh, producer Hannah sends me the questions, no, if, no, because I've now got, can you show us how to use a rolled hem? Foot on this one. If we get time, yeah, I'll look at it later. Yeah, there's another one before, it's about the bobbins. Right. Oh, right, so, right. OK. Bobbins, P for perfect, yep. top left. It drops in, OK, coming around. Underneath both, if you can see with this, underneath, there's a little tension, but it goes under down your normal machine. Yeah. And underneath this bigger one as well. Round, down, and done. And it will pick it up for you then when you start sewing automatically. Brilliant. Uh, great show today, says Elaine in Derbyshire. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm going to pop this back on for us okay. now. Thank you. And then we're good to go. OK, so brilliant. We're ready to sew. Default onto a straight stitch. You've got speed control. Yes. Needle up, needle down. A lock stitch. Manual reverse. Automatic cut. Fantastic. Oh, OK. Um, and you can sew with or without the foot pedalling. You don't need to use the foot pedal if you don't want. So oh, OK. If the guys can see the screen, there's yeah. a little icon in the corner there with a foot just, pedal just on it. Can they see it? That there way? you go. There's a tiny little icon there with a foot pedal. Yeah. If I unplug it, unplug the right one, it's gone. So it right. means that I can now sew without using the foot pedal if I want to. Well, just by pressing that just button Just by pressing there. the And why would, you, why would you do that? It's personal preference, I think. OK, is there any, yeah. is there any kind of... Sorry, I've never even come across it before, this machine, but... Um, a is... lot of machines have it now, and I know some maids have never got the foot control out of the box. It is purely personal preference. Oh, okay. It's quite nice if you've got children who are learning to sew with you, you're not worried about them trying to reach the floor. Yes. With the speed control, you can limit how fast they go, as long as you supervise them. Otherwise, they tend to... I think we up. should get this one for Hannah, really, because she's not very well, good co with coordination, she Hannah. She's, she's just learning to drive, so oh, we get warnings. <laughs> don't be in her village on such and such, such a day at such a time, because she's going to be out and about, yeah. yeah. I'm going to pop the foot pedal back yeah. in now, but it is quite a handy feature. OK. So. I think this is a brilliant, brilliant... Lucy, you know Lucy Brennan, uh, uh, one of our designers, uh, she loved this machine so much that her dad and her nan clubbed together and bought it oh, for no, her. Oh, no, I saw her last Because she just absolutely, she absolutely loves it. It's such she didn't a get nice... the bundle, though. No, no never mind. Right. OK, it's so what's your Such a nice machine to use. So it's just literally... They all default straight into a straight stitch. So you can start with... Oh, so as soon as you switch it on, it's... Every so machine, whatever you've been doing before... It will go straight back to a straight stitch. Okay. So that's quite handy to see. Yeah. Um, and this one, so we can just start sewing. It's on really slow. It's not going to... My foot's to the floor. Right. It won't go any faster. So that's on the, the tortoise pace. Yeah, so oh, it will go up if you want. And it will go right up to that. 
because I started with the needle down, every time I stop, it's going to stop with the needle in. So we can pivot hands free. Between that and the knee lift, you've got yes, exactly. that manoeuvrability. Exactly. They always say, don't they, don't buy a sewing machine for the stage you're at now. Buy a buy sewing machine for the one you to aspire into. to be and yeah. grow into. And you've got a lot to grow into. If you buy something, you're thinking, that's great, I can use this now, it's brilliant, it's just got just what I need. Six months down the line, you'll probably think, oh, well, oh, I wish I'd got, got that. Yeah, exactly. that's a bit more in it. So we can go on here. So when we want to stop, we press a lock stitch and it will stop and tie off for us. Oh, so it doesn't even have to reverse, it just ties it off tie on off. the spot. It will tie off, you can put a reverse stitch on. And then that's my favourite bit, the scissors. And it right. ties off for me. Right, now th that's brilliant there. I'm always concerned when there's only a tiny bit of thread there that the next time I sew, It'll go inside and you won't no, get it back. It's, it's set, these, so that, I mean, some of the other machines, you have to pull a lot, much longer piece out because yeah. it's the way the take-up lever sets. If that's going up, it's going to oh, pull gonna the thread out exactly. as you go. This one, well, it's ready to go. And off you go. Oh, you see, that, that's Straight brilliant because that's... When I see the designers do that, oh, just cut it off, just cut it off, mm. and I think, oh, one of these days they're going to go and it'll no, all... Have... it won't do that. If you want to put the automatic cut on, there's a little icon there. Right, scissors. And they're going to press a little scissors with a lock stitch and it's come on on the screen. So every time now, when I'm sewing, and I get to the end, I can press that, it'll tie off for me. And cut off. And cut it for me. Well, Makes you very lazy. Yeah. Um, and so it'll cut it off for you. So it's a really nice feature. <gasps> that, that is one. brilliant. I don't know where to go next because there's so many things there to show. There are so many things on here. If, if we can see the inside the lid with all the stitches on, they can get a glimpse of that. Yeah, they come in. They come. Yeah. I have to get myself a little pointing. Yeah, you put, you in. start pointing away <laughs> on there then. It's showing you here what stitches you can do with a straight stitch needle plate. If that's on, say the machine is aware that you've changed it, and it will not let you do anything that's going to harm the machine. It's very good. You've got mode one, which tends to be a lot of what they class as utility stitches. So it's straight stitches, zigzag, over edge, buttonholes. You've got some satin stitch in there. You've got some nice applique on here. Mode two is a lot of decorative stitches. Yeah. And then you've got the alphabets. Mode three is a seven millimeter upper and lower case. Yeah. And then you've got the Cyrillic European alphabet. Yeah. And mode six is a nine mil uppercase only. That's huge though, it's isn't it? It's massive. We'll have a look in a minute. Change it is really easy. It comes onto mode one, and you just press the mode button, and it goes onto mode two. And now, if I want to select, what should we? Right, have could just do that go? again. They didn't quite see where you pressed then. Okay. So mode. Hang on, it's coming, here. Hang on, it's coming down to you, right? So at the moment, here. what do you want at the moment? There, I'm you want on mode, mode two. two. So if I want to change onto mode three, I just touch that little. Oh, it's the, it's the tag at the end. It's not yeah. the O1 at the top. It's no, the tag at the end. No, it's the little tag here. And the brilliant thing I like with this is when I've done my alphabets or decorative stitches, I need to go back to straight sewing. I literally just touch down the bottom oh. here. And it takes me back to a straight stitch. Like to you default, haven't, almost. Yeah, you haven't got to go through everything, so it'll either take you back to a straight stitch. OK. To the left, a zigzag or a standard buttonhole. So Brilliant. Just so easy to use. OK, now I've got a message from Pamela in Suffolk. She says, I suffer with very painful arthritis in her legs and mm. feet, so being able to use a feature where I don't need to use a foot pedal is a blessing. It would be. It's fine because a lot of ladies have that where they've got trouble with their feet or the mobility is not brilliant. And gentlemen as well. Um, and it's great because you, you're thinking, I love sewing. I don't want to stop sewing. No. But I'm struggling with controlling the foot pedal. But it's fantastic. Use just the slider for your speed control while you're sewing. Thank you for that, Pamela. That's now, great. we need to look at different stitches. We need to look at the rolled hem and we, to start with and any Elna I exclusives. actually haven't brought any fabric with me to do the rolled hem. Oh, okay. I can promise dearly if, um, that I will bring it in next time I come oh, in. I'll we'll just talk, us, talk so us through it. You literally pop in the fabric through and it rolls a tiny yes. little hem. There are several different ways to start. Some people fold the fabric. Some people will sew a few stitches and pull it back and say, I promise next time I will bring some fabric yeah, in no, and no, we'll do right. it. And it just rolls it round. It just folds a tiny narrow hem. Um, you can look on YouTube as well and you will find, if you go into the Elna on YouTube and do rolled hem, it and you do a, a zigzag stitch with it? No, it's a straight stitch. stitch. Oh, straight a stitch. Straight in the old stitch. days, you always so did a zigzag stitch. So it does a tiny little rolled hem on it. <gasps> it will go up to probably... Patchwork weight cotton. You can get different rolled hem feet, which are slightly different sizes. Oh, OK, then. Um, it's usually used for lingerie and things like that, quite right. fine fabric. Yes, yes, so yes, yes, all like that chiffon. If you hadn't got that overlocker, mm. that's what that's you'd what use. That's what you would use, yeah. And sometimes you might use that because you want that tiny stitch on it, but that's what you would use. But roll time, I'll nip onto the overlocker. 
walking foot, I think a lot of people are quite familiar with the walking yes, foot now. Yes, yeah, so they are, since we've started here, because I've never heard of it before. It's the even feed foot, so it feeds all the fabrics through at the same level, so you're not going to get to the end, and it's an inch longer on the top than no, the bottom. Exactly, exactly. So now, the, 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 the way it works is because it, that... This, that goes, actually, you've got to pop, make sure it's over the top of the needle bar here, that little... Have a look on the needle bar yeah, there. It sits on the top here. Got yeah. to go over the top. And that then, as the needle's going up and down, it moves the little teeth up and down, which then take everything through evenly. Yeah, you can see. So basically, what, what happens if you've got a piece of fabric on a normal day, you, it, just the feed dogs underneath take the fabric through like that and there's nothing mm. taken. With a walking foot, you're taking all, all of it all through. All the layers through all together. The so yeah. uh, essential for quilting, really. Definitely. I use it for putting curtain tape on and things like that. Oh, yes. Because quite often, anything where you've got multiple layers, or if you're doing coats and everything, it stops it slipping. Yes. So that's a really nice one. Right. right. Can, we see some, can we see some of the decorative stitches? Hannah wants to know. You can. Um, and we also... And she's I, desperate to see the pin. Oh, we've got, oh, got, see, oh, we've got loads of time oh, for the pin. You've also, if you open it, you've got a really nice little foot storage in there. OK, I've just got to interrupt you one second. If you want either this or this, they're both in single figures. It's the very, very low on the overlocker, incredibly low on the overlocker. I haven't even shown you the bundle that you're getting with this, but you are getting a bundle with this one as well, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah, we'll do... I think we've got another. Oh, oh look at you. Oh, I know, I see. I'm Susan doing from <laughs> South Yorkshire. It's good to speak writing, isn't it? Yeah. Loving the Elna. Sweet talking my husband for yes. Oh, you do that, <laughs> Susan. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me if I can get more of the blue caps for the bobbins as it's such a good idea? I would have to find out for it, okay. to be honest, because I know they come in the pack there. I would have to check whether they sell the bobbins separately. Yes. I think they're an Elna feature, so they would come with the Elna bobbins, but I will find out. Right, you. next time Jane's on, she'll let I us know about that. That's, that's two things. Myself. Roll down the and, and the blue little blue bobbins. Okay, yeah. right. Decorative so, stitches right. next, please. So, I'm going to pop some of my feet away in here. Yes. It just shows... Oh, yes, 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 because look at this at the... Um... So you just see little foot storage So now, does it tell you which foot needs to go into... It's got foot A. Right. Then you've got foot M. Oh, I see. They've got names. They've all got little letters on them okay. so it does tell you so you know in there if it says overcast foot m you've got an m oh okay so then, you perfect. know exactly what foot it is i won't pop them all in no so, and brilliant. they do just come forward so you can get them in quite easily i just really think nice. it's fantastic it's got every, oh there's oh, how funny i've just to open the book and it's yeah. got rolled hem foot yeah. there so it, is. Uh, it will tell you in the book so i'll, I'll promise to bring some stuff next time this is how this is how the rolled hem works mm. it's all there and with drawings and with writing if you look mm. and again if you just pop it on the rolled hem into YouTube, yes. it will be on there somewhere. Is it you doing the demonstration? No, I don't think so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going note it. So I'm just going to pop into mode two. Right. So with the decoratives, oh, what mode should we two. start? Mode two, just a little tap yep. on the screen Got it. into mode two. What should Clear we start with? What would you like to start with? Hannah, what There's would you like to so see? So many. She wants to see the scissors and the threads, Oh, please. she likes those, doesn't yes. she? This will show us now, I'm just going to take that needle up, will show us how you do a stitch combination because even though you've got all these stitches on here you can combine them again oh. to make different patterns oh okay so so we're into mode two so she likes those so i know the little needle is 83 so i just touch 83 right 83 actually my little stylus is there we forgot about that can she can oh yes you've got your dobber 83 uh, can you she wants to know can you do the need the, the thread now which one do you want to do Scissors and then the thread. Scissors and then the thread. There's always one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she's always, always the one. Always one. She's scissors always one. first. So we need to go 85. Right. The scissors. Press oh, and it shows you a little picture of the shows scissors the there. Picture of the scissors. Press the M button. Memory. Okay. What does she want next? The thread. Uh, thread. The thread is 84. So 84. Memory. Don't forget to press the M. Yes. And it will be 83 then, isn't it, for the needle? Oh, blimey. 83. She could she have an egg fry rice if to she go likes as well? Yes. <laughs> what we need to do is that will continually sew those three stitches for me as a new pattern. Oh, okay. But if I only want to do the three, you can pop a little lock stitch on the end, which is number 87 on here. It's but we don't want that. We want it as a hem. She wants to hem a dress with those. Oh, well, we'll just keep it going yeah. for her then, yeah. So we'll we'll we just pop, that pop down the lid down. It's what, sorry, an apron. An apron, not right. dress. And so we just then... Or a kimono. I better turn it up a bit, hadn't I? Yeah. Otherwise you won't get a little pivot pin. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes, no, we've got to get the pivot pin in. And it will just continually... It'll do that over and over again for you. So you've got this huge range oh. of stitch combinations that you can make yourself. 
I love it. So you're just creating there. a new stitch yeah. because you've chosen what you want. Why that stopped now? Oh, why is it stopped? Because I've got the automatic cut on. Oh, okay. So if I, so I've got the little scissors on here. Hang on, we'll just come to you there. There you go. Yeah. So if I take that off. Oh yes, because you put that on earlier. Then it would earlier, continually do it. But okay, so if you just wanted a one. A scissor, a thread, and a thing, you'd leave that on. You could on. leave it on. I would probably yeah. put a lock stitch on the yes. end so, so it ties it off it. Yeah. for me. But I don't know. So They're the quite big. I thought they were going to be little. It's a nine millimetre stitch width. That's why. Your standard sewing machine is seven. And it makes a huge difference. I'm going to do an alphabet in a minute. and that, That's where you? you can really see the difference on it. Can we do love hearts? Is that I want, no, I want love oh, you hearts. you want love hearts? She wants Christmas <laughs> already. <laughs> no, don't mention that word. Yes, exactly. Not yet. So I'm just going to pop that back now. I'm just going to cancel. Oh, back. Cancel. Cancel. So we're looking at... Cancel. What, oh, right. Do you want little love hearts? Which one should we I would like love hearts. Um, which one should we go for? I might try 52 for a change. Little hearts. There you go. Put them down. Needle down to start them off. Oh, oh no. It's telling me now I've got the foot pedal in. I'm so used to not using the foot pedal when I... I always use it at home, but I very seldom use it when I'm working. Oh, yes, yeah. And it's just doing me some little hearts there for you. And the brilliant thing is when you press the lock stitch now... Oh, they're highlighted hearts. They're yes. not just filled in hearts, oh, those. No. So when you press the lock stitch now, it's going to finish that pattern repeat for me before it stops. And I've taken the scissors off, so it's not going to automatically cut. Can't you see the hearts? Oh, there so they there are. There you look. go. How fabulous are they? Best of both worlds. There. Best of both worlds, sir. Right, well, and just, just please, Hannah, to keep her quiet for a little while. Pivot uh, pin. Christmas. Christmas. Have we got Christmas on here? Ooh. Have we got Eve? Have we got Christmas? Well, I've got a little, almost like a little snowflake there. Snowflake. That will do. Where have you seen stars, Hannah? Now there's the stars there. I think she's seen those there. Oh, the little stars there. Fifty-four. So snowflake. Just... Let's do snowflake. Let's do snowflake. Yeah. So that's sixty-five. So it's just touched the screen. Sixty-five. And off we go again. These are really nice. I like doing book covers and things. And it's really nice. With that lock stitch, you can just do one pattern repeat if you want to. So it's great. I'll do those. Should have put my little cot on again, shouldn't I? Take that off automatically. And you've got some little stars. Oh, they're stars gorgeous. There. They're Scandinavian little stars, those. Very Look, much they're like that. What's that thing called we like, Hannah? Look. That's the one. Huggy. It's the <laughs> happiness, the Scandinavian the happiness, happiness yeah, isn't it? I know. Yeah. We like that. I love those. Huggy. I think that's how it's pronounced, <laughs> isn't it? If you say so, John. Right, OK. <laughs> don't, okay. Somebody's just asked, before we show any stitches, what's in this bundle? Because we haven't actually shown what's in the okay. bundle. So I've got a still, and then I'll show you. Now, you like this book, don't you, as well? Oh, so there's the, st there's the still. So you get the Elder 680 EX home machine, which normally costs £999. So you're getting that for £999. Plus, you're getting How to Machine Sew Book, Hemline Thread Snip Pro Cutting Scissors and the Thread Kit, all for £999. So I'll just take you through them quickly. Here's the Thread Kit. There's the Thread Kit. You also get this, which is a quick unpick, but it has like a bumblebee's bottom on the bottom. So you know when you have lots and lots of threads when you unpick and everything, mm. and you just wipe it with that, and they all disappear. It's fantastic. So you, so you get that. That's a really, really popular thread pack anyway. The snippers, which are out of the packet now. All this, you get these for free. You get all of these for free because you'd normally pay nine 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 just for the sewing machine. This bundle is offered till midnight tonight. And we're already in single figures. Already in single figures. And then, this book, which I've never seen before, Susie John's How to Machine Sew. Oh, look at Brand that. new. What I love is every, we, there's never... No question is a silly question, really, is it? It, it answers everything you need to know. But you're going to get this... You're going to get this for free in the bundle. Really lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. You get all of that for 999. So that's the bundle for the sewing machine and the bundle for the um I think it's a dish dishwasher there. <laughs> the overlocker, the overlocker is the overlocker here plus the Allison glass pattern. That is incredibly limited, absolutely that... incredibly limited. £449 is what you'd pay for the overlocker normally. The, the, the first time we've ever seen an overlocker, and £23.95, sorry. £23.95. Now, the overlocker bundle is only available till midnight. We don't know. We will be getting overlockers again in the future, but we don't know when. Right. Right. 
Oh, we no. Oh, well, oh, the other thing we were going to show you was, um, was the, the different um, things you can do. From this machine, Angie made this. Angie's coming in later, actually. She, look at this. She's programmed with the uh, uh, scissors, threads. Look at this. You can even do the words, can't yep. you? Sew in yes. quarter. Look at that with the heart in between. Yep. Well, no, no, but you know what I mean? It's as in, you can, you can program it to write, I love Hannah McCabe. Or, no, not, you'd never no, need that. that. You'd never need that, that one. I do quilt labels with mine as well. Oh, brilliant well. for doing quilt labels. And oh, labels, quilt labels, there you go. Brilliant for making labels, quilt labels, things like that. And it's just, it just livens up everything, doesn't it? It gives you a whole, I don't know. Uh, yes. <laughs> Quilt, we just said, we just said, quilting labels for your quilts. And Hannah's gone, what about quilting labels for your quilts? <laughs> We're in front of it at the moment. I think she's one step behind <laughs> today. Right, We're OK, now, uh, Elna Exclusive, is that next? No? The, oh, does Hannah want that? She'll yes. get very upset if I don't do that, won't yes. she? So, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. This. I've actually got a little one while I find my bits. That's okay. what I've done on one of these with little pins. So it's doing, you can take any of the stitches off the machine and do a really nice circle with it and know it's actually going to meet when you get to the other end. Yes. Well, it's funny, the circles must be the same thing because I had the circle cutter earlier, which was very, very popular yeah. in my first hour. It's like a little pin. Right. A tiny little pin like that. This is it. This is the album this exclusive, is the theme. right? <laughs> this is it. They've exclusively developed a drawing pin. Yes. It's a very nice drawing pin. It's a very nice drawing pin. Now, you're asking, well, John, what does that do? Well, I'll tell, tell, let Jane tell In you. In the casing of the machine here, there are two holes. That the are you going into the, here? And they say, can they see? Can I get onto there? There's two holes. So, I'm going to take that. And there's another one there. OK. So, you can use that to do two different diameter circles. Right. So, you would literally just pop it. You'd mark your centre out sometimes. And again, if you're using a single layer of fabric, make sure you stabilise it. Right. When you're doing Meaning, this. Meaning, uh, put some... Uh, put uh, put uh, some iron on something on the back or a bit of stitch and tear or something on the back because it's asking quite a lot. Pin goes in the centre point, which you would measure, not like me. Right. Just pop it in there. And then you literally just find... There you go. It pops into there. And then we will go back to a straight stitch to start with. Press the foot down. down. I always keep my finger on the pin. They say, you oh, okay. I just always do. I think it harks back to the days when we used to use drawing pins with masking tape, which is not very successful. The one from Susan in South Yorkshire. Oh, no, I've not got one from Anne on my machine. Oh, yes, there it is. Could Jane show us which is the quilt guide bar and the bar that goes with the walking foot? They look very similar. That's from Anne in Cheshire. Oh, Anne, we'll do that in a second for yeah. you. So I have literally now, I have just gone down and done your beautiful, perfect circle. That is brilliant for doing reverse applique, anything like oh, that. Oh, yes. Because you can get that line in, take it out, because you've marked your centre point, you can trim your fabric back and then do a satin stitch over the top. And it's a really nice way to but do it. But how did you do that then? How have you I done this? I just put a decorative like stitch on. Oh! It's a decorative stitch. That looks like it's hand done, that I one, know, doesn't it? It's crosses. I think it's probably 67. Let's have a look. OK, um, a few people saying they've got issues with the basket, putting things in your basket. Oh, just one person. Um, ring the number. Who is it? 0800, 0800 112 If you ring that number, they'll help you to put it in your basket straight away. Right. Yep. So, I've just gone on to the cross stitch there. Right. Another piece. Do you know what? These hours with you absolutely fly, fly by. They fly, don't they? I know. It's two hours this morning and it's still flown by, hasn't it? Go and pop that in. Underneath, I'll pop that in in a minute. Go back to the same place, Timothy. We are going back onto here. But we're going to do a decorative one this time. And have a little go with the cross stitches. Yes. It's, it's more like... Sometimes you will find that you may need to tweak your stitches a little bit when you get to the end, just so you get that beautiful join. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. And it's brilliant with table mats, anything like that. It's fabulous. And even decorative cushions. You can do some really nice decorative patterns on your cushions. Yeah. Anything like that. And it will just quite happily. Oh, wow. And it's brilliant because it's... You're not actually altering the foot as such. It's just feeding it round differently. Yes. You can use any of the stitches. Now, if you, if you got that far, could you now change the design? Like, oh, has it got to do the full circle? Could you suddenly go, oh, well, I actually want a circle that does different things? Yeah, so I can stop if I want to. Use that. Yeah. It's going to stop for me. Take the presser foot up. What should we change it to? You want to put a different design on? Yes, have different, something different. A different for stitch on to it. Um, 
Mm, let's try 66. Let's just do a scallop and see how that oh. goes. Could be interesting. It may look awful, but... Scallop, not croissant. They're saying all the food said on the brain up there. They have upstairs, no. yeah. Oh, I like that one. So you can really, <clears> really <throat> change your stitches as you go. It's entirely up to you. They're like little bear's feet. And again, while you're stitching, you can alter the width and the length. Oh, yeah, while it's going? Yeah. So I'm going to take that down to seven. And turn it down a little bit so you can probably see it a little bit better. Oh, I've lost my pin. Oh, now that's, that's why, why you say That's why keep... I always hold my pin. I've lost it. Yeah. Oh, hopefully it will still be good. So you can take it maximum 2.5, but you can take it smaller if you want to. And just, then it will automatically do it as you go. It's amazing that you can do things like that and it doesn't mess up the tension or the stitch no, or anything like that. No, it's all automatic now. It's, it's so much better than these machines. Um, and it will. It should hopefully still meet when we get to the other end. Well, it doesn't matter if it doesn't because it also, because it's a different <laughs> pattern, isn't it? We've it's a different pattern. But you see, you, you can use all the decorative stitches then yes. on your machine. That's like a Victorian um, festoon, isn't it? That yeah, it's that fabulous. One. They can really. I'm going to stop that now. Oh yeah, yeah. There oh, you go. oh well, that's. Oh no, look at that. That was See, luck. That, yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Certainly will you not. be able to show Anne which is the guide bar and the bar that goes yeah, with the walking foot because they look the, the, the same? We'll do that for you in a second. They look quite similar, says yeah. Anne. So that one, you can see where the pattern. Oh, it's I love that. There. Yeah. And again, when you've done it, you've got your digital display, so you can just make a note of what you've got it yes. set on if you want to replicate it again. Of course. So it's always handy to do that. Would you like an alphabet? Oh, yes, let's do an alphabet. Do an alphabet. Um, and we will answer your question, we I promise. Will. So, for the alphabets, we're going to go into mode three first. Uh, just to warn you, just to warn you, blimey, I've only got three of these bundles left now. This Gosh. is the bundle, it's the sewing machine, the book, how to machine sew, the thread pack with the bumblebee bottom, and the uh, clippers. Put the stitches in exactly the same way that we did on the decorative when we combined them. Every stitch has got a little number underneath it. So I just do my usual ones because I can remember them. Memory. One, two. And it was just... Quite happily stitch that for me now. Okay, will it only do ABC or will it carry on with the it's other ones? It will only do well? ABC. Oh, you have to put, so if you want a whole alphabet, you have to plug you, the whole alphabet in. Yeah, you've got to, um, what you combine your stitches is what it's going to sew out yes. for you. I'm thinking of, you know, like little children's um, things, little children's bedrooms where we've used alphabet y number letters. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah can, like you when you put, put the baby them. down on a mat. Yeah, you can do that. And you've also got here, you've got little spaces as well. So you can put a space. So oh, you put hand oh that's, by. How, oh, that's so, how she's done sewing quarter. So yes, she's done sewing. Put a space in. Space yeah. quarter. Oh, excellent. So that is your seven millimeter alphabet, which is lovely alphabet. It's very nice. Do you know what you could make? You know, you pay a fortune for those. Um, well, I don't know if they still do. I'm going back years now. But you'd sew your name into your PE kit and your school uniform yeah. and everything like that. You could like make your own labels or do it straight onto the clothes. I or used something, to be very you? busy at the start of school term when my daughter was small with everybody's. Oh, we're just doing everybody's. Everybody. <laughs> just please, can you sew the name labels in and everything like that? And once it's in there as well, they can't lose the name labels. Can't come out again. No, exactly. <gasps> so I'll just pop this now onto mode six. Uh, we haven't done the space. The space was here on. Um, if you want to do spaces between, like we, we've put a heart. On the actual machine, where was the space on the they're machine? Here. They can see them on the top. There you go, Tim, you got that. They're like little dotted little squares, line boxes, yeah. as it were. And there's a smaller, medium, and large space. So sometimes you might want slightly different on them. Okay. I've done exactly the same now as I did before. I've just put the three letters in. I'm in mode six. This is a nine millimeter stitch. Oh, okay. And it's just quite surprising. Now, nine difference. millimeters is huge for a sewing machine, isn't it? It's widest, yes. Yeah. Um, and you wouldn't think there being two millimeters difference would make that much difference, no. but it does. It makes such a huge difference. And on the patterns as well, even you said, oh, that looks really big. It's that nine millimeter. That's oh, the difference. It really is quite a large difference. So that's seven millimeter, and that's nine millimeter. You really wouldn't, because you think of two millimetres, you think, oh, you it's not going to make much difference. You don't think it's not massive difference. difference, but it does make a huge difference. Yeah. 
Um, and I say quilt labels, it's brilliant for because you can just line them all up, put a couple of little bits and pieces in. I tend to use these favourite ones on there as well. Yes. Just to line the quilt. These are my favourites today. Like the love hearts with yeah. the um, yeah. highlighting going yeah. on up there. So they do. Oh, hang on, and Anna's favourite is the snowflake. But oh. lucky we're all different, isn't it, really? Like snowflakes, because no two snowflakes are the same, exactly, well, Hannah. Those are. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Hannah, Hannah, those are. Oh, uh, right, right, right. So, for Anne in Cheshire, she wants to know the difference between the walking foot bar I've got and to, the quilt guide bar. I have got to stop bar. and think. I've got to really stop and think now. And I do, I'm got, got pretty certain. That is the quilt guide. That's the one for the walking foot. I'm pretty 100% certain that's that one, and that one pops in there. Pretty certain it's that way round, but okay. I will double check. For I will double check. Yeah. That's so we that can one take out. that one out and swap them. Out. Uh, to be honest, I think you can use either. It doesn't really matter. I don't know how that one will go in like that. That way, yeah. Pop that one in. Well, I'm not. I'm not pressing it down in case I break the thing. Pop that one in, and that comes across. I don't see why you couldn't, if you wanted to. Well, should we have a look? Because they're different shapes. Let's look in the I book. I couldn't cause... see why, if you wanted right. to, there you, you couldn't use either. So that one, one number nineteen. They look exactly the same. Is the oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I've got threaded up with the... Oh, don't you thread <laughs> well, it? I'll okay. make you thread it up again. So 17 and 19 in here are identical. They look exactly the same. I would be inclined. I've used this both is number in 19. the past, yeah. I'd say that was number 19, the which is the, the quilting one. guide yeah. bar. It's a short and one. The, and 17. The oh, no, they call them both yeah. quilting guide they bars. They both are. Yes. But you can, they'll both fit in the foot quite easily. Yes. And they will both go through. That's got the little point on it, so that will probably be so and either. designed. You could use that, either. The little point's designed for it easily to go through here. Yeah. So, yeah. So but you can use that, that box. I've question. used both before, but that's the one. The little points that go through the machine. Brilliant. OK, now, I have to tell you, we're very, very limited. Very, very limited. Um, taking that out, because if, if you, all of you check out your... Oh, OK, OK. But, 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 and you need to check out your basket. If you've got the overlocker in your basket from earlier, you need to check it out. I don't want anyone to be disappointed. This is a bundle that is only, both these bundles are only available till midnight tonight. The overlocker, we will get that. We have no idea when, uh, but you'll pay the 449 for the overlocker and not the, the, the um, it's just incredible. Make sure, make sure, make sure you check out your basket with that. For the sewing machine bundle, which we're on now for 999, and you get the book, the thread pack, the snippers, there it is, and the brilliant sewing machine. And this, oh, there are three left. There are three of those bundles left, and that is it. Three of those bundles left. So at midnight tonight, it will still be 999, but you won't get the bundle. You won't get the book, you won't get the thread, and you won't get the snippers with it. The thing is, to me, for 999 with that machine, you're already getting free gifts, as it were, you are, you in get, with it, aren't you, you really? You get so much with it. Because you get all the feet, yep. you're getting that extra plate, right. you you're get the, the bobbins, you get the table. The lift. And it's just incredible. Yeah. Every and we've only touched it's, on the surface, haven't you we? Have really, these machines. Yeah, and I would say I know Lucy loves hers and uses it all the time now. Yes, yeah. So it's really good. Would you like to do a buttonhole? Yes, please. There we go. How many minutes have we got, Tim? Six minutes, and oh, we're fine. Loads we're fine. of time. So, foot comes off on the back. Yeah. The black button drops off, and again, you've got the safety lock on here. So lock it out every time you're up. Okay. Moving on there. It clips on exactly the same as a presser foot. Right. I will. Do you oh, need to put your button in before oh, you push it? Jay's on. brought me some buttons today. So oh, Jay's brought you a button as very well. Very kind of him, isn't it? Okay. Which one should we go for? That one, I think. That will just sit in here. Right, and this is where we have to. Press that open, slide it back so it's holding it snugly in there. Right, I'll just okay. show that there. And says thank you very much for showing the difference That's in the bars. Okay. So the button actually fits in. So if we imagine this is our button that we're going to make a buttonhole for, it sits in that guide there. Now, this bit here you were saying earlier, if you've got a domed button, you might want it a tiny, tiny little bit bigger. You can just alter it by twisting that. Yeah, you? and it will go. You yeah. see the little red line will move up. Yeah. Um, always sample it first right. on the fabrics that you're going to use yeah. just to make sure. And equally, if you've got a stretchy fabric, we've all done it. We've bought stretchy item and you've had to sew the buttonholes up a bit because mm. they're too big. So you can make it a little bit, bit shorter smaller. as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, and what I will do before we put it down, I'm going to pull a little bar down, and that space corresponds to the size of the button. Oh, okay. So a little bar will sit behind there. Yeah. As it sews backwards, it touches on there, and it knows to stop and come back again. It's very clever. It is, isn't it? It's just very, incredible. Very, very clever. So I'm going to pop that on. Right. It will go on exactly the same as your 
normal press of feet, so that's yeah. on. I'm going to slip this in between. I'm going to leave the stabiliser plate on. You don't need to leave it on. I'm just going to pop Oh, that's what we were saying about the silky fabrics earlier. Yeah. You sandwich Early it between. Fabrics, you can sandwich them all in between. Right. There we go. Um, and don't forget, somebody asked me once, well, why can't you do buttonholes that way? You can turn your garment round and put it in the other way. Yes. <laughs> it was just... It's one of the, we've all done it. You sit there looking at it thinking, why won't this work? Yes. And, and again, you've got quite a bit of leeway to slide it on yeah. before it hits the stabiliser guide there. That's on. Buttonholes, you've got a nice selection of buttonholes on here. I think we'll do number 12. Why would you need different buttonholes then? Depends what you're making, doesn't it? So I'm not particularly a dressmaker, but yeah. I know there's like these little keyhole ones for your coats. If you look at your garments, oh, yes. and you'll see they've got different buttonholes. When you do one. hand 23 hand embroidered, not hand embroidered, hand finished buttonholes mm. on a coat, you always do like a, a circle bit. Because at the they've end. usually got heavy buttons to yeah. get through, haven't they? On your shirts and everything, quite often it's a square one. Yeah. So you can have a little play with Brilliant. It. So I'm gonna pop the needle down. Oh, sorry, do you need that up still? Yes, let me just take that up. Let me just come back. Quick way to get back on here as well is getting these little icons on the bottom. That's taking me straight back to number 23. Well, I want number 24, so I'll just key in 24. Yeah. It's telling me here the R foot. Yeah. And that little bit there says the D lever, which is tucked away behind here. It's right. It's not your thread. And it just comes and it sits behind this. Now, when I start needling, Down. And it's just gonna, it's gonna do the buttonhole and finish for you. You can again alter your width and your length settings to suit your different fabrics, which is why it's always important to sample. And down it goes, it's a little stabilising stitch down. All the years of the hassle I had oh, of I doing know. buttonholes. And you sort of get to the end and it's just not quite right. Yeah. And this will automatically stop, you haven't got to stop. Yes, because there's that thing, isn't it, if you go, what, when you do it on your own, you could go it's one or two stitches, stitches too And far. it just doesn't look right, yeah. so that is instant buttonhole. So much easier. There's your buttonhole, instant buttonhole. And, you know, it's going to fit the button, because the button has been on the little contraption foot. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect, isn't it? Actually, we'd like to sew the button on next to it now. Oh, yes, yeah, sew the button on. We've yeah. only got a couple of minutes, but oh, sew right. the button on so next. That'd be brilliant. You've actually, on number 33, on mode one, there's a little picture of a button, and it does tell you in the book, but that's your button sewing feature. Right. Have so you picked, oh, you put the foot up, yeah? I've put that up. I've got the foot. Yeah. These feet do go on slightly different because they've got two bars. Right. So that one, it sits round. If the guys can get in afterwards, that would be great. It sits on the back, and I've just missed that totally and clips in. So it holds it really rigid. Right. Okay. It's automatically dropped your zigzag to 3.5. So you sit the button underneath. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the two one for you because okay. I know we're running out of time. Yeah, we're going to go into a minute left. sit it out underneath here. I will always centre it up, pop it down, but I still wind it through that first the one. The first hole, yeah. Just to make sure, because I've got that slightly too far one way. That's it now. So, oh, it's telling me to drop the feed. It's very good, you see. Mm. Do anything. Drop the feed on the end. Oh yes, because you don't want it to move forward. You, you want it to stay move. in the same place, it, do you? It, it was a lot of machines won't tell you that. And you're thinking, what's going on? Yeah, or you break your needle on the button. And your button is stitched. <gasps> I've just started using that feature because I say I tend to soft furnishings and things. I'm doing a lot of cushions yeah. and it's brilliant. You can just whiz through buttons, buttonholes on the back of the cushions. Fantastic. And it's very quick to do. Brilliant. Right, very, very quickly. Thank you so much. You're Jane. welcome. Uh, this is the one. That, there's the sewing machine bundle. Elna 680. You get the Hound 2 machine sew book. You get the hemline thread snip and you get the thread kit. 999. There's only three left. And... Uh, and there's people got them in the basket. So please, 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 please check out your basket very quickly. Because I also need to tell you about the overlocker, which is both these bundles are only available till midnight tonight. This is down to single figures, 449. We will be getting the overlocker back at another day, but we don't know when. It won't be immediate. And you get the free pattern with that. You're saving £23.95. Only available till midnight tonight. Don't go anywhere because the lovely Angie's up. Oh, she's gone for the floral top. <laughs> We're doing that brilliant, brilliant, brilliant print, print your own fabric. It's such an innovation. See you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 
and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. So we're going to show you how to do a back stitch. Now a back stitch is a great one to use when you haven't got a sewing machine available um, but you need to repair or fix a garment and the back stitch is a really strong stitch to do that with. So I'm going to be using um, embroidery thread here so you can see what I'm doing and I have put a knot in the end. Um, first of all you need to start with the wrong side of the fabric first. So I'm just going to place my needle through to bring it through through to the front. And then you're going to go backwards. So I'm going to do quite big stitches here so you can see what I'm doing. So that's the first stitch. Now this time, you're going to come and bring your needle through, but the same distance as your stitch. And then you're going to go into the first hole that you came out. And then go back through to the back. And then I'm going to come all the way over again, the same distance. And then through again, and just keep repeating that process. My final stitch now. So as you can see there's my row of back stitches and if I just turn that over for a second you can see that it's almost as if it's double stitched along the back so you can see it's a really secure stitch to do when you haven't got a sewing machine to hand. So in quarter in five words, um, fun, new, uh, unique, dedicated and diverse. Um, I'm most excited um, to be reaching a wide audience and to be able to share uh, my love and passion for Stitch. Oh, preparation into the show is absolutely tons. You would not <laughs> even imagine. The preparation for the projects is the, uh, the, the small side of it, I'd say. I mean, it's all, all these specialist crews and uh, the guys working really hard behind the scenes that nobody sees. Oh, well, this made me laugh. One fat quarter and half an hour, you wouldn't get much out of me. Um, I'm a bit of a slow burn thinker, being a designer and a quilter takes a, a longer amount of contemplation before making that first cut. Uh, you might get a few design scribbles on a, on a pad, <laughs> but I do need a new purse, so maybe I could knock up a new purse. <laughs> okay, well the thing that I thought about that might surprise viewers is that we're not in London, we're in Brom, yay! <laughs> Have you ever been in the middle of a project think, oh, do you know what? I need a piece of fabric. Oh, I know what. I know. If you've got an outfit to go out in the evening, you think, I really need a little clutch bag, but I can't find the right colour. You can print your own for this. I, I, I'm going to get overexcited, I'm telling you now. First of all, I haven't seen Angie for so long. We've got lots to catch up on. But you can print your own fabric, whether it's a photo, like this one, like this one we showed you earlier. Really, look at that. You can pr print your own photo onto fabric to make something with. You can write a poem or your own words and print it on. I just think, you know what, sometimes when you send somebody a card with really lovely writing on it, sometimes it'd be nice to put it on fabric and frame it, wouldn't it? Like a nice romantic gesture. Or you want to create, see this one on here? If you're looking, like quilters especially, if you think, oh, I've got that pattern, but there's just one square that's not quite right, you just want to print up. You, you know you can't have sequins on, oh, do you know what? 
I'd have a pillowcase made out of sequin fabric because you can't have a sequin pillowcase. I know Kylie did that range a few years ago, but you couldn't sleep on them because they had sequins all over them. You could have a pillowcase or something like that made of sequin fabric. I just love this. Or bunting. Look at this. This is bunting that um, Angie made. Now, this is your sister, is it? Yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous. So, so not only to get your picture, you can do text. I mean, Angie's going to show you through this. Would you believe he's 50? He's 50 years. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. That's another story. Anyway, uh, uh, there's so much to tell you about. So much to tell you about. Look, look at this. Look at this bolster, right? Look at these. Now, I just... I know I'm, I'll calm down. <sighs> calm down, John. Look at all the... I mean, you could remember your holidays. Couldn't you from that? Doesn't... Oh, isn't that lovely? Right, now, you'll see that on the, uh, the actual package of the thing we're selling. Now, let me take all these things over with me. Because Angie's here, we haven't. Oh, well, she, you've been on, haven't you? But I haven't I seen have, you. I know. We've They've been, been keeping us separate, they have, haven't they? For some reason. Mm, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Right now. Oh, I've got to go back there. Oh no, these, 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 these. I thought you were talking about fabric, fabric. Right now, first of all, there are two. I'm going to let Angie do a lot of talking because a lot of fun. No, it's not complicated. Do you know no, what? Maybe we should take our selfie first. <laughs> Shouldn't we take our selfie first? <laughs> Let's take a... So this is... We're going really to show you live. This is going to be a nightmare now. We're going to take a selfie and we're going to yeah. print it up for you, but it takes a few minutes to do it. Yeah. So have you, are you set up to take a selfie on I there? I can get her set up. You're set yep. up there? Yeah. Because, because we're, we're going to show you how it actually works. There are two different fabrics you can put it on. One's a poplin and one's a twill. One's a twill. Right, OK. We're going to take a selfie. Now. Okay, just bear with us while we do this. Ready? <laughs> Let's get some nice threads in. Oh, we don't want the oh. ceiling in, do we? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. That way? There you go. There we go. I thought you were a photographer. No. Right, okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Oh, no, it's not. It's <laughs> lovely of you, but not of me. Okay, <laughs> right, for print it up, let's do it then, because you need... Have you got a piece of um, fabric to put in the machine? Well, I'll, I'll talk about that when we... Um, now, so we can... Okay, so we're we, going to do twill or poplin? We're going to print it on the poplin. Okay, I'm then. going to do um, two or three prints today. So, right, so this um, is the poplin, first yeah. of all. I'll show you in a second. Right, there you go. Thank you. Right. Right, there's the packet. Oh, 19 95 You get six A4 sheets. Right, amazing price. Right, now let Angie show you exactly what this fabric, what this piece of fabric paper is. Yeah, I just need to explain that yes. um, inkjet, um, printable inkjet um, fabrics have been around for a little while, but this is almost like a new generation, which I'll go into some detail later. But we've taken, so anything that you can print on paper, yep, you can basically print on the fabric. And I'll go through some of the qualities when this gets um, printing. Right. The first thing we need to do is we've just taken our picture. Um, we get the, um, the paper-backed cotton poplin right. out of the packet. OK, when you look at this, there's, it's obvious. This side is the fabric yeah. and then that side is shiny, right? That's, yes, yeah. that's right. So what you want to firstly check is um, if you should always keep these in the packet. Right. If humidity gets to them because they've got a glue on them. Right, okay. <laughs> they, can just the start, they can start to just curl at the ends. Yeah. If it does that, you can just roll it the other in the other direction. You know, anything that, you, that you've got a roll in, you can just roll it around um, in the opposite direction. Okay. OK, to straighten it out. And just check that there are no loose fibres coming off the edge of the cotton before okay. you put it in your printer. You've done printer. this before, haven't you? <laughs> well, I'm quite new to um, threads, but okay. it's, uh, it's very lovely. So then um, the next thing to think about is how you would print just on paper. Right. Um, if you're loading in from the bottom tray... Which is mine is. Often, like mine at home, I'd put this in face down. Right. With the fab because then it yeah, comes, then comes out up, that it? way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to feed this from the top okay. so that um, everyone can see it going through. So I'm just going to pop that in there. So just bear that in mind. So any printer, you could use any printer. Any inkjet. Inkjet Not printer. laser, but most home printers are Laser? Inkjet. Do people have laser printers <laughs> at home? Blimey. <laughs> yeah, inkjet. So inkjet. inkjet yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we'll get this um, starting and then we right, can... Right, press uh, that because people about. are asking what the twill is. So I'll get one of the twills. Oh, actually, okay. you've got a twill one out here, haven't you? So I'm just going through, as you would to print anything, so I'm selecting A4. Yeah. Um, the next thing, 
a very important thing to remember is um, not that you're just printing on ordinary copier paper. Yes. If you're printing a photo, um, you might think that you'd need to choose the glossy setting. Yes, you know, yes. you've got glossy photo setting. It's important to choose matte. OK. So that's um, on the... We'll go through on the back of um, the packaging. It's got all the oh, yes, okay, instructions yeah. as well. But um, choose um, premium matte or anything with matte in on your selection. So I'm just choosing matte. Um, that means it's going to lay down the correct amount of ink because um, glossy would be a different yes, amount of yeah. ink for glossy paper. Um, so we've got full page colour mode and then I'm just going to select high quality because we want nice yeah, of course. Um, high well, quality. Well, that goes on my wrinkles. <laughs> so I just high quality. No, no, if you mentioned anything about wrinkles, then it'll just laugh. Premium. We've chosen a nice smooth yeah, cotton poplin, hopefully. Mine as well. <laughs> OK. So basically, you just go through the way you would normally print a photograph on yeah. paper. It's exactly the same as long as you choose matte. So you matte. choose A4, portrait, whatever you yeah. have to choose. Yeah. And then, have you, so has it started off? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's so, going a lot quicker than it went in no. rehearsals <laughs> earlier, didn't it? <laughs> so right, it now, the other, the other fabric is a tweed. So that is the poplin. Yeah. That's the poplin, right? So th there's the poplin. You can't really see it. This is just the packet, right? The twill is what I made the bunting out of. And it's got a, a slight grain. Yes. So that's the poplin. That's like a f very fine cotton, heavier than a lawn. But you know what the poplin looks like. The other one we've got for sale. And that one's mostly used by quilters, obviously, the poplin. This one is the twill. This is the twill one. And you can automatically see it's got... I don't, you're not going to see the difference. They're just going, both going to look white to you at okay. home. This has got, like, a, like you'd expect a twill, like Almost a chino. In a, in a fine denim. It's got like, that yeah, sort like of... Yeah, like a fine denim. It's got that ridge, slight ridging in it. But yeah. not, nothing, nothing major, because... That's twill. That's twill, yeah. yeah that's the a twill one there. Yeah. So it's no... It's just that slightly heavier fabric. So if you can make a cushion out of it, maybe. Or did you... Did they use the twill for those little hearts? Oh, no, these are poplin They're for poplin. They're oh, uh, are the cushions in the The bolster twill? there, that is the twill. It's just a heavier weight fabric. £21.95, you get six yeah. of those as well. I'll put that back in there because that belongs in there. So, so uh, while that's printing, I'll just explain yes. some of the um, because, as I said before, printable fabric's been around for a number of years now. Yes. Um, this is the next generation. So, um, a lot of ones out on the market, um, they're the coating is sort of on the surface and it's a little bit stiff. Right. Um, this is called threads because actually it's a very very fine coating that's on the surface, on the fabric, but it actually just seeps into the threads. So um, you'll feel it when, it, when we peel it yes, off. It's, yeah. There's no stiffness to it, it's not stiff. Like no. you would expect a print on a T-shirt. Well, exactly, because you used to buy T-shirts, didn't you, when you went on holiday and it says, you know, I've been to Scarborough or yeah. something like that, and the T-shirt would be normal. And then the bit where the print was, and it you might only feel. be printed, I don't mean the waxy stuff, but even yeah. if they just printed on it, yeah. it's crunch, It's almost crunchy, got, isn't it? Got a surface. Where's this, yeah, right? This, this, this is with the, where the writing is, right? It's this is where the writing is. There's no... You can't even feel. You can't even feel that there's writing there or anything. Well, that, the whole background is printed. That's not... I didn't print that on blue fabric. Oh. That is actually print. So, so before... Well. Be, I know we're going to get onto this later yeah. on, but so you can just... Like I was saying earlier about a poem, if you wanted to write a love poem to somebody in dark pink writing on a p pale pink yeah. background, on your computer you could just write the poem, yeah. put the font in pink yeah. and put the background in pale square pink... Square in the background in ..and do exactly colour. the same thing, exactly. print. Yeah, yeah. It is... So it's a very, very fine coating that's in the thread and um, it's actually the company that's, um, that this has come from is actually um, an industrial coatings firm. Oh! And so they're very... The science behind it yes. is amazing. Yeah. They produce coatings for NASA for things that go in, out into space. Oh, okay. uh, And also um, sort of Teflon coating on um, sails, um, uh, sailing, well, you know, yeah, yeah, on, um, on performance boats. sailing yeah. um, boats. So um, they know their stuff about coating. So this has been developed from a very um, sort of high-end industrial coatings firm. Okay, that's that, very exciting. It's very exciting. It that's just out? coming out now. <laughs> uh, now, uh, please be aware there are two different fabrics. There's poplin, which is the one up there, 1995. You get six sheets of that, and then, excuse me, the twill, which is that heavier twill. You'll know the heavier. Oh, actually, look, there's the cushion. There's the cushion I was just yeah. talking about. It's actually on the packet. 
It's like a very lightweight denim, very, very lightweight denim, denim. But it's got that kind of, it's got that kind of grow grain. I don't want to say grow grain because that's too deep, isn't it? But it's got that grain to it. You know what twill's like. It's that kind of not the smooth. It's got a, a, a textured finish to it. What you wouldn't expect from something with such a grain is to retain the detail. No, no, in the exactly. Image. And this, um, the bunting is printed on the twill, and um, you can see sort of even fine hairs, you can see such detail, even the graduation in the rows yes. through all the tints. This is sort of um, what other... This is on the fabrics. twill. This is on the twill. You know what twill is? When you run your nail over it, you can just feel that, that slight ridges in it. But as, as you say, look at even her cheeks. You can yeah. see the highlight the on her. T I, I mean, it'd be brilliant. The twill is brilliant for like um, a, t a little tote bag or, or a personalised yes. pencil bag or yeah. something like that. But look at this rose, right? Look at the on a twill. You wouldn't expect to get that beautiful graduation of colour. You'd expect a twill. You'd be able to think you'd see the ridges, or the dye might get stuck in the ridges. There's yeah. none of that at all. There's none of that at all. Um, lots of you multi-buying these, so please be careful. Make sure you check out your baskets. Right, so that one's on the twill. Is that one on the... This one's on the poplin. The That's on poplin. Picture. But yeah. this has still got the... Yeah, they've both still got the paper on the backing. Because the that's moment. the next stage of how to how to describe how to do it. But look at this. Anything you can create on your computer. You see this one here, you've got the picture. Who's this who's this baby? Oh This is my sister's little boy. Oh <laughs> this is little William. S little William. <laughs> so uh, oh yeah, William, Peter, Roberts, oof, posh. Uh, so that's <laughs> into, so you've got a photo of him that you've yes. um uploaded. Yeah. And you've written the yeah. William name and the so, date he was born. And a little message. Little message. But the even the background, you've even it's not just a plain blue background, you've got another picture yes, on are, the background. Obviously you can use your own pictures that you've taken, but online you can find you must make sure you use um copyright free images. Oh, of course, of so, course, of course. Um, but there are lots of um, free image um, Yeah, I was just websites. thinking about my, your own, your yeah, own stuff, you can, really. Yeah, do your own uh, stuff And then too. here, the writing on here as well. But it's beautiful, crisp yeah. writing. It's not like a blurred, a blurred, um, look, Auntie Angie. Auntie Angie and Uncle Wayne. Oh. <laughs> the quality impressed impressed me um, immensely with this. Um, so before you've gotten... There are lots of reasons, really, why it's, um, as I say, the next generation. Is the There's no stiffness to it. It's lovely and soft. The next is getting that um, superb print quality, the sharpness, but also the fine graduations yes, uh, um, yes. in tone. So I've got all these old pictures of my mum and dad, yeah. right? Like old black and white ones. I brought them in on Mother's Day. I had them like, on Mother's um, Day. the ruby wedding cush little hearts thing I did. That's an old black and white So you could I scan. Scanned. You yeah. could just scan the old scan picture into in. your computer. Yeah, or snap, snap a picture of it with your phone or scan it. However you would create... You don't need any special software. Right. OK, that's the important yeah. thing. You don't need any special yeah. software. You just what you print up your things However with. However you would create a nice document at home... OK, now, exactly this is me talking way. now. Yeah. I'm useless at making a document. OK. Right? But I can print up... So I could print that picture off, because I can scan a picture. Of course. I could, I could, make, I could make a banner like that, or yeah. I could... Make, but I don't know how I'd put them all put on the all picture together, together like sure. that. Yeah. So I could almost print, like you have here, the back of this one there. Yeah. If, if, you, if you weren't, if you're like me and you couldn't if you create can't a picture... If you combine it all, if you're not that au fait with software or, or editing yeah, uh, things... None, none of that. <laughs> what you can do on the same sheet is you could have your old black and white picture there, you do your strip with your text on, on another part yeah. of the sheet, um, your poem on another part, and then you'd layer it to up. Be and really do a plique. nice. I think it'd be really nice actually. It's um, to layer it up with a plique yes, and different yeah. layers. And then you and could then you almost, can if you need stitch. a wedding one, you could almost kind of have a picture of the, the wedding, the you know, the wedding lace or the yes. wedding flowers yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It'd just be brilliant, wouldn't it? Or you could back it. If you didn't want printing on the back, you could yeah. back it with a piece of the wedding dress or the yes. bridesmaid's dress or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Before really you go cutting up it. anybody's <laughs> wedding dresses, just check that it's all right. Don't be cutting a big heart out of your mum's <laughs> wedding dress or something like that. I mean, that's, that's the thing. Today, um, because it's, like, new on air, I wanted to... The obvious reasons um, of printable fabric is to personalise something. Yes, yes, totally. But it's got huge scope for being creative. But with. also, you go to any of those 
Oh, well, hang on, I was supposed to say, say this carefully. There are websites who personalise things for you. Yeah. You don't have pay. <laughs> you don't have pay for them, don't absolutely. you? Absolutely, absolutely. And you can't guarantee. And then you can't guarantee the quality of the of yeah. the cotton or the twill. And you have anything. to wait for that stuff. This you can do in your own yes. home on the whim if you and decide to do something. if you don't something. like it, like if you send away, yes. they make it. You can't yeah. then send it back going, oh, actually, I don't like this. Like that cut. Whereas you can, right. you can, you can, you can make the first one go, oh, actually, it's not quite right, and you can That's play around. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, now, Lovely that's bit. come through the machine. How yeah. long do we have to wait before we do um, anything? So we wait sort of, depending on the colour density, we've got... There's us. Lovely and colourful, actually. <laughs> we wait about five or ten minutes. You've got quite a dark shirt on. Just a oh, drying my fault. time. No, <laughs> not at all. But we'll give that five or ten minutes to dry. OK. Um, um, uh, so that's fine. Um, that's the, another re. Another so, so you thing. have to leave that. Don't touch it for five or ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just okay. let the inks dry and absorb into. They they go into the threads. Okay. Of are you going to print? Have you got anything else to print up? Yes, I've got a couple of other things. Right. To print. So start that printer off, and okay. we'll do that. What's what we've we done that one? Have we done that one That's on poplin? That's on the um, cotton poplin, and I'm going to print um, something on the twill. Right. Um, what I've got to. What I'd like to print to show you on the twill yes. is I know well a lot of the ladies I teach actually they're all create you know we're all creative in different ways and I love when I go on holiday I love I'm always photographing bits of blistering paint and Oh, I bet you're great fun to go on holiday with. <laughs> oh, look, Wayne, there's Blister. some paint falling off yeah. a gate post there. <laughs> but I think it's sort of um, textures and patterns, and we all see it in architecture and nature. So if you like me, and go around snapping all these um, pictures, and, but, then, and then you never do anything with them. But also, you know there are people who've got jobs, my friend Christine is one of them. They go around the world, they're paid to go around the world, and they used to joke about it on Abfab, because you do it, and they'll take a picture of a doorknob, or they'll yeah. take a picture of a gate post, and that's the colour of the... the, the Colour oh. of the year in four or five yeah. years' time, which is how fashion. I, exactly. How does everybody know that they've got to do turquoise or green or that's whatever? That's where our inspiration exactly. Comes and from. that's and these people yeah. get paid. You should get that because you'd oh. love it. <laughs> Travelling around the world, <laughs> staying in posh hotels, and just taking pictures of old bits of wood and oh, things. Yes, that would suit me down to okay. the ground. So that, that's a new a new career. For yeah, me. no, because you can't leave yet. <laughs> so I've got um, an image here that I took in um, Sicily or Malta oh, or somewhere. One of my many travels, and it's, darling. Um, what it's is a, it? It's a bit of raw iron work with some blister you can't, paint. You can't see this yet. You can't <laughs> see this yet. You'll see it when it's printed. But what, we're, what, what it's going to show is um, the, the, the quality of the detail that we can get on the twill okay, for brilliant. you. Yeah. Um, one thing just to add, um, I, I think I mentioned it last time. Do you see there there's just one little, yes, um, little bit of thread? That's probably not, you know, we don't need to worry about that too much. But if you do get any fine threads um, just coming away from the from the. Why, door, why do you need to get rid of those? Well, if there's, if it's a bit like any fabric will fray towards the edges. If you've got a long strand, you can imagine if you to, it could catch on a roller or something. So that's just to ensure that. that. Okay. And and this isn't curled or anything, so we're not needing to bend it, bend it the other way, roll it the other way. Right. Uh, check out your baskets while while um, Angie's doing that. Um, did you say there was another message coming through? Because nothing's arrived. Um, some messages. Uh, uh, check out your baskets, right? Now, you put it in the way that you would print on your machine. So my machine at home, if I know I've got headed writing paper and I've got a letter that needs to print it, because I pr go from down here... Now, they're all different, so don't take my word for gospel, right? My own machine here, I put the paper in the bottom there, so you put it face down. So you, I, put, I put the fabric down, yeah. wouldn't I? And then it and, go, and then it comes out right like that. This one... You've put in fabric up because it goes through and comes that way and gets printed on top. But it, no, it, you have to. It's your computer. It's not on here. You need to know that. You need to know from your printer how you print up. So just all you need to do, right, is get the paper, get a, the picture that you're going to print up, test it, and then paper. test it. Put a piece of paper through. Put a big cross on the paper on the top one. Yeah. If it goes through, if it comes out with the cross on it, you know that that's the way you've got to put the fabric in. It's very, very easy to use. Yeah. Right. So you've sent that picture. Sent that you? one going. Um, no. Should we just yeah. talk about what's what's in each of these packs yes. and on what's on the back of each of these packs? So which one have we got in now? We've got the poplin in. Right? It's called Take print. It. Peel and then create. That's it. That's what it says here. We'll get to the peeling stage in a second. Very, very simple. Uh, this is what cotton poplin is. These are frequently asked questions about the cotton poplin. Oh, look. Don't let Natasha see this. She'll be making her little dogs. Well, and her big dogs. Um, Customised. Oh, yes. I've got a question from Diana. 
I might make one of those makeup bags you featured with a pic of my friend uh, with a picture of my friend for hang on. I might make one of those makeup bags you featured with a picture for my friend's 60th birthday. birthday. That'd be nice. What a picture of me? Do you want a picture of me, Dan? I'll send it to you, that'd be <laughs> fine. Um, okay, so that we've we've dread this, right? Uh, well, there's lots of que lots of questions coming through. Lots of questions coming through. So the first thing you do is you print because it yeah. says this on the front. Then the next thing is you peel. So yes. how do you know when it's ready to peel? Well, as I said, five to just five to ten minutes. How long's that one been uh, gone through now? Then? About six. So I'll give it a few more minutes. I'll give it a couple yes. more minutes. Yeah. Um, oh, who's that? Who's what? Oh, no, it'll be all right to peel now, oh, being okay. told from the gods oh, upstairs. Okay. Not fine. the gods, <laughs> that's like a theatrical term. No, I'm not talking to the gods, gods, I'm talking to the... Right, OK. OK, um, the other thing um, in this next stage to mention is a lot of the ones on the market currently, there are then fixing processes. Oh, OK. Oh, um, like, like ironing it or yeah, something so like that. Yeah, so to fix it permanent. Yeah. Um, and so they differ from different manufacturers. Some are, like, pressing it to fix the permanent. Some are rinsing it under a tap for 10 minutes. Yes. So, or oh, some are rinsing it, iron it, rinse it, iron it. In so the, because in the old days, when you did, we did, I did dyeing and printing, you sure. always you finished your item, yeah. washed it, washed it, washed it, washed it, and then ironed it vociferously, yeah. and then you'd know it was fixed. Sort fixed, of thing, yeah. yeah. So um, the beauty of this product uh, is no fixing. Oh, so it's done. The coating is so special that it grabs all the anything water-based. So not just your ink in your inkjet printers, but if you wanted to paint on it. Or use fabric, oh, so so pens. so right. So let's go back. So if I've got this and I want to write, put a tiara on you. Yes, or right? write write your message on this. Or write your Angie, what you're doing on my set? That kind of thing. <laughs> yes. Right, get off my set. Move over, girl. <laughs> you could do that with a fabric pen. Yes, water-based fabric pens. How brilliant! Yeah. So and and, and the coating just fixes that permanently. Okay. So it's fab. Yeah, lots of different. I'm getting very excited. I want to, Anna's, I you, want to paint and stitch. You and... haven't got Hannah in your ear at the moment. I haven't heard <laughs> of this excited for ages. Right, she does watercolour paints. Could oh, she just yeah. paint straight onto there? Yes, yeah. Because because I was saying earlier with this, right, with this one here, right, I would love sequin bed linen, right? Now, no. I know you're not going to have a whole bed linen, but you could have... The this is pictures of sequins, isn't it, here? Yes. So you could have that lovely sequin effect. Without the print on your face the next morning. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know what I mean? So if you wanted to create your own fabric Absolutely. that you can do, and like yeah. I saying, a quilter, if they've got a pattern and they think there's just one colour that doesn't work here, you could print up your own colour on the yes. twill and then cut it out to yeah. fit it in. Anyway, we've got to get on. But Let's talking go. about texture, I immediately... Um, since I've been working with threads, was sat at home the other night and I looked across at one of my cushions and it's a very sort of dense woven tapestry um, in diamonds and I immediately wanted to like photograph it and print it to have that oh, replication yes. of that wool, you know, that dense tapestry yeah. texture, like you were saying about the sequins really. Right. So now we're at the peeling stage and um, this is just like peeling... Um, if you're trying to get the back off bond web or something like yes, that, yes, you yes. know it can be a bit tricky sometimes. So you can try and get the end sorted. If you... Which it does. I mean, the, the adhesive on this is very strong because, um, obviously, to keep it nice and taut going through the printer... It. Do you know, but I was watching the, the other night, those ladies... No, 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 no. Those ladies who make cards, you know, like, you watch them on the telly, oh. make And the way they flip the back off that tape, and I was going, that's not real, <laughs> that's not real life, cos you're there, like that. Yeah, anyway, forever. so you've got the corner. If you do struggle to get a corner it's going... Easy to feel that, yeah. yeah. What you can do is just, as you would go to tear paper, you can tear this, and the paper will tear, not the fabric, and then you can gives you an end. Oh, so wow. So that's a little tip yeah, yeah, to do Yeah, yeah, you've that. got the corner there. We've yeah. got the corner there. So, um, I say it's nice and kept nice and taut, but it doesn't leave any residue okay. on the fabric itself. Now, I notice, is this a technique that you've just used, putting your hand on there to pull it off? No, because it's quite, um, I say it's, it's quite... It's Where's not, the glue gone? It's not tacky at all, but it's very firmly fixed. Yeah. So if you've got it up here and you're trying to pull, you know, you can see it's kind of, it's quite, you feel how it's quite firm to pull off, but do, there's no residue. Do you know what? Residue. Do you know what? Right, OK. This, the glue has stayed on the paper. I don't know if you're going to see that. The glue has stayed on the paper there. Yeah. Right, the glue, look, you can see a sheen there. This is soft like my bed sheets. Yeah. Lovely. Right, and then you just pull it so off. So I, I just put, yeah, if you put, keep it flat and pull, it's much easier. Isn't it? See, even if I can do this, yeah. or something will go wrong now, I've said that. Do you know what? Yeah. I've just broken a dream. We've done this before in my dreams, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> just had a flashback. <laughs> yes, flashback. Oh, right, OK. So that, so this, now, now this is now rubbish, is yeah. it? Yeah, disposable. 
And there you can see the drape. Um, the detail. <gasps> it's just brilliant, isn't it? Because you can yeah. see the folds in the fabric, but you can still see the photo, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it is lovely, and I think that's because it's absorbed into the threads. It's not a surface coating. Yes. Um, so it's a really beautiful quality. And what you wear, the skin tones and things like yeah, that. Yeah, mine's a bit um... red, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's your fault. So, um, the, and so if you were making something that's not going to be laundered, you can just then stitch this into anything that you, you want okay. to. You can use it exactly the same as you would any piece of fabric. You can put bondweb on it to applique it. You can press it, iron it, right. do anything. Um, if you were sort of putting it on a garment yes. or something, a cushion that you think you might want to throw in the washing machine, yeah. um, then uh, we'd suggest you pre wash it just for um, any shrinkage. Okay, not for, right, okay. Not so for wash ink. it at this stage? At this stage, before you make it into. So print your picture, take the back off, yes. and then if it's going to say that was going to be, you're going Either to be. On a oh, I know. I saw when in Miss Great Britain last year there was a girl with all magazines. She had all magazines, but yeah. she had the real magazines. But if you're going to make one of those, you'd wash it like this now. Yeah, what well, you can launder it. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So what well, like this? This bolster is made of two A fours. Okay. Hang on a sec. Hannah's okay. saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got lots of questions about the washing. So let's ask the questions then about the washing. Is it colour fast? Yes. Can, she wash, can people wash it in the washing machine or should they wash it separately? You can uh, wash it in the washing machine. It's, as I said, because it's from an industrial company, it's been very highly tested. So you can just put it in with your colours. Don't, don't put anything in with your... Um, they've tested it over 30... Uh, on a delicate, 30 degrees, um, just on a delicate wash in the washing machine or, or hand Will the colours fade? These are all questions just okay. coming through. So sorry, Angie, <laughs> no, to throw it to you. It. It's been, as I say, it's been intensely tested. Um, the cotton will only fade as much as a normal cotton would, which is, I think, over 30 washes is about 15%. Yes. Okay. Which any, is what's normal. Which any is normal, normal cotton. OK, so now, now if, when we, when, as a dressmaking person, we always wash the cotton first because there's always a slight shrinkage That's to it. That's what I was it? saying. If you're using this to piece together to make a garment with or something, a cushion, yeah. that's why. Wash the only it. reason you'd need to wash it it's, Otherwise, it's because the fabric might like, yes, just because yeah. it's not a fixing thing to have to put it in water. Yeah. It, it's permanently fixed yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all do, we've said that, Hannah. Yes, okay. we've said that. We'll just repeat it though. Um, if you're making a wall hanging or something, it won't be washed. You don't yeah. need to wash it. Don't need to wash okay. it at all. Yeah. I'm going to put this in water to show you that a picture that we've just taken, put through the printer here, um, to show you that no inks are going to come out. Go on then. So we've got a little bit. Watch, there's lots of electrics yeah. back here. <laughs> don't trip. So I've got some water there. Right. And I've got a white towel. <laughs> <laughs> so pop it in. What? Pop it in. How would you like me to put it in? <laughs> this is like a, a swish photographer. It, swish it around. Right, feel yeah. free to wash it with all your other clothes. I say, yeah, well, obviously this isn't well. a wash wash, no. we're just wetting it here, yeah. but... OK, well, that is totally and utterly drenched through, Angie. Yeah, so you've given that a good swoosh. Thank you. Oh, sorry, there's a corner of a towel there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying wipe it on my top. It's a 10%. OK. Right, OK, first of all, before we do anything, look, yep. the water, there's no colour in the water whatsoever, look. Just to show you, nothing's come out. There's bubbles. They're and just I bubbles, you see. I haven't wrung it, so it's still heavily saturated. So right. we're just going to... Yes, because at this point, you'd expect to now see our faces back to front on the <laughs> towel, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Yeah, we won't, it's <laughs> no, Of course we won't. <laughs> no, of course we won't. I've got a little bit of water there. Mm. It's just, well, this is the 11 o'clock show no, and not the 10 o'clock one, I know. isn't it? Yeah, well, so I thought I'd better go on last yeah. in case I make a mess. <gasps> OK. And here you got this? To go. <gasps> Nothing on the towel. Nothing on the towel, and that's not, and that's not, nothing's wrong. Nothing in the water. No. I thought we were going to make something after that now. No. now uh, a question, can you tumble dry it? Um, I believe you can. But it's better to just let it dry naturally. It's dry better naturally. dried naturally. Um, but it has been, as I say, it's been <laughs> heavily tested, but best to let it dry naturally. Right, now don't forget this is still wet, wet. so this is still darker. But look at this. Oh, there you go, look. Now, that's a good question. Will it use lots of ink on the printer, from the printer? OK, so... Um, shall I put this away? Yeah, shall we, we put it... You talk. Do you want me to put it no, down I'm, there? I'm, I'm oh, with okay. you. I'm with you. Right, just feel safer with that away there. So, right. actually, actually, I was thinking about this, and um, it's one of those questions that you 
when you realise, you think, oh, of course. The printer doesn't know what you're putting through. Oh, so it's not soaking more. It's not because so when you by, paint a fabric, yeah. it sucks it in, doesn't it? So obviously at home, we can choose whether if we're just printing a, a document to take somewhere, yes. you know, that doesn't need to be high quality. We print on just plain paper. Yeah. If you were printing a photograph at home or something like a nice leaflet or something, you'd print that we've chosen sort of matte setting or the gloss setting. We don't choose gloss, but if you were printing, so it would use exactly the same amount of ink as oh, if you were choosing. So, so you, as, you, as if yeah. you were doing a photograph. Because the, the printer doesn't know that you're putting fabric no. through to, to lay more ink down. So it's using exactly the same amount of ink as it would to print a high quality What I um, think is incredible image. is look at the highlight. I don't know if you can see the, this on there. The the highlighting on yeah. your cheek, you can see, you know, the flush on your cheek, and you think, look. Yes, the. I don't look at me because I just look red. But look at look at. Uh, I mean, I know I look like that. I'm not blaming the photographer for the photograph at all. But look at the highlighting on the and, the, and uh, the brightness of the necklace and everything. Like it's picked everything up. That's totally, what's not it? been achievable okay. before. Okay, let's think, have a look at the, the one that's come uh, out the, the machine. Shall I move the towel or shall we leave no, it? We'll put that in there and I'll roll it. Right. Oh, like that. You're not, you're not <laughs> making anything out of that, one, are you? No, no I don't like that one. <laughs> right. Oh, so this is you on holiday taking pictures. This is pictures me on holiday of... taking pictures of. Uh, Flaky paint and old bits of iron. <laughs> look at the detail. <laughs> but look at the though. detail in it, yeah. And I think um, I was getting excited about this. Obviously, there's the bespoke side of this, is yeah. um, personalising lots of things. But imagine that you took a section of this um, flaky paint and enlarge it and print it off as, as a, a background a background for quilting. You know, then chop oh, it off. Oh, yes, like a blender, yes. And incorporate it into your quilt. Exactly. So you are creating your own. Fabric. Designing your own fabric. Um, this is on the twill, this one. Yeah. This is the twill going across the bottom. This is twenty one ninety five for six sheets. The, the uh, poplin is it's six sheets poplin. for nineteen ninety five. Um, but I was just saying earlier, um, and we were discussing it in, in prep earlier, if you're going out for the night and you've got an outfit and you want yeah. a little clutch bag, you can, and you can't, and go to the shops and you say it's pink. There are six different versions of pink in the shop, aren't there? This way, you could find the exact colour on the internet. That's it. Just fill the whole sheet. You don't, you can print a, a solid. Yes, print Absolutely. up a solid, print two of them, and you've got the front and the back for a yeah. clutch bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you're gonna, if you've got to match something, oh, do you know what would be brilliant? If you've got to match the bridesmaids' dresses to like the uh, to the, the, the pocket hanger, the poplin, yes. you could use the poplin as yeah. a, a really, really, right, we've got a good fact apparently. Okay. You can print a bow tie out of one A4 sheet. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I have seen the bow tie pattern. Can you? Very nice. Very nice. You know what I'd like to make? What? Because um, I don't have too many friends, so this is a chief. <laughs> Right. That come to dinner. Yeah. Little personalised napkins. Oh no, I said that the other day about something to make personalised napkins. <laughs> so like, ones. what for a wedding with all those people? If you just had six no, people around. that's round. it. Just for dinner. Really well, I think lovely. It'd be really nice. So, uh, okay, oh, so I'll which, just pull that back in okay, shot. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are you going to do? Are you going to make something with this one? Hang no. On. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, we've got to do another picture, have we? I'm going to print one more thing on the cotton. OK, then, um, on the I'm, poplin. On the poplin, yes, please. Just to show you, this is um, a piece of my textile work. <gasps> is it the dandelion? Is it it's not, oh. actually. Uh, it's a landscape, but it's it would... Oh, just, that's not it, hang on. Just to show you the different... There's lots of different layers of free motion embroidery, hand embroidery, um, lots of different um, fabrics chopped up there. Um, one thing I actually... I, I failed to, to mention. Yes. I said about making sure it's flat, make sure you've got no loose threads sticking off the side. But also, just check, maybe give it a blow. If you can imagine, if you had a speck of something oh, yes, it's, on it, there... It's the speck will get... And then it will print very fine. And then when the speck comes off, you'll have a white mark. So, yes. or, or a thread. You could even <gasps> have a loose... If you're in your sewing room... Yeah, but you could make threads. your own batik. <laughs> you could. Could you? <laughs> put... put, put on purpose. on purpose, put specs on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, just make sure it's got no um, fine specs on there. And, oh, um, yes, but yeah. <laughs> anything you can do to fabric, you can do to this, is what yeah. I'm being told from upstairs. But so. but I've just had the thought you could you could have a like that picture, but you could you could put specs of like John and Angie, stick little bits of you know what I mean? Oh, and then like when it goes through, it's actually then you take reverse. them off and it's yeah. <laughs> yes. What's it called? Yes, because it doesn't print white. Any white will be yes, the background. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so select premium, always um, select matte. Yes. That's the only thing to remember. And obviously high quality. Is this you trying quality. to sell one of your paintings now? Is that what it is? No, no but um, what I was thinking oh. about this is <laughs> yeah. if like 
it's quite sad sometimes if you've sold a piece of work. Um, I sold a piece last year that I'd literally just finished. Oh. And I wasn't expecting it to sell so quickly. And so I felt like... You could have said no. I hadn't had it long enough. Oh. <laughs> but, but this um, way... But I could... You said I've got a print of it on paper at home. But I was thinking, actually, yes, you could print and then stretch it back onto canvas, canvas and still yeah. have it, at least because you can see all the detail of the um, Well, you yeah, all your art, where you can or, see the brush strokes and everything, aren't you? Or, I don't know what kind of what yes, art it was. But. Or you could do um, limited edition prints. Of, Look at you. So sell it to one person's yeah. original, then suddenly have a hundred of no, them. No, I'm of saying there's like the personal use of this and personalising things, but also um, if you've got a, a company, you could put, you know, yeah, um, your, logo. your own logos mm -hmm. and um, things. Print that up, print that up, and I'll tell you what you get in each packet. So we're going to start with the poplin. This is the poplin. It's the Threads Inkjet Printable Fabric Sheets, white cotton poplin. You get six sheets for £19.95. This is the one most commonly used by quilters, or what have you used this one for the love hearts? Um, and I think that lovely uh, pencil case might be made out of this one as well. I just have, oh no, that's the twill. Um, anyway, that's the poplin, six sheets for £19. Lots of people multiply this. If you've got them in your basket, please, please, please check out. Uh, so that's the cotton poplin. If you want something, so that's good for lightweight or for dressmaking or anything like that. If you want something, do you know what? You can make amazing patches for your jeans and things and, and things like that out of this, couldn't or you? Or the back of a denim jacket. Or oh, now, I saw that in um, yeah. a very expensive designer shop the other day. And all it was, was a picture. Yeah. I think zagged on with a few studs and everything. And it was a normal denim jacket you can make your own. Yeah. Not that I've, I'm a bit past denim jackets now myself, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, this one is the cotton twill, £21 and 95 pence for six sheets. Six sheets you get there, six A4 sheets for £21 and 95 pence. So even if, well, hey, look, if you've got, a, if you've got uh, the ability to print from your phone, you could take a picture fr straight from your phone to your printer. I've got one of those... Um, oh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously at home, that is. But you, you could do it. Yeah. You, oh, yes. You could basically uh, just take a picture on your phone, send it to your printer. You can print up like that. And, and also, f uh, pictures... Uh, the, the definition on phone pictures these days is really so good. brilliant. There's a lot of cameras, isn't it? Yeah, sure. £21.95. This pillow... Right, this pillow, the whole piece is made out of four... This is what you were going to say earlier, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, it's made out of four A4 sheets there. So you can see that's one. Oh. Two uh, around the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was saying earlier, if you've had a once-in-a-lifetime holiday and you want to remember that holiday, then this is brilliant. Lovely little bolster. And I think if I was on a holiday, I'd make some... I'd, I don't know, I wouldn't make a cushion. I'd make something... I don't know what I'd make out of it, but it's gorgeous. Because what I've got is I've got books that people have made. So we've been on holiday and we've had a fantastic holiday. And then six weeks later, oh, a I book know. has arrived with all the photos well, in. you could do the cover. But, but those books, no, no, but those, no, those books are in a shelf now. They're on a shelf oh, now. Okay. Whereas this way, yes. you can have it Reminded out all the, time. all the time. Like, for example, your sister and her very old new husband. <laughs> she's going to shoot me now. <laughs> so she's watching, he's 50. He's very handsome, I have to say, he's very handsome. But he is, well, he was 50 then, was he? So, oh, he'd be, be even older now, then. <laughs> if you're making, I'm oh, doing a wedding, look, look, tie the knot, birthday party, put the little kid's picture on there and everything. Well, because they got married abroad and then they came home and had a party, so I thought, actually, this would have been lovely. Brilliant, because they're not everything. <laughs> not everything has to just be a picture of them, does it? There's the roses, there's the love hearts. You could do a whole theme. If you've got, you know, you know if you've got... Um, you know what you could do, uh, kiddies, for, uh, and how lovely if you're inviting all the family and you've got granny and granddad, just so the kids can remember who they are before they arrive. This is your granny, this is your granddad. Children, children love children... bunting in their bedrooms yes. and things, don't they? So instead of um, painstakingly appliqueing, yeah. you know, each letter yes. of someone's yes. name, well, yeah. you have to get it in reverse. Yes. So you could... Um... Especially when they're learning things. <laughs> what you must do, though, like Angie said at the beginning, don't use pictures that aren't yours to yes. use, sort of yes. thing. So don't be suddenly using pictures of me. Mind you, I've got very, very quickly, right? There was, a, there was a competition in a magazine. When I used to be on this morning, there was a competition in a magazine, and it was spot the difference. It was me at work, uh, out on the South Bank with some friends and everything. And I rang my agent, and it was spot the difference. There were six different things. I rang my agent, I went, how much am I getting paid for that then? And she went, oh, no, it was on the internet. So well, it was I... free. And I was like, well, excuse me, they're using my picture. I might not have wanted my, my picture taken. But anyway, but personal, the it's been on the personal internet. Personal copyright is a bit... Yeah. I used to, because but I be, used, please yeah. be careful with that. I don't Mind you, you can, if you're making it, it's just for your house. Who's going to know? I don't think you can copyright your own 
face, oh, can you? Nude on the copy right <laughs> this. How exciting, says Sue in Cheshire. Can't wait to print all my photo memories to make a memory quilt. Yes. What a great programme, thank yeah. you. It's oh, all down good. to these good. people. I'm just an organ group. It's a fabulous product, isn't that, oh, there's it? Another so. one, there's another one. I have to wait for that one to come through. We uh, we'll do peeling uh, back off the back in a second. Peel the twill in a second. Uh, Chrissy, hello Chrissy, my love. Uh, photograph your fabric and hey ho, a perfect match. Yes. Oh, yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Photo I, I, was, I did get a bit confused then. Photograph your fabric. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I said that in, in um, not rehearsal, we don't do rehearsals, what's it called, prep, right? I said, if you've got a patch, imagine if I ripped this now, I could print this fabric off on there and do a little perf, I could pattern match it and make a patch for my shirt, couldn't I? Well, anyway. when I was looking at that cushion of mine with that very dense sort of tapestry wool, that's, I was immediately thinking that would look ace as a little clutch bag, yeah. you know, because, yeah. it, because you... But people make a fortune out yeah. of doing, uh, like these yeah. pictures like this, yes. don't they? <laughs> anyway, so go on. Um, so this is on we, cotton This twill. is on the twill. Um, so it's retained a lot of the definition of the, the very fine details in all the little peeling paint. Hang on a sec, just look, just as Andy said that, look at all the detail. Now you'd expect that from a high top quality pixel, whatever it's called, camera picture. I but think that, I'll snap that off my phone. That's a snap from a phone on cotton twill yeah. fabric. Anyway, do what you've got to do. <laughs> so we just need to find oh, the end it, again. Uh, uh. So it's very easy. This, I'd say this was the most difficult bit to do. It's just the finding the corner. That's the, what I'd find. But that's even that's not difficult. You can, as I said, if you go as if you're tearing yeah. Yeah. the paper, the paper will... See, I've got a tear in the paper there. Yeah. Have you? I've got no nails. I've just Where are your glasses? Cut off. <laughs> Don't you wear your glasses in public? Don't you wear those in I've the mornings? Got, I've got very strange twisted eyes, so they're not... They're for different... Um... Things? Yeah. <laughs> I have got my glasses there, oh, don't actually. Worry, don't worry. You don't need them for this. No. There you go. It's started. It's just starting it off. If when you start this off and you do find that, um, like here now, we're just catching, because I said the glue's quite firm, yes. you're holding that, and you've got a few, you know, threads. you're getting a few threads. Um, you can, like I am now, just help them, just catch them, or pull from a different way, because yes. you don't want to pull yeah, that. Yeah, you don't want to pull those threads. Um, that. Right, now, Would I've got like to remind to... you, none of this is sticky. None of that... You carry on, Sir no, Ange. None of that. that is sticky. The glue that is left is on the paper, and it's not sticky glue. It's just impregnated, I presume, in the paper. The fabric has no glue on it whatsoever. It's so firm, it's amazing how there's no residue yes. there. So this bit wasn't in my this. dream. <laughs> <laughs> People multiplying, please check out your baskets. Please check out your baskets. There we go. Have you got the other one, actually? Just to see the one. I know it's wet, but just it might just show a different um, weight. This one's a bit crinkly now, because it's been... It... Oh, yeah. So you can see it is a, a softer... Yeah. So this is the poplin. Weight. That's the twill. So you can see straight away that that is a small sturdy. Yeah. And this is, this is the... I mean, obviously, you could iron this now and get the creases out of it and everything, but... Um, that, there's Is definitely, you, you know, you, you know, pop, poplin, you know poplin like this, and then, say that again, Hannah. Oh, no, you don't have to iron it, but I'm just saying iron the fabric before you make it, whatever. There's no fixing of it. That's, so that now yeah. is if you were going to make a wall hanging out of that, you could just apply, apply that to whatever you do, and that's yeah. it, done. Yes, and it's permanently fixed. If yeah. you're going to put it on the back of a denim jacket, however, like a designer has done recently, charge a fortune for it, wash it first, put it in the washing machine. What I, what I would do is I'd zigzag or overlock the edge so yeah, that it didn't fray away frame, anymore, yeah. and then, then just wash it. It's been... I haven't chosen borderless printing on this, but you, that's the other thing on your printer. You know, you can choose A4 borderless. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and go a little bit closer to the edges as well. Sometimes uh, here. Okay. Hannah now is getting very excited. She'd make a Joe Carter bear using pieces of her memories on. Uh... There's going to be no stopping her in. <laughs> what's right? Oh, Again, okay. So this is um, on another on the poplin. This is this one is of... for sale. Every, for sale. <laughs> one of a thousand. <laughs> This is, um, uh, you've probably heard of Capability Brown. Oh, yes, I have, because yeah. I, I went to Bretton Hall College and needed all the gardens. Yeah, yeah. so um, the Embroiderers Guild was involved in the Capability Brown project last year, all over, the, nationwide. So this was my Capability Brown landscape from Chalcot Park in Warwickshire. Look at the colours, um, look at the colours in there. But you can see lots of the definition, um, picking up the, the hand stitching over the top of layers of fabric. There's a, even some raffia in there, so... It's oh, hang on. A lot of detail. Right, now, this shows how stupid I am. 
I'm thinking it's a photo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise they're your stitches. It's You've stitched all that. Up bits of silk. There's little bits of raffia in. Yeah, free motion embroidery, hand embroidery. Then what's that down the corner? Then price tag. That's my signature. <laughs> <laughs> the detail. Look at the detail you're getting on there. That is fantastic, isn't it? And again, that's just a quick snap. Yes. Off a phone. So you took a picture, you made that picture yeah, by you thread. Can, and you then... can see the shadow on it. That's oh, just, yes. it's, it's the piece. Oh, yeah, that's the frame. That's where you yeah. stretched it round. Yeah, stretched on a canvas, yeah. So I just took a quick um, snap of it. Picture of it. Isn't that so? Really, what you could do with that is you could either cut it with the border of that, or just cut it to the. To I mean, that. you could do whatever you want to. Yeah. Do you know what? That'd be nice. I wouldn't want to. Is, is chop it up and put it in quilts. Yeah. You know, kind of like a, a David that, Hockney almost. That's what I'm excited about with a lot of my photography is actually, like you say, making your own um, fabric fabrics. out of. Because then you can take a background, then you can layer something else over it and, well, and you then can, chop you can, it yeah, up. Exactly. It or if you're a straightforward uh, quilter, yeah. we had baby blue fabric this morning. Yes. Well, you could chop this up into squares, chop the blue up into squares yes. and do a really yeah. lovely collage of, yeah. in a quilting collage and everything. Yeah, really lovely. Amazing. £21.95 right for the twill uh, uh for the twill fabric six pieces of the twill fabric paint paper fabric and then uh, uh 1995 for the cotton poplin um i just think it, the whole thing is incredible really it's super quality and the lack of having to fix it that's, yes. you know that sort of pressing or rinsing it and just ready to go straight away that uh, must that that take, that takes some tech and we're paying for an awful we're paying for a million pounds of technology yeah. aren't we because they've got that industrial background incredible and it's superb. oh i've got to show this yeah. as well because this was made this, this is, is on beautiful. the front of the oh it was right it is on the it is on the, on co the, on the cotton poplin one so this is just an mm -hmm. idea so this is a photograph of emma So we've got the writing on there from Auntie Sarah, right? But then, so that's the picture there on the cotton twill. So that's on an A4, but to make it a bit bigger, they've uh, framed it with some ribbon, but yeah. you could make this, you know, larger with yeah, uh, any any fabric. Let me just take those out of because yeah. look at this, right? There's lace. Look at the lace the detailing, detailing in there. Yeah. I mean, that's a lovely, heavy, pure lace in there, but look at the detailing, the shadowing and everything like that. And then they've just made, this is like a Sammy Claridge um, pencil case, isn't it, where she yeah. does those little tur turrets there. And then this one here, let me take that pad up there. This, all they've done is they've taken a picture of sequined fabric. Now, you wouldn't want real sequined fabric in there because it's going to catch, the sequins are going to fall off. Do you think you get the effect of sequined fabric but it's so clear and so precise, isn't it, that it's then created the pocket with that and using the ribbon detailing. Right, this was made from three sheets because, well, this will be one, won't it? Then, of course, that will be made from another one. You and could then, probably of course, get that and that on. On the same one, yeah. yeah. But this yeah. was actually made from three. Well, have they got something on? Oh, oh no, look! Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> big oh, one. I see, I see, I see. So it goes like this and this, like this. I think that folds into. There. Get it right now, and I think so. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, some, and what See, a lovely present as well. Keep, Beautiful keep, present. If, you, if you're looking after the grandchildren, have that in your bag to keep them busy. You Quiet, can, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> And they know it's theirs because it was made specially for them. Oh, how beautiful. And also, people are going to treasure these, aren't they? Well, have you got something else to show me now? No, I was just coming on to um, sort of a few ideas. Oh. If, if people are mating, making the, anything like, like that or bunting, yes. like you say, making the most of the fabric. So I put the bunting one up this way and one up this way. Yes. And I just put on my computer a very fine white line to give me a guide of where to stitch. So that's your seam allowance on there that's as well? That's my... <laughs> Because <laughs> I noticed line. on the heart but I've, one, I've pinked it. Yes. So I've used. You can use. So, so basically, what or... you're saying, you've got two bunting, yeah. two bunting uh, pennants out of one piece of paper. But I could have put. I could have used this area here to put something else on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, you could have, if you wanted, sort of um, a three D bit. You know, some um, embellishment. Oh, like decoupage, decoupage, that one. We could have put a, a, an, em an em embellishment of a little flower or something. Well, yeah, made, you could have fitted flowers. Do you know what this is like? This is like um, cloth kits. When you do the cloth kits dresses, and then on the fabric, there's always things you can cut out, then applique uh, yeah, on top. That's it. So you could have put little love hearts there so and there. So you can make the most of before you feed it through, because um, you can feed smaller 
you can feed smaller pieces through your printer than yes. an A4. Yeah. But if you're going to put something through, you might as well make the most of it. Exactly, you, on your exactly. Sheet. Yeah, and the same on this one. Um, I've got no guidelines on the back, but on the front, just a... So they were going idea. to be your stitching lines, were they? Yes. Was that going to be a stitching line? Yeah, that, that is actually the stitching line on the heart, on the baby heart. Oh, you already made, I've made, got one here, yeah. already made. Oh, I see, so you've yeah. pinked it and top-stitched it. Yeah, top-stitched it. Um, the other one I did turn inside out. Oh, the other The thing. ruby uh, oh, this heart, one. yeah. So that was done in the same way. Who's this then on here? That's my mother and father-in-law. Is that love? Who's, who's, who's was it? Lisa? Oh, it's not you. Mother and father-in-law on the front. Yours? Uh, my husband's. Okay. Yeah, my, my mother and father-in-law. Oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> I couldn't see your name. Didn't have my glasses on. Oh, yeah. That is lovely. Really, really beautiful. That's gorgeous. Congratulations. Now, if you've got them in your baskets, you do need to check out. I do need you to check out. Can we just show... Is that ready to be peeled yet, do you think, or not? So um, I leave that one be. Or yeah, are you planning yeah, on taking that one be. home? OK, we'll just do peeling again in a second. Yeah. Right. You want me to peel? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. You just want to test my eyesight, don't you? Yes. <laughs> it's not. Please, it's... please, please check out your baskets. Please check out your baskets. That's just Jay making all that noise there. Um, it's just so, just a bit firm. To please check out your baskets. You can take oh, everything else go. off that table, Jay. Thanks. We're there. I can see. It. It? I can see the corner. It started. There we go. You see, it is simple. I'm just saying yeah. it's the most difficult bit, but it's still simple. And then. Uh, it's a, a, just such a simple, effective process, isn't it? So once you've got it going like that, just whack your hand on there, then take the whole thing. You don't have to do it like this, but we just found that was the easiest way yeah. to do it, didn't we? Yeah. Now, yeah. we're taking this it off, right? Tough. So this is the paper that you fed it through, the, sh the shiny side there. The glue is still there. It's not sticky. It's not sticky at all, but the glue is still there. And this, oh, this is the poplin again. Yeah. Very, it's as soft as it was. Before it went, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, not before it went through, because we stuck, but as soft as a soft cotton poplin can be. Really, really lovely. Yeah. And if you're going to use it in fashion or to, something that might be washed lots, just wash it first. That's because right. it may shrink up to 50, it's about a 5 to 10 percentage in it when you shrink normal fabrics. But yeah, OK. Just, just to make sure, because you don't want to put it on a garment, then wash it, and then if it's just to tighten up or something like that. I mean, in quilting, some people like that. Um, quilters often like a little bit of shrink well, after, because it gives that little... Yes, exactly. Yeah, but on like fashion, I, I but don't... But not on fi no, exactly. fashion or anything like that. Um, Especially because you could be mixing it with another different type of fabric that will shrink at a different yes, rate. Yes, exactly, yes. So. Oh, yeah. Get you. <laughs> uh, so these... Poplin, these are... You get six cotton poplin A4 pieces in here. Uh, for £19.95. I've shown you this, Emma's little... Um, Notepad and crayon and a colouring pad, really, isn't it? Um, £19.95. and It's fantastic. And all the frequently asked questions are on the back and everything. So that is the poplin. And we also have it in the cotton twill. Again, you can take a picture from your phone. You can take a picture, one that you've scanned in from your store, you know, from uh, like my, those pictures I brought in of my mum and dad, I could scan those or uh, take them from, from, from your camera. £21.95, print, peel and create. That's as simple as that. This took how many did we say? Four. That, that bolster took four A4 sheets. And you get six in a packet. You get six in a packet. So you can make what you want, really, with them, can't you? It's up to you. We've done bunting. We've done a pencil case. We've done... We've designed, designed a designer denim jacket with it on the back. We've designed our own fabrics. Um, do you know what I mean? Can so, just keep stitching it together and... It's yeah. what, what? You can just keep stitching the A4 sheets together, really. Do you know what would look lovely is if you if you just kept the squares this big, and had all sorts of all your favourite things you can make the most beautiful. Um, I was going to say eyes down, but like patchwork quilt, but yeah. simple with just yes. big big pictures all over. Like a, or our producer Hannah, when she's had a busy night out, the next day she just lies <laughs> on a sofa shouting at her flatmate wrapped in a duvet. You could make her the most gorgeous quilt out of all things that make her happy. Out of all her party photos. Oh no, because she she wouldn't want her <laughs> party want photos because she'd be like she'd be like going oh no. She she'd a, like food. She oh, oh do you know what tablecloth right? Uh, tablecloth with all different foods on. Oh flat, I know what. Of ketchup. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know the K Facet book on flowers, right? You could ma you could take pictures of all your favourite flowers from your garden and create like a K Facet. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's endless, isn't it? Absolutely endless. I say it's right. It's beautiful for like when you're snapping away at your flowers in your garden, like like you say, creating your own fabrics. Everybody has got so many photos these days, <laughs> haven't they? Because it's so easy on your phone.
imagine if you're having a party, a, a, a summer fake, anything to do with the family. Oh. I love that. I love, where did you get that from? Is that just a picture you just found? This one. Yes. That is from uh, freeimage.co.uk. Um, yeah. Isn't it fantastic? Really, really lovely. Yeah. Angie, thank you so much. It's been an absolute oh, treat. You're welcome. It's been a treat for me. No, I haven't seen you for so long. It's <laughs> been know. really lovely yeah, to see you. Uh, do check out your baskets, though. Um, I've got, I'll have tomorrow's... Is it me tomorrow? It is. I've got, we'll have tomorrow's... Um, Menu in a minute. Um, oh, come over with me over here, though. Angie, I'll, I'll leave you for a minute. I might come back okay, in a second. OK, On Saturday, which isn't me, on Saturday... Look at this. Look at this. This is created... This is created from the same threads, uh, inkjet printable fabrics. Now, I'm not sure if they're actually making this. Tilly Rose it is. Tilly Rose. I'm not sure if she's making this. But it's, it's showing the techniques. I think she's working with one panel. Say that again. She's working, showing you how to work with one one of the panels. Oh, hang on, Angie. I can't hear because Hannah's talking to <laughs> you. What'd you say, Angie? I think she's showing you how to um, recreate one of the panels, and then you can obviously scale it up to a quilt or make a cushion. Beautiful. Yeah. She went to up. I can't hear what she's saying. It's I know it won first prize. Oh, it won first prize with this quilt. At you talks it to quilt. You talks to quilting. Yeah. Tilly Rose. That's not me though. That's Natasha on Saturday. <laughs> it's beautiful though, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Well, don't worry, don't worry. We're just. We're... Oh, got loads of time. Yeah, I might go. Shall I go okay. back to Angie? I'm going to go back to Angie. I'm not leaving her there on her own. <laughs> right. Okay. So, just to remind you, check out your baskets. Please, please, please check out your baskets uh, on anything you've seen today. The sewing machine... Oh, I was pointing at the sewing machine. We don't sell the printer, by the way. That's just there. If you've got the sewing machine and the overlock of Merlier, please check out your baskets. And with these, people have multi-bought like a bilio today. Uh, you would, really. So, what have I got? In the, I've got the, the twill. There you go. That's the twill one. That's the inkjet printable fabrics. It's such a brilliant idea. At £21.95, you get six A4 sheets in there. And then at the bottom there, you see, you've got the poplin ones, which are these, for £19.95. The thing is, if you think about it, six A4 sheets is an awful lot of fabric, mm -hmm. isn't it? So whether you use all six of them in one project or just save them and do little... little do you know what? Do, you, do you remember we did those embroidered cards? Yes. You could use this as your background oh, fabric and then embroider onto yeah. it. So you've got that 3D kind of effect as well, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Um, really, okay. really lovely for that, for taking your own pictures and then adding your own embroidery and um, yes, exactly. stitch over the top. It's perfect. What a fantastic idea. Brilliant. And also, uh, the amount of times you see things like this, oh, that's not going to work. And it's brilliant. Anyway, we've only got 30 seconds left. Make sure you join me tomorrow. I'm not sure who I've got tomorrow, where, what I'm doing tomorrow. But uh, we've got 30 seconds. Um, thanks ever so much, Angie. Oh, it's been such you, a John. pleasure. Um, it's been a real treat. This, and oh, the whole day has been lovely, hasn't it, really? But this is a real exciting treat. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, as I say, at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning with four hours of gorgeous... Uh, now, oh, now, remember, the bundles of the sewing machine and the bundles of the overlocker are only available till midnight. All right? So make sure you check out your baskets. And we'll see you again very soon. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock with four hours of more fun and sewing. Sewing Quarter is at the very heart of sewing as we bring you all things sewing and quilting. The team behind us live and breathe sewing day to day. We strive to bring you exclusive offers, exciting live demonstrations, and most importantly, we will custom cut fabric to your specification in our very own cutting room. We will also be bringing you TV exclusives that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So come and join us today at the Sewing Quarter. Welcome to the Sewing Quarter! Quarter.